Okay. Uh, hello everybody. Let me just fix some stuff real quick. Um, that'll do. Okay. Well, running a little late today. A little late. Anyway, well, you know, I'm on time and I'm running late for the prep. Yeah, 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 I'm running late. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back. It's Cindy Eric here and all that stuff. Uh, today, we're gonna play some Zelda. Some Zelda, yeah. Yeah, good old Zelda. Um, so, where did we leave off yesterday? Yesterday, we basically beat the base game. Um, things we didn't do, we didn't do a couple of side quests here and there, none of the important, like, we did all the important ones except for one, Tarrytown, we're gonna work on that right now. And then we're gonna focus completely on, um, DLC. Ideally, if everything went well, we'd beat the game today, but I see how long it takes to do so many shrines and all that stuff, and we have, like, fucking... 12 shrines we gotta do, so I doubt we're gonna make it, but still, hey, let's just have fun, let's just enjoy. Anyway, um, we finished off at Tarrytown, we got all the, uh, shrines, we got the gear of the, the wild set and all that stuff. Um, oh, I took the liberty of, uh, upgrading my stuff to, um, times four, as you can see by the lack of 10,000 rupees I have and the fact that these are four star. Um... And that's about it. We have 110 plus wood, I think. Yeah, we have 110 exactly. We only need 100, though, because we already gave Hudson the 10. We're going to finish the Tarrytown quest real quick. We got to find people whose names end in sun. And name ends in sun. Yep. Are you strong? You bet I'm strong. Grayson is even stronger, though. So then we got to talk to Grayson. Is this Grayson? I don't think this is Grayson. Fuck out of here. Your name doesn't end in sun. So, if you don't know, this quest line, their names have to end in sun. Or there there you go. Or, or they're not allowed to join Hudson's group. Because that's Bolson's rule. So, I gotta talk to this guy at night when he's relaxing. Okay. So, basically, Bolson has a construction company uh, comprised of him, Hudson, and Carson. Uh, Hudson got sent off to, um, expand their business somewhere else. So he's off in, in, uh, the Akala region building a town called Tarrytown. But he wants to expand the business even more by finding more workers. But, just like Bolson, Carson, and Hudson, their names have to end in sun. So here's Grayson and Pellison here to help because he needs somebody strong to break rocks for him. So specifically a Goron, and you know, it's not racist at all to say I specifically need this race to help me out. But anyway, um, that's that. So now, as you can see, I left a nice little travel medallion here so I don't have to keep warping to that. I don't know why Tarrytown doesn't have a warp on its own, it just has a, um, a shrine that you have to like, jump off a cliff and glide to Tarrytown from. It's very awkward. So, yeah, we're just gonna finish this hopefully really fast. Because <clears throat> I know where everybody is. Kind of. Maybe. Sort of. Alright, so they're working on stuff. Boom. You sent the Gorons back. That's perfect. Boulders don't stand a chance against them. Next is... Uh, yep, I can give you 20 bundles of wood. Thief. Uh, yeah, you can have them. Uh-huh. Uh, now you need a tailor. A tailor that ends in sun. Problem is, oh yeah, um, Pellison has his own shop where he sells overpriced gems, and, uh, this guy just keeps working until he doesn't anymore, until all the rocks are broken. So, uh, Gerudos are good tailors. Again, um, not racist at all. Um, just, you know, everybody apparently has their own thing. Oh, Zoras? Ah, oh, yeah, they're all super religious. Go get me one of them. And then, what's the last thing you wanted? Um, no, the Zora was the last thing. What was the... Oh, I want, um... Okay, 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 in fairness, in fairness. The one thing that's kind of not, that's kind of makes sense is the, um, Rito. Because Fison, he says he needs a traveling salesman, and what better traveling salesman than someone who can fly? Okay, that one is fair. 
The rest of them a little questionable, but I mean, I I don't know. In in the in the land of high rule, everybody has very specific roles that they tend not to break out of, and we're supposed to just be okay with it. So anyway, um, let's whistle sprint at the expense of my fingers. Yeah, it's gonna keep saying Agro can't come because I keep forgetting to put Agro away. I mean, I'm not gonna put Agro. Why is it so cold? I don't know why. I've I've, I've never equipped a sword like that, ever. That is the first. Weird, isn't it? All right. So anyway, um, we be whistle sprinting all the way. Who? Move it! <laughs> Get out of the way! All the way to, uh, hi, who are you? Was that a, was that a Yiga clan? I think that was a freaking Yiga clan, wasn't it? Alright, anyway, we're looking for Ronson, who is way over here. Can't ride a horse, this is wonderful. Our good friend Ronson will not only fix his clothes, but... Marry him, too. Is she looking for a man? Hey, wake up! My god. Oh, talk to me at freaking night. Oh, talk to me at morning. Okay, uh, in fairness, you're not really expected to do this all at once. I knew it was going to be a blood moon. Always is. Always is when I turn it on. Okay, hi. You. Go to Tarrytown. Get out of here. Alright, she's going to Tarrytown. My god, it's only been seven minutes. This is great. I was worried this was going to take a while. I don't think this is going to take a while. Alright, back to Hudson. Yes, yes, updated from the ground up. Of course it's updated, of course. It's good coffee. I got new coffee cream. It was creamer. It was from, um... Dunkin'. But whenever you go to the store and get Dunkin', it's always extra extra, and that's like way too much, so... I finally found one that was just regular vanilla swirl. Okay, I love how we just... Link, the way Link and Hudson talk to each other is great. Like, I know they're trying to they're trying to push that, like, Hudson's not much of a talker, but, like, it makes it seem like Link's more of the dick. So, just like, next up, uh-huh. Can I have 30 bundles of wood? Yep, I brought them. Can I have them? Nope. <laughs> you can say that, which is fucked. But, uh, yeah, Link and Hudson, good people. I love the original Hudson conversation where Link's just saying the same things over and over and over. Okay, now we gotta find a bird, I think he said. I wasn't really listening. Oh, hi, Cass. Um, let's see. Fison should be down here. Hey, I need a thing and blah blah blah. Okay, so this guy wants to work in a store, but doesn't just want to help. He wants to have his own store, so he's perfect for this. Uh. Okay, bye. All right. And last but not least, the Zoras. Now, the Zora one's interesting. Uh, um, I wonder, do you have to... Do you have to beat the Zora place to even finish this, or no? You don't have to finish Rito, because Fison's always there. Ronson's always there. Grayson and Pellison are definitely always there. But, like, don't the old people hate Link in the Zora place... Or do they eventually not hate Link? I don't know. I think that particular one is, like, cool with me, maybe. 50 bundles of wood. I brought them. 
Yep, you can have them. I'm out of wood now, you jerk. Wow! You got engaged to Ronson. Oh, you didn't say Ronson yet. Thank you. To who? To Ronson. You're a cute couple. Thank you. You look for someone priest-like. And they have to be part of Bolson construction policy in accordance with... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So now Ronson's making uh, armor. And Bison is great because he's the only place in the game where you can buy somewhat infinite arrows. Like, every day places replenish. But if you have more than 50 arrows on you... Actually, I should get arrows. If you have more than 50 arrows on you... Um, I don't have enough rupees. Wow. Um, if you don't have enough arrows on you, uh, uh, if you don't... What was I saying? I, I am completely lost. Came to sell stuff. If you have more than 50 arrows in your inventory, then the game just doesn't let you... It just doesn't... It, it doesn't give you any more arrows. Like, Beetle just won't sell them to you, for instance. Um, but... I believe I'm selling... Uh, let me do one more. Yeah, people like Beetle won't sell them to you, but if you go here with over 50, it'll still, he'll still replenish his stores. So it's basically the only place you can get a good amount of arrows, or you could get 49 arrows, literally 49 arrows, and you could, I'm doing so bad at multitasking today, you could go to every Beetle establishment in the world, and that seems to work because they all replenish before the fact, but like, anyway, um, bison is easy access to arrows, is what I'm getting at. No, we didn't do, we didn't do like the horse armor and stuff, that's okay though. It's just a balloon game, it's really easy, because what I do is I buy the ancient bow and it shoots straight, so you just literally aim from a mile away and it just hits every balloon, but while well, your horse is going as slow as possible. Anyway, um, focus, focus. I don't sleep, so I ramble. Okay, isn't it kind of what we gotta do, though? I mean, the whole Freeman thing, you're basically just rambling, aren't you? Anyway, this guy. Yeah, 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 he, he forgives you. Get a load of this. I like it. He says he wants to do one more wedding. You're just like, well, get a load of this. <laughs> okay. That's that. So now Hudson is going to want us to prepare for the wedding. Jeez, no wonder there's no freaking thing there. You can't even get the travel medallion because it's right on top of Tarrytown. If there was a shrine, they'd have to, like, move it to the side just to be less awkward. I mean, yeah. Hateno's like that. I mean, they're all kind of like that. They always put the shrine kind of off to the side. All right, as you can see, the town is full. Hey, look, I have the bell. Why is that important? Because in Breath of the Wild specifically, sometimes randomly this bell will disappear, and when it does, it never comes back. I don't know why, but it's actually in the game data as two separate entities. No bell and yes bell or some shit. Anyway, talk to you guys. Get out of here, I want to talk to you. Okay, never mind. Hey. Yep, I found Azora. Guests. I see. Where are they? You know where they are. <laughs> okay. So we gotta go get Bolson and Carson, last but not least, to attend his wedding. I know I'm rushing through this, but the main focus of today is supposed to be DLC. But I was just like, you know, Tarrytown's a big quest. I want to do it. Just like I wanted to do the uh, cast quest, which... Hard not to do if you're going for all shrines. Apparently there was one gas quest that uh, isn't shrine related. But uh, just because Cass and the Suns and the Bolson construction are the two big ones. Look at you guys, right where I left you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you don't want to. You. 
Get off my front lawn. Mm -hmm. Hi. We're heading out. Ah. You've been waiting for this day. What, the day of Hudson's wedding or just the day that you leave? Like, you know, because both are things I might question because, you know, you've been on my lawn since you've sold me the property. Kind of weird. All right, wedding time. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm dying. It's too early, it's too early. All right, um, I guess I talk to you guys. Found them. Yes, yes, start the ceremony. Sure, sure, sir, sure, sir. <laughs> sure, sir. Okay. Hey, we still got the bell. It's like the first time I've ever played this game and kept the bell, Jesus. Ahem. Silence, please, everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Rotson in, ma in matrimony. Hudson, for the eyes of these witnesses and before those of Goddess Hylia, you take Rotson to be your wife, to have and to hold in good times and in bad. I do. Excellent. And Rotson, before the eyes of these witnesses, before... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You take Hudson as your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health, and you also vow to name your children in accordance with the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines. What? Your vows are not traditional by anyone's standards. Makes you say that. They're as traditional as it gets. Okay, they're all okay. Wow, um, everybody's everybody's um, everybody's shitting on the uh, everybody's shitting on the bride, I guess. Okay. Excellent. Please help me in greeting this newly married couple. I see problems in the future. Many, many problems in the future. Okay. Oh, wow, the bell's still there. I swear, the bell disappears, and I think somebody said it might have something to do with when thunder strikes, which, by the way... Or lightning, rather, not thunder. Which, by the way, is a very rare occasion. Even on my good file, I don't have the bell. Okay, so as you can see, we built a town. Bunch of shit here. Great. Hey, it's you. How are you crying? Congratulations. Three diamonds. Not bad. And that is from the ground up. Now, if you so choose, you can end it here and these guys will stay in town forever. But, you know, I'll be good and I'll send them back home. So yeah, these guys actually... It's kind of funny, um, a big number of people on the internet tend to keep Bolson and Carson just permanently in Tarrytown. <laughs> Which, like, you're technically not finishing the quest, but they stop staying outside of your house. Uh, now I just sent them back to my house, so they're gonna be just sitting there forever, and it's gonna be terrible. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, anyway, that was the final quest that matters. Eh, 20 minutes, that wasn't too bad. All right, now we're going to start some DLC. Some actual uh, downloadable content. Uh, let's see, Korok Forest. So the first DLC of this game was Trial of the Sword. Aside from a bunch of extra chests they buried all over the place, I think I'd prefer them not outside my house for no reason. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's. I feel like most people, most people feel that way. <laughs> if that's the case... After the wedding, do not speak to them ever again, and they will stay outside your house. <laughs> but yeah, like, otherwise they go right back and they just live on your lawn, which is awful. It's, it, it is, it, it's, it really is the worst. <laughs> but I figure since this is just kind of my side file, might as well. So Trial of the Sword, they added a bunch of treasure chests all over the world map, like the Korok mask, the Tingle outfit a bunch of other outfits i don't know which ones are which dlc but 
all those side outfits we have, we didn't really bother getting them this run, but um, one of them is these Phantom, this Phantom set. Uh, that's DLC. Uh, the horse gear, DLC. All that stuff was DLC. Uh, so the first DLC, you can place your Master Sword back in the pedestal and get your ass kicked in a horrible, horrible trial called the Trial of the Sword. It's three parts. You're completely naked and have absolutely no weapons except for the weapons that they give you. But if you beat it, your sword stays in that permanent blue state where it's like really, 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 really durable and hard to break and does 60 damage instead of 30. It'll stay like that permanently. So that's awesome. And the second DLC is actually an expansion that we'll see later. So here we are. They, again, the monks took Link's clothes away, and that's supposed to be perfectly normal, but I think it's kind of fucked up, honestly. You pre presently lack the power necessary to wield the true splendor of the- fuck off. You must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. In this illusory realm of sacred mystery, anything can happen. Anything. Anything! And all, yeah, all that you obtain will be lost, so don't, you know, give a shit about any of the stuff you get. Alright, that's about it. Let's do this. So, first things first, what I like to do, because I'm a little bitch, is I'll actually try my very best to collect everything at first. And that means wood. That means, like, anything that will help me. Uh, because you start off with nothing, and all you get... All you get is what's in these rooms. And once you leave a room, you get nothing else. So basically, think of it this way. It gets easier if you're more thorough. It gets far easier, because eventually you'll just be powerful. But... The end of, uh, first it's ten floors, and we have to... Okay, there's nothing under the rocks, I'm gonna assume. We have to basically kill a Hinox at the end of this, and that's part one. And every, every third you complete, you actually, um... Every third you complete, what was I gonna say? Every third you complete, you actually, um, power up the sword a certain amount, so it goes 40, 50, 60. So part one, in my opinion, is actually the hardest one because of, like, the second to last floor, I think it is, where there's a bunch of Lazalfos in the water you have to fight, but, like, you have jack shit for gear. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is bomb all these guys. Obviously, it's super important that you, um, conserve stuff. You're gonna notice that I am going to be way overly conservative, and I'm gonna, like, you're gonna be like, dude, you just finished the trial and had all this stuff. But it's because, like I said, I'm a bitch, and I don't want to mess it up. I want to do this on our first try, damn it. So, uh, there might be food we can grab. As you can see, I'm overly running from my bombs, because I'm just afraid of everything. But, um, yeah, we got flint, I think. No, that was a rush room, damn it. Flint would have been really nice. Um... We'll stop being as thorough. Oh, you have as many slots as the game, like, as, as you got with Hestu, by the way. So, like, this is my inventory slots, uh, which is why I focused on weapons. So, you, you really want to get some Korok seeds, but, like I said, this, this is going to go fine. First room, I'm going to be a little ridiculous. Uh, I'll grab uh, eggs and shit. Every room after, I'll probably start being impatient, but... Just because I kind of know how this goes. Uh, do I want to cook anything? Nah. Uh, there are rest stops where you can cook uh, with an actual pot. So there's also fairies eventually. I'm gonna keep skipping this. It just I'm just skipping link warping in. Um, so every floor gets harder now. As you can see, I don't have a bow, but they do, which is kind of fucked. So. Just trying to not get seen. I should have used that updraft to jump down on those guys, but I was too nervous. 
Okay, the problem is I don't have a bow. I actually don't know what you're supposed to do here. Um, I don't remember. I think I was supposed to get a bow in that previous room. But that means they don't have bows either. Okay, they're going to be throwing rocks at me. I'm going to do that. Get my bow. Arrows. Arrows! Where are the arrows? I saw arrows! Okay, they almost hit me with a rock. That's kind of scary. Um... Arrows? Bruh. I'm just gonna rely on the arrows that this guy shoots at me then, because I need two. Uh, remember, every guy who shoots an arrow can shoot up to, I think, five arrows you can collect. It might even be ten. So you can actually sit here and kind of collect them this way. Okay. Okay, he's not gonna fire, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot this down and get them to come down. And we're gonna bomb them. Okay, one down. Two down. Now we just got this asshole. Get him to shoot first. What? Hoppycock! Okay, he's coming to us. Cool. Easy. And by easy, I mean I was actually kind of terrified of that one. Like I said, you can just run in and smack them. The game gives you enough stuff. I'm just really nervous and... Remote bombs are kind of overpowered. So, it's nice. So, the important thing is that you grab everything you see. In terms of arrows and junk, because... Damn, you don't get many. Uh, we got a, finally a good shield and a sword. Uh, there are gonna be guardians, and there is going to be a Lionel. Thankfully, the game gives you a very, very small amount of ancient arrows. Maybe, like, two. I don't even know if that's, if it's that many. But, uh, use it on the Lionel. Simple as that. Do not just try to focus on the Lionel, because I think when, when you fight the Lionel, there's, like, a bunch of... Dudes on horses trying to murder you at the same time. But so far, uh, pretty free, pretty easy. Just a bunch of short kings. No moblins, no lizard people. The lizard one is by far the worst. Okay, underground, floor three. Uh, this one's super easy. It's just a bunch of jelly dudes. So... As soon as I go into the middle, we're going to get surrounded, but I threw a bomb instead, so instead of getting surrounded, I'm safely out here. I'm noticing you guys aren't dropping chew jelly. What's up with that? Spicy Lindsay, what's up? How you doing? Um, And that is it for that floor, I think. Cool, cool. Next. So tired? Yeah, I feel ya. I feel ya. Boy, you got a lot of work to do? You doing a lot of, a lot of working? Taking care of a lot- wait, no, weren't you like... I can't say things on stream, but weren't you like, doing a thing yesterday night? <laughs> I think I heard things. That sounds so sus. No, you went. she went and visited somebody. That's all. That's all, okay? It was just a visit. <laughs> but yeah. Weren't you doing drugs last night? Weren't you like... You know... Weren't you like buying like meth from... Ow! I just hit myself with a rock. I was lifting him up to see if there was anything there. Okay, um... All seriousness, um, where are, are, are there any eggs in here or anything I can get? Anything at all. That's what you get for snitching. <laughs> oh god. They know. 
Everybody's watching me from the rocks. He's wearing a wire. All right, underground floor number four. Okay, now we got moblins. Okay, I think the best way to handle this one is to climb this and get the hell out of here before I get shot. Oh, they see me, all right. They fucking see me. Oh, great. Oh, great. This is bad. Oh, my God. They're about to shoot. This is the worst idea ever. Okay, so, yeah, um, we got very lucky there that that barrel didn't just break. Um, we made a mistake. It's fine, though. Um, what we're gonna do is try to kill whoever the hell threw fire arrows at me because that was scary whilst collecting arrows from the lesser dudes. Oh, crap. This guy will kill us in like a hit or two with that freaking spiky thing. Uh, yeah, so because you're not allowed to wear clothes or armor, you just die pretty much instantly here. It's very... I mean, I'm probably exaggerating that, but I don't want to find out. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna... Do that. Okay, where's the guy who had the fire? Okay, this is fine. Bombs are great. Bombs are wonderful. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna do my little magnesis trick where you can... You can't do that. Okay, let me get it over here. You can break these two guys by raising this rate really high and oh my god okay we got arrows finally we got arrows okay we're gonna be fine for the rest of this now i think if i keep those arrows and don't use more than five until the end um we got food bananas just went flying okay this is the asshole just letting you know i got the ticket i texted oh yeah yeah i didn't see your message until um like 7 30 and i was like she ain't up so yeah i didn't bother yeah that's fine everything's yeah don't worry about it um you are i do not see you often so whatever you said shut up it's fine <laughs> you're being weird stop being weird um where are my bananas but yeah yeah i did see it i did see it i just kind of forget um we dropped... We had a lot more stuff than this before. Um... Oh, this guy! We didn't kill this guy. We didn't kill this guy. Okay, okay. And like I said, this is gonna get a lot more stress... A lot less stressful, um, after this first round. This first round sucks. Because, um... There's gonna be a bunch of lizard people in the water and stuff who really heck me up. Plus, this guy, you can accidentally hit these explos- oh, He just pushed me! Uh, thankfully, the monks took my clothes and not my paraglider. What am I even supposed to do here? I'm not using an arrow. You can't make me. What I'm trying to do here is not accidentally set off... ...the explosives! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Trial of the sword, everybody. Trial of the sword. Okay. We're at floor five. We on floor five now? Please. Floor five. Floor five. Okay, underground floor five. Now we got moblins. Now shit's gonna get serious. So what I tend to do in the, um, the ones with the skulls is I avoid everybody. Oh my god, he sees me already! I'm gonna drop a bomb and hope that he runs into it. There we go. I'm gonna stay up here and fuck right off and just throw things down at people. Because ain't nobody got time for all this shit. So yeah, um, I started explaining this a while ago, and then I started getting murdered, but, um... Basically, this is the biggest part of DLC number one. 
Uh, you're just doing a bunch of floors, and it's basically a big gauntlet of a bunch of asshole enemies. And you're trying to survive. The monks have taken away your clothing because they're a bunch of pervs. And all you do is go a certain amount of floors until they deem you- Oh my god! Until they deem you worthy enough to uh, wield the power of the sword that you've already, you know, were powerful enough to wield a hundred years prior to this before you went into your weird-ass stasis, uh, and I don't fucking know. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, we're strengthening our sword by killing a bunch of random people. Do not swing that club. But yeah. Um, all you got is the stuff that's here. Nothing else. So, as a result, you'll notice I don't use a lot of my weapons because I don't want them to break. So, for some reason, the game still gives you an infinite supply of bombs. So, I just keep switching between my bombs because they have, like, a small, like, three-second cooldown. So, if you switch between the two, you have no cooldown. And I just pummel them with bombs constantly, and it's great. And that's about the extent of it. So... There, there's a lot of, there's a lot of floors. We're gonna be here a while, but after we do this, we'll be on to DLC 2 today, where I think we got enough stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, like, spending too much time collecting things, because we don't need it. But, um, yeah, DLC number two is actually, like, a whole story thing. It's not just some bullshit, so. Uh, we got a Stone Talus fight. Uh, this is a little frightening, not gonna lie. Um... We don't have much to kill a Talus. This is all wooden shit. Um, it would be really cool if there was a hammer around here. Because hammers are good against ore. Or something, probably. I don't think there's a hammer. Well, that's some bullshit. Um... Maybe I can... Swing these metal crates onto his face? I can't see. Okay, maybe I can hit him with this. Yeah! Oh my god! It works well! What the fuck? Has anybody tried this before? I just knocked his ass down. Okay, now we gotta hit him with something metal. Let's use, uh... Soldier's Broadsword, because I'm a weenie. We can only hit him eight times, then he's gonna shake us off, so I'm gonna jump. And like I said, I do not want to use a bow, so I'm gonna try to break his arms off with bombs, hope that he drops down. Hit him again. Uh, if he lands on you, it's probably, even with the amount of hearts I have, it might kill me. So, we're just trying to not do that. There were explosive barrels that I could have thrown at him. Well, I just wasted a whole lot of shit, didn't I? Anyway... Craig subscribed? Hey, thanks for the sub, Craig. Also, why didn't it show up? That's kind of weird. Um... Wait. Why is it not... Oh, it might be... It might be something weird about the way the accounts work. Like, um... I don't know. Sometimes I don't get subs from certain, uh, wait, or did it show up and I just wasn't paying attention? Wait, did it actually show up and I wasn't paying attention? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks. Uh, yeah, sometimes, um, people don't show up. Like, I got a plus one yesterday and it showed, um, it, it says I got plus two over the last 28 days and it gives me the name of one of them, which is really weird. But all the same, I... Oh, fairy. I got a fairy. I got a plus, um... I got a plus one when Wooly subscribed, and I didn't get one when Kelsey subscribed. It was really weird. <laughs> so, like, it, it's... It, I don't know. It, it, YouTube's weird. It must have something to do with the... Like, uh, so, something with your account. Like, I don't know. I don't... I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks! Okay, so finally, this is a rest stop. Yeah, discrimination, exactly. I actually just found out recently that I wasn't getting subscribers, um, posted because... Frickin', if you set your YouTube to private, um, Stream Elements thinks that your, uh, it, I don't know, it thinks that everything's 
it want it want it thinks that everything's supposed to be private basically so it just doesn't tell you when somebody subscribed but i have this little emoji i can make pop up on the top yeah okay so my yeah yeah my notifications are working there's a little emoji showing up cool but uh yeah sometimes stream elements is dumb I actually just found out that all of my freezing issues that I have had for the past year were because of a Stream Elements add-on and had nothing to do with my computers. So, that's awkward. But, you know, you know how it is. Alright. Rest stop, we're gonna make some, we're gonna cook some food. We're just gonna, anything we can cook, we're gonna. Uh, the fairy is super nice because, oh god, I can't just make a meat dish, my sister's here, I gotta like put something in it or she's gonna get mad. Okay, mushrooms and fish, that sounds terrible. Okay, I'm cooking mushroom, tough fish and mushroom skewer. That sounds awful. Okay, uh, banana... I don't have much to, to roll with, okay? We're gonna make a, a fruit salad. Um, Mighty Simmered Fruit. Okay, that's generic. How about... Defensive Mushroom and um, Banana Apple Nut something. Let's just throw them all together and see what happens. Simmered Fruit. I wouldn't call a nut a fruit. Okay, um, we're gonna do fish and chicken. Tough meat and seafood fry. Uh, mushroom, mushroom, apple, apple, apple. Mighty fruit and mushroom mix. Okay, how about, uh, eggs and, uh, the uh, uh, fucking, uh, steak and eggs. Meat skewer. Oh, it just like pretended my eggs weren't there. That's cool. Okay, and finally, we'll just, I don't know. Everything else just goes together. Mushroom skewer. You know, they don't have many recipes in this game. You try to be all fancy and you, you get simmered fruit. Hasty simmered fruit. Okay, let's move on. So the reason I did that is because we're going to be fighting some big boys now. And the big boys are going to destroy us. As you can see, there's water. Uh, which means I can't just throw bombs anymore. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a little... Oh my god, there's one here. We're gonna try to... Oh my god, we missed! Okay, hold on. This is fine. Got it. Oh, we can't carry any more weapons. Um, we're doing too well. Um, I guess we can start using weapons now. Or we're doing bad because we don't have enough Korok seeds to give us the inventory slots we need to- He has a bow! Okay, okay, we need defenses. Um, uh, defenses, now. Defenses, please. Defenses! Defenses! Okay. Um, he can't shoot me through that, right? I broke my defenses. It's probably fine. So what we're gonna... <gasps> Almost blew myself up. What we're gonna do here is finish him off in the water. He might not be able to have access to his equipment. Uh, what I would like to do is somehow kill that weird electric thing of gelatin. Before... Ooh, hey. Before those other guys see me, but instead I'm gonna... Grab this chest, because it exists and it might have something good. Why is there random stuff in the water? Arrow times ten. Okay, I think we can spare an arrow or two. If need be. Okay, good, we electrocuted them. We don't want to get their attention on us until they're in the water. Because this guy will burn us. Oh, he has a real spear. Okay, we're killing you first. 
As you can see, I'm being really stubborn and still only using um, bombs. This is terrible. All right. Still working. Okay, good. That wasn't so bad. This one can be a little bit tricky. So... <sighs> okay, what now? We're gonna collect the fish, but keep these sticks here. I actually, I actually prefer the sticks over a lot of things. We're never gonna need a torch. I don't know if that's true. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Hold on. Um, get rid of a stick for a boko spear. Like I said, I'm not gonna try too hard to collect things. The, the object of this is, you know, the more patient you are collecting, I, yeah, it, it's a survival, you know, it's, it's, it's just a straight up survival. You know, the more patient you are collecting things, the more you're gonna have. Simple as that. But, uh, I think we're doing fine. This, you can't just start me off getting shot at, bro. Alright, it's just a couple of Octoroks and a Wizrobe. Uh, this Wizrobe will start a storm if he sees us. So what I'm gonna do... We're going to go into bullet time by climbing up. And hopefully we can kill him right now. Not even fucking close, dude. Uh, Octorok really hates us right now. We're going to have to dodge rocks uh, and stasis this guy. Uh, we're in super trouble right now. Super trouble. Octorok dead. We're gonna... Okay, see how he's dancing? He's gonna start a storm and I'm gonna die. Uh, enough said. So we're gonna make sure he doesn't do that. What the hell is... Okay, that's not supposed to happen, by the way. Uh, whatever just happened... I have no answers for. I think... Uh, okay, I think we're good. We didn't let him do anything. That was way more arrows than I wanted. Uh, we want the lightning rod, definitely. So all we got left is, I think, the really, really, really hard room I keep talking about with all the lizards and all the bullshit. We got a Hinox fight, which I'm pretty good against Hinoxes, but not with these weapons. So as you can see... Uh, this guy is immediately going to see us. It's bullshit. So I have tried on all my files on different ways to not get seen. And this is the first time I've ever not been seen. So that's great. Uh, apparently, if you just jump off. Yeah, he sees you immediately. Okay, so we're just gonna... See, what I want to do is kind of get the jump on him. Because as soon as he calls on me... We're dead. Uh, if I keep electrocuting them, that's good shit. Ow, bitch! Okay, this is really, really bad. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, this could be bad. All I'm saying, this could be really bad. Okay, we gotta take a minute to recoup. I am taking a lot of damage. As you can see. So it's like, you know, three hits and you're dead kind of deal. He's still shooting at me and doing pretty well with it. So maybe I can get him to forget about me. But yeah, I uh, I played that completely wrong. Uh, I, I funneled myself on this tiny dock and... Uh, kind of screwed myself. Although, you might be wondering why I didn't use my shield. Because shut up, that's why. Um, but we'll, um, we'll be okay. We don't have much in the way of healing, however. So we really can't let that happen again. This guy's gonna try shooting water at me instead of attacking now. Which might be ideal. The other guy can't reach me. I need a much better bow than this for this to work. And I really wanted to use this bow against the actual threats. You know, since they're all in the water, I'm going to be a little ballsy. And try to throw bombs 
at all of their faces. I only got one. Okay, how do we take advantage of this? We're in bullet time. Um, let's use a boomerang on him. We might just have to keep flurry rushing them like so. Okay, this guy is really close to me with bombs. I just bombed him back onto the platform. Uh, this is fine. Alright. Almost dead. Oh, I'm not talking about them, I'm talking about me. I'm almost dead. Okay. What you want to do is hit them with your bombs. Just a little bit. I think they forgot about me somehow. I can kill this guy before he figures out what the hell's going on. We're good. That was kind of luck. So, I just want to reiterate hard mode on this game the enemies recover health very slowly so i've only done this on hard mode once ever and it was the most bullshit that like every other level was fine except for this one this one hold the phone <laughs> we're gonna die anyway yeah this level um Kind of. We're going to have to use everything. Because we're going to be fighting a Hinox soon. That's... That's good. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? Um, Because the enemies heal in hard mode, you have to rush them so they don't heal. Because they only... um They heal like two or three seconds after you stop hitting them. So really the only way to remedy the situation is to just be aggressive. Which, as you can see, I'm not. I tend to be on the more cautious side. We have a shield... I'm going to use it. Okay. Now we drop bombs. If you climb the ladder, I will appreciate you. Oh yeah, they can't climb. I mean, we had it under control in the sense that we had a lot of healing items and we prepared, but in terms of, like, actual execution, I did awful. I am disappointed. Uh, that said, uh, my opinion, hardest room. Hardest room. So, it's done. Uh, all we got left is... Chill little Hinox fight. You can use stasis, you can use a bunch of shit. So, it's gonna be easy. Oh! I might have forgotten about this one. What floor are we on? Alright, I'm not going to use the boat because the boat just sails you into a bunch of guys with fire arrows and it's not cool. So instead, I'm going to let them tattle on me. As I proceed not to get murdered. I think the play here... ...is maybe bullet time? That kind of worked. Alright, what else? We gotta kill that guy. This guy's probably gonna blow his horn and be a douche. But it's okay, because we got this. That was a questionable shot. But I'm glad it counted. Okay, you see me, but you can't reach me. That's wonderful. So what I'm gonna do... I was mashing Y, and it didn't let me parachute. That was kind of weird. Um, it'll be fine. Oh, blues die in one hit? And we're fine, dude. One asshole left. He can't hit me, that means I probably can't reach him either. 
Must I aim high? Oh, this is free. All right, these guys have actual melee weapons. Uh, we're in the clear, guys. Yeah, no wonder I didn't remember this floor. Not bad. So you guys, I'm just going to throw bombs at, I guess. Oh. Turns out I can't reach. Hold that thought. Oh! Oh my god! No, no, get away. Get away. Not bombing. Who the hell makes square bombs anyway? Are you guys coming? Well, one down. There is a moblin. Oh, and everything that falls in the water dies instantly. Uh, so there's that. So if I, for instance, bomb these guys out of the dock... Nothing to worry about. The moblins, however, do not like to fall off. We could use the electric. We definitely don't need a torch. There's a chest over there I'm not even going to bother with. Probably has something decent, but... What we got to do now is kill this guy before he hits us. He's got a shield, and a good one at that. We're not doing much damage at all. So what I'm going to do is stasis him. And try to knock him off. Just trying to throw him off balance, but it's not really working. We messed up so bad, and luckily, um, sometimes the high ground is not a good thing. Oh, that would have done so much damage. Okay, I gotta think this one through. That's how we think it through. <laughs> nice! Better to go for the, uh, out of the ring than the knockout sometimes, I guess. I don't freaking know. Alright, we gotta discard something. I forgot we have a fairy, too, in case anything goes to shit, so that's kind of nice. It won't let me drop. Uh, what is happening here? Apparently you can't drop things in the water. Okay, this is just for insurance. Still got our shield. And what do you guys got over here? Spiked Boko Spear, I'll do without. What really sucks is that unlike, like, other Zelda games, the game doesn't let you keep your stuff from part one of the trial and bring it to part two. So I don't know why I'm trying so hard to keep all this stuff. I think we can leave. All right, the Hinox. He's got, I think, metal feet or wooden feet? Wooden feet. Okay, so simple as this. Fire. Uh, excuse you. Fire. Are those metal feet? Well, in that case. Here's what we're doing, buddy. We're gonna use that on ya. Uh, we're gonna use our strongest weapon. We're gonna shoot you in the eye as soon as you stop freaking out. In the eye. The eye! Okay, this is bad. As long as we don't get murdered by him. Uh, we don't want him picking up a tree. Is my only thing. Which is why I'm being so cautious with the stasis. I like how he's got a knight broadsword on him that, like, 
I mean, I guess I could have snuck, snuck up and stolen it from him. But for the most part, like, we can't exactly use this stuff because chances are you're going to make him aware of your existence before you can grab the stuff. And this is the last floor. So what the hell? Okay, this is good. This is working for us. Whatever this strategy is, I like. There goes my bow. Uh, that's fine. It served us well. Oh, we got shit now. Okay, this is a problem. Maybe I can... Oh, that was close. I don't think that would have killed me by any means, but... The only way he can kill me is if he uh, jumps on me. Anyway, that was fun. Trial of the Hinox. Can we leave? Can we get out of here now? Because I'd like to get out of here. Oh, plain like dog shit. Alright, so. We're done trial one. So Link is now... I had to see what happened. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I can jump off. I can jump off the cliff. I looked at it, I was like, wait a minute, can you just jump off here? Hey, Drac, long time no see, how you doing? I can't believe it lets you jump off. You Oh, I got a Hinox and you just jump right off. Um, okay, so this is gonna... Charge my sword to, uh, buy a third. Buy a third. So we got two more of these things. <laughs> Crazy. Two more of these things. Alright, I forgot what he says. I'm gonna actually not skip this for once, because he might actually say something interesting. How long's it been? It's been an hour. Yeah, we're gonna probably finish the whole game today. You have finally returned. You look stronger than when I last saw you. The master sword you wield is now more powerful than before. Okay, so he brings it from 30 to 40. Yeah. Eventually 60. Doesn't glow until you're finished for good, right? Yeah. Alright, we're going right back in. Middle trials, let's do it. And like I said, the game is a little imbalanced here, in, in my favor. Uh, the first trial, I think it kind of under uh, provides that Lazalfo's trial is really hard. Now they're going to over provide. Nothing is as hard as what we've done, save for maybe the last couple of levels. But the last couple of levels are like, we're going to get an ancient arrow, and I'm just going to use that on the Lionel. So, you know, it's going to be fine. Middle Trials. Wii U Online Mario Kart matchmaking sucks. I can only imagine. I'm surprised that's still going on, though. That's kind of... That's kind of crazy. Considering they just... What? They just... They just just uh, got rid of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Mario uh, Maker, right? Or is that... That's tomorrow. We got one more day. One more day of Mario Maker. Oof, okay, this is burning. This is bad. I don't want to waste anything on you guys. So what I'm going to do is jump down, bomb you, and really hope that you don't lose... There goes the bow. <laughs> okay, that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. What I'm trying to do is keep all of the... All of the good stuff, while not using any of my items. Wait, what are you... What are you doing, pal? What are you doing? There we go. Woo! Okay. Look at that. We got everything. Got some fire arrows. 
like I said, I'm really overly conservative on this stuff. So you'll see that I, I almost never um, use my weapons at first. <laughs> it's not, you know, a bad idea. This guy away from me. There we go. That wasn't so bad. You had 4k and they did that? Oh my god. Yeah, that's... That's awful. Is the Switch any better? I've actually never, um... I've actually never played online that, like, that much. I think my, like, I probably have, like, whatever the bare minimum is for points. But... Yeah, that that's insane. I assume max points is probably, what, like, 99k or something? Oh, I did not want to pick this up. I did not want to pick this up. It was in Worldwide 2. Wow, so it's just, it basically doesn't even have matchmaking. It's just, it just, like, pairs you up with whoever's there. Ugh, that's awful. I gotta play Mario Kart again. I think it'll be fun, because I haven't played it in so long, I'll be absolutely terrible at it. So I kind of want to do, like, the time trials and stuff. Like, probably do, like, a regular run. Do the time trials, but, like, what I used to do for time trials is use the exact same cars that whoever set the trial use. And the reason that's hard is because they've nerfed uh, carts since then. So levels like uh, Calamari Desert are damn near impossible to do. Um, that said, I also want to try matchmaking and just see how bad I am. <laughs> It'll be fun. Uh, I think we got everything here except for this guy. I really don't want to... I really, really don't want to use anything that I don't have to. So I'm going to get this bomb up here and do it that way. Uh-oh, I blew up the chest. Well, thank God we found that. Soldier's bow. Nice. All right. Now it's going to go easier. Much, much easier. Underground flo- What? They're just starting off attacking me? Okay, that's not so bad. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Mario Kart is such a good game, though. Like, I... I'm nervous as to... Uh, I'm nervous about games like Mario Kart and, let's say, like, Smash Brothers Ultimate and stuff. Like, how are you supposed to make that shit better? Oh! <laughs> he almost shot me. Uh, how are you supposed to make that shit better? Like... We're at the point where Mario Kart 9 has to be... There's a wizard. Has to be something extraordinarily amazing because we have tough act to follow. <laughs> oh, there's two wizards. If I kill him, will he just... Yeah, they just die. I just don't get the rod. Yeah, like, what would you add to it? The only thing I can think, literally the only thing I can think, is in Double Dash, I, I believe you could switch between your two items. And I'm not saying we need two characters again, but I'm saying if we could just switch, like if I... If I had the uh, little boombox thing to get rid of the blue shell, and then I had like a yellow, like a banana, and I, like, I'd like to use the banana and save the other thing for when the blue shell comes. I think that would be helpful, but at the same time, I think it would make it a little too strategic. So I get why they might not do it. But, oh, I can kill this guy right now. That should kill him. Nice! I mean, at the, extens at the expense of a fire rod, but I'll take it. <laughs> same thing with, like, Smash Brothers, though, like... A game where you add literally every character to the game. I feel like Mario Kart's gonna have to start adding, like, third-party characters and stuff. Did you miss Linz again? Yeah, you probably missed her by a good, like, ten minutes or something. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, yeah! Wonder Flowers, that's right. 
That would actually be cool. Wonder flowers in Mario Kart. That would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. Whew. This is going well, even though we don't have any weapons. I, I just looked around twice and there's nothing. Oh, we missed a chest. That's right. There was a chest up there. Uh, once again, everybody sees us. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop bombs on them. Um, so this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is Trial of the Sword. So, when you place the Master Sword back in its pedestal, you can do a trial where you you keep your heart, you lose everything in your inventory, including your clothes, and you have to basically survive the floors naked. Um, which is usually really easy if you're cautious. If you're like me and you run right into a guy with a bow, as you can see, <laughs> you lose... Oh, there's a bomb arrow here! Uh, as you can see, you'll pretty much... You'll pretty much get one, get two shotted. Like I had full health and now I'm at nothing. Um, that said, I gotta, I gotta go. We gotta kill this bomb guy. Um, we're not killing him, are we? One down. Okay, we gotta go. 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 <laughs> but yeah, Trial of the Sword is like. It's like the challenge mode, like how a lot of Zelda games, they got that like 50 floors thing. This is kind of similar, except instead of 50 floors, it's something a little more reasonable. But... Um, it actually gets easier as you go because the game usually provides weapons. So whatever I can get, like this guy, I'm going to steal his weapons. I'm going to steal his food. Uh, there's going to be a little intermission where there's going to be a cooking pot, and I'll basically be able to, uh... I'll basically be able to, uh, you know... Recoup. But yeah, um, if you complete this, your Master Sword gets stronger. So as I'm sure you've noticed by the Master Sword in your playthrough, um... It's not great. It does 30 damage, and then it breaks. Well, um... When you're in front of guardians, it almost never breaks. It glows blue and it does 60 damage. Uh, the great thing is you can make it permanently do 60 damage by beating this. It just, it's just awful. It's just awful though. And, and yes, I agree. They should not overuse. They should definitely not overuse the, uh, a lot of those effects. Like Mario Wonder was... Mario Wonder did it great, but at the same time, like, how many people immediately after tried their, like, I'm not going to use this stuff challenge? Are you going to do some online before Wii U Online shuts down? Truth be told, I don't really have access to a Wii U at the moment, so probably not. Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost our chest. Uh, we're going to be a little underpowered for the next couple of rooms. I thought that would go the other way. Yeah, so probably not. Still got a good list going, though. <laughs> the list is ever improving. And I still... I still haven't found a good opportunity. I'm still trying to, like... Oh, a guardian? Oh, this is going to be easy. Finally, something I can deal with. Uh, we're not going to... We're probably not going to deflect them. What I'm gonna do is maybe find a way to... I don't think I really have anything I can kill him with, actually. Maybe we'll kill him by shooting him in the eye and just hitting him over and over. But yeah, Forgotten Land, I still have to play that. I still have so many games to play. I'm, like, looking at, like, kind of uh, what's coming out and, you know... Obviously, Elden Ring DLC is going to take up my time in June, so I got to, like... Okay, Paper Mario's coming out soon, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, balance out all those games, so... What did we play recently? Princess Peach Showtime, because it came out. That game was totally not just... 
a Disney ripoff, but it was still fun. <laughs> yeah, we got a list. And of course, I'm always open for... Always open for ideas. Um, can I do this without breaking you this time? That would be wonderful. That guy's gonna rise up. Please don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Soldier bow. What was Showtime like? It was weird. It was really weird. It's not at all what I expected. I mean, it was like a fun time, but, um... There wasn't much challenge in it. To be honest, um... I kept comparing it to Crafted World. Like, I... Crafted World was so much better. But, um... Showtime was like... Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I wonder who gave you the Zelda suggestion. Yeah, yeah, Kelsey suggested Zelda. And I am definitely going to play Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if I'm going to play it next, but truth be told, I probably am just because I'm on a Zelda thing right now. But, um... Yeah. Um... Yeah, that said, Showtime was like you play a series of levels and you have a certain power-up for each level. And... You, um... I think we got everything, by the way. You just... If you just play the game to have fun, it's great. It's fantastic. Of course, I went and 100%ed it. And it was not only as tedious as Crafted World, not as long, but as tedious. And, um... It's just... It was like... Oh, good. We got the middle trials to, uh, here. Now I can actually get a fairy and survive. But it's, um... If you missed a single thing, you had to play the whole level over again. And the levels were long. They were like 10 minutes long. That was the only thing I didn't like about it. But it was still fun. Tears just came out and I already played it. True. Very true. But I wouldn't do like a 100% month-long run. I'd probably just do like a week-long challenge run or something. Yeah, because... Breath of the Wild was, you know, tolerable. <laughs> you find, you know, what's 100%? You fill out the map, you get all the Korok seeds, you do all the quests. Tears of the Kingdom, back in, uh, back when that came out, you had to... Let's see, do I have the, do I have the uh, list still? The list is hilarious. I 100%ed Tears of the Kingdom by... Getting 152 shrines, 120 light roots, 252 quests, 12 dragon tears, 4 great fairies, plus the horse god, all pony points, rewards, 21 sages, will orbs, 135 armor, 147 caves and bubble gems, 58 wells, 87 stone taluses, 69 henoxes, 4 muldugas, 35 flux constructs, 40 frocks, 14 gliocks, 6 boss medals, plus... Dispelling Darkness, 81 Addison Signs, 31 Old Maps, 12 Schema Stones, 34 Yiga Schematics, 45 Energy Wells, 29 Fabrics, and 1,000 Korok Seeds. Yeah, I probably won't do that again. <laughs> but I'll, I, you know, I'll, you know, start to finish should be one thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom, I will say this. Yep. If there was ever a game I ever regretted 100%ing or promising I'd 100%, it was Tears of the Kingdom. Way too much stuff thrown in that game. And I loved it. I think it's one of the greatest games of all time. But... It, it wasn't designed to get all the caves or all the... All the Korok seeds or any of that stuff. It was... It, it, it was depressing. And what, I think I played that right before Only Up, and then I, I ended up playing Only Up for like a month just because I needed a break from anything Zelda related. It was so funny. Has it been almost a year since that came out? That's insane. Crafted World, you gotta remember you had to play the level at least like five times, yeah. Um, should I cook while I'm here? I don't really have anything I can... I don't think we need wood anymore. Though we can bake stuff. We have apple. Yeah, let's see. Princess Peach Showtime. You beat the level. 
uh, in my case, it was 100%, and then you find three ninjas in the level, and it was it was kind of hard, but, you know, you basically, the ninjas were always kind of in the same spot, and you could just run through it. Crafted World, yeah, it was like, beat the level in a very tedious way, find five things in a very tedious way, find one more thing in a very tedious way. <laughs> Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Crafted World was just... Play this level ten times and you gotta make sure you're looking for what you need to find very well or you'll play it an extra time. Should I be nervous that three times now I thought I was done this room and then I kept finding more stuff? Um, I don't think we're looking hard enough. Maybe I should start using Magnesis and looking for underground stuff. Uh, we're in trouble in terms of food. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the prime meat alone. Just blow it all up. I should. I should literally just blow this entire room up just in case. Because there could be robin's eggs. There could be anything just in the trees. I'm not sure if there's a reason to have wood other than boiling new things. But... You know, uh, I'll be careful. I'll make sure we get everything this time. I started rushing in the first trial and almost died. I'll get the Korok Leaf. Korok Leafs are underrated. They do no damage, but I can blow people right off into the water. And, uh... Yeah, we got tree branches. And there's, there's, a, there's a lot of good uses for it. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> it doesn't do damage, but it knocks everybody down. When did I get these? <laughs> did I just get these from a chest while I was blabbing? Oh, that's gonna make things easier. I don't recall ever... Did they add that? Did they patch that in? I don't remember ever having armor. Oh, this is great. I have armor now. Okay, we're gonna cook three fish. Okay, we got hearts. Plenty of hearts. Uh, now I need something like Mighty Banana something or other. Uh, let's do that, I guess. Make me strong. Uh, I'm not gonna cook the fairy. Take advantage of this, I guess, right? Watch me accidentally cook something dubious because I'm not even paying attention to what I'm cooking. There! That should be fine, right? Tough mushroom skewer. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna assume we're doing okay. I'll buy uh, I'll I'll eat the mighty simmered fruit in the next room, I guess, or something. I don't think I'll really have to, to be honest, because um, it's probably gonna be oh, it's dark. Oh, it's just bats, just bats and electric boys. Okay, um, let's kill the bats. First. Okay, something already sees me. Something already sees me. Bats see me. Okay, this one's really easy. Really easy. Unfortunately, they're not going to drop anything for me. What? That was it? Yeah, like I said, I, I swear this gets easier as you go. The first ten floors are so hard, and then it's just, it just, I don't know, evens out. My only problem in the that first floor was running into a guy with a bow like a like an idiot. But do I want to break down anything? I don't see any bird things. I don't see. Let's see if there's any hidden chests. Okay, ain't no way they're not giving me anything. I'm not buying that for a second. Uh stasis? Stasis? Surely there's eggs or something. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Great. I don't even know what floor we're on. We're kind of zooming through this. That's right. I remember now. They make it super easy because of the gimmicks. Because it's going to be dark or there's going to be ice or there's going to be something or other. So because of that, they overcompensate by making all the enemies super free. Okay, yeah, yeah, we have nothing to worry about now. 
There are Lazalfos, which is a little scary. But they're never gonna hit me. Unless they have a bow. I am having trouble seeing. But other than that, we're doing fine. Is anybody shooting at me? Not really. Okay, let's see if we can spare a little light. Um, I don't know where anybody is, so I'm just gonna throw bombs until I hear pain. <laughs> just gonna throw bombs until I hear a lot of pain. It's working, it's working. Oh my god. Um... Somebody sees me. They only have fire arrows. Let me kill this guy. Oh, there's three down there. I think the skull has a glitch in it because they can clearly see me on the ceiling. That guy has a flame sword. I want it. Yeah, I don't think he can hit me, but the game's be definitely being weird. Something's hitting me. Okay, I know I'm being a little overly cautious here, but working. See, what I usually do is I drop bombs in the eye holes of the skulls. I just can't see. I can't see well enough. I should have lit up the place a little better. Now, if I use mighty elixirs, does that make it so that my bombs do more damage? Because that would be freaking awesome right now. Come on. Roll. Roll. Okay, they're off my back, so... Oh, we fell. Not exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to... go on top of the eyeball. Okay, can you guys, like, chill? Here we go. I'm gonna drop this bomb inside. And I'm gonna keep blowing them all up like that. Now they're hitting me with water. Oh, uh, they're hitting me with other things, too. Man, we made a mistake coming here. Oh, I think I did get hit through the ground. But we gotta watch out for that. I think I'm safe here, though. Sorry this is taking so long, I'm just... I don't want to do this again. We have 36. We have a lot of arrows, though. You know? Maybe we can work with that. I'm not hitting them anymore. Okay. Okay, that guy's coming back inside. This is great. Can I hit you? Damn it. Okay, one down. Kind of. Did I just blow myself up or did that hit? <laughs> did I hit myself or did they hit me through the wall? Okay, we gotta like not fiddle fuck around with this. I'm pretty sure I... Okay, now they're hitting me with the bow. Okay, I'm getting hit multiple times now. That sucks. Hitting me through the ceiling. Yeah, uh, next time... If there is a next time, we cannot go up here. Yeah, I don't want to throw them like that. I just want this one to die in front of me. Okay, they lost me again, so that's good. Okay, that guy's dead. Are we down to one?
Please tell me that's it. That was surprisingly tough. Wow. Um, we played that like ass. Okay, let's not uh let that happen ever again. All right, we really, really got to scrounge for shit this time. Is there going to be more dark? Because I could use the torch. I'm not going to lie. I could actually use the torch now. Uh, we have a torch. Okay. Wow, we had a torch this whole time. <laughs> All right, we got to play it safer. I don't remember what's on the end of this floor, but I don't think it's much. Um... Also, floor two should be kind of short. Oof. That was not good. Take away my eyesight. What do I have left? Well, my other stuff. <laughs> All right. Eggs, anything, anything. Anything at all? Please. Nah. I don't know. Let's move. Underground floor eight. We got a wizard. We got a bunch of bokoblins. Here's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to light a torch. And I'm going to maybe throw it somewhere. I don't fucking know. Like, somewhere where it's dark. Uh, that's not what I was planning. Um, too late. I just wanted to be able to kind of see a little better. But now we're in trouble. And they're throwing rocks at me through a wall. Which means we now have but one choice. I'm nervous, so we're going to use everything I got. Come on. There we go. Why did that break so fast, dude? Oh, we are so... We are in so much trouble. Okay, one down, two down, whatever. Wizard hasn't seen us yet. How many more of these guys are there? We can't afford to be fucked with by the wizard. Ideally, what I would have liked to do is... Well, see, for one thing. I would like to run through here and throw bombs at everybody. Not like that. Okay, that's a blue one. I can tell because of how much damage I did to it. Can I get his attention? Hopefully he'll see the bomb. I think he's bugged. He is stuck. He is very stuck. Okay. Well, now that we know where he is... Uh, we lit him on fire. Cool. Alright! That leaves a wizard! How do we deal with this? He's going to light shit on fire, and we're going to be able to see better. So that's a plus. But also, if he lights shit on fire, we die. So there's that. I think it's in our best interest to do this. Just waste a ton of arrows, because wizards can be bad. I think he's dead. Yep. That wasn't bad. Once again, I just 
picked a bad play. I gotta stop getting the high ground because apparently they can hit you no matter where you go. So it's much better to just stay down and take cover. Uh, alternatively, Sneak Strike. I could have snuck up on any of them. So now we know. We're learning. We're still winning, so that's cool. That's cool. Seared Steak. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where is food? All I want is food. I want more food. Food is good. Give me food. Please give me food. 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 I don't think there's anything left in here. Oh, no. We got to be almost done, right? Very short on arrows. Very short. But that's to be expected. Uh, we don't need a rusty sword. Unless there's Octorox. Hmm. Nah, our equipment is pretty good. What I think we're gonna do... is drop a Korok Leaf, because come on. Let's give this a shot. I'm gonna drop the- I'm gonna drop a stick too, just because if I have too many things and I need to pick something up during combat, I'm screwed. Underground floor nine. So are there like- like ten? Oh! My! Fuck! Okay, I don't have the balls to uh, deflect them when I know that I, if I, like, missing, I, like. <sighs> it's embarrassing. Yesterday we did it with our eyes closed. Today, I don't even want to do it because I'm naked. Um, it'll be fine. Is it only one? I can handle just one. By the way, they don't just blindly fire when you do this. They only fire when they don't see you. See? Like, he's not gonna fire at me blindly like that. So, that was safe. That was, that was, that was actually really comfortable. And I think we're done? But we already had a floor with one guardian. What's so different about this floor? Not that I'm complaining, is it just because it was in the dark? I mean, he glows in the dark. Um, it was no need for that. Alright, let's pick up all the shit. Apparently the game expected me to use a lot of arrows. Of course, once again, there's explosives all over the place that we can use, so that's going to be useful for the next time we do this. Come on. Rise. Rusty shield. Uh, we do have a broken shield, don't we? We've been... Nah, did that one break already? No, we're using a spiked one now. Alright, I'm not gonna dick around anymore. We got enough arrows to finish the job. Unless it's a Lionel. Oh, what I do got to look for is the game does provide you with ancient arrows on round three. So we are going to have to be a little careful on round three to look for stuff. What, is this just a sleeping Hinox? Dude, dead ass. I could not care less. Hinoxes are free, dude. We already fought a sleeping Hinox in um the other dark place. Alright, we don't want to wake him up until I know what color he is. I'd very much like to know what color you are, sir. Okay, he's got thunder stuff attached to him. Are you blue or red?
or black. I don't think we're gonna find out. Alright, there's no trees for him to grab. Doesn't seem like there's any other enemies. There's these things on ropes that I think I can magnesis and throw at him. Oh, damn. Oh, I just woke him up, didn't I? Is it me or is this super easy? He can't hit me through any of this stuff. I gotta be missing something, so I'm not gonna risk anything. I just kind of wish there was more light. I have bomb arrows? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I've had bomb arrows this whole time! That's hilarious. Okay, um... I need... to whistle, apparently. I need to whistle and wake him up. Yeah, see, this is what I do during the Trial of the Sword. I... I, I keep saying I'm gonna use the weak weapons, I'm gonna use the weak weapons, I gotta conserve all the good ones. And then I never use the good ones, because... That time never comes. You know, it's kind of funny, actually. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run in. We're gonna fucking use our best shit and assume this is the last round. As long as he doesn't land on me, we'll be fine. Okay, he's obviously blue, right? Because he... Because we just knocked his uh, shit off, his uh, ankle piece off. Gotta get him to turn around. Turn around! Turn around! Butthole! Stop it, you're scaring me! At least I can see him when he's stasis. Okay, this is super free. This is like, not even a, a challenge. Oh, he covers the... Eye, though. He does cover his eye. What are you picking up? What is he picking up? What did he pick up? He picked something up. What was it? I can't see target. Where is he? Where is he? I'm in danger! Smiley face. I don't hear him moving. I just saw him. Hello? Did you get stuck? You got stuck, didn't you? Oh, you're so dumb. Bro. Can you... At this point, can you just come out? Oh, he was looking for me. There is a tree! Well, that was super free. That was actually kind of freaky. In the best way possible. Okay, I'm gonna assume we're done. So, uh... I'm not gonna overlook anywhere. Let's just go. There's no way there's anything after that, right? You mean there's more? Oh my god. Do we have fairies? No, but we will. We do have fairies. Dude, there's like nothing to worry about. We got so much stuff. I don't like that there's another rest stop. Are there like 20 floors or something? I don't even remember. In any case, we're gonna be fine. My inventory is full. Um... First off, let's eat random shit. 
Might as well become full. Uh, forest dweller shit. Let's see. We can dump this guy, this guy. Forest dweller spear. Oh, hell yes. Now we're not going to die. Okay, Forest Dweller stuff is kind of mid, but... This time, we're going to actually repair, because anything can happen. Although, it's not going to be dark anymore, so I don't think it can possibly be worse than that. I'm not just saying that. I actually mean it this time, because I kind of faintly remember what's next. I just thought this was Trial 3 for some reason. Part of me wants to look up how many floors there are, and part of me just kind of wants to be surprised because, like, I don't remember shit. This is taking a while, though, isn't it? Um, I don't see anything else. I don't see any fish. I don't see any weapons. Any secret chests. Not a good time to sit down? Oh. That'll probably be something fine. I'm not even looking at what I'm doing anymore. Okay, and then I guess we'll deal with that. We have plenty of heals. We're not going to need that many for sure. Can we go? I want to go. I want to leave. I just want to... I want to go on to the next. Let's go. Let's leave. We're fine. Worst case scenario. Actual worst case scenario. Um... Well, this is close to it. But no, honestly, we'll be fine. I don't have a shield equipped? What? We're actually going to try to deflect these guys because they don't do that much damage. Yeah, they don't do much, so... Ow. One at a time, though, please. Okay, stop breaking my shields. Okay. Your turn. And then there was one. Oh, we can walk on this. This is saving me durability, at least, so... No complaints. You love how I did all those crazy angled ones, and then I missed the easy one twice? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh, that was free. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take a freebie. Alright, you're gonna give me something good. I know it. I know it. This is gonna be like... Freaking... Lionel Spear. Just kidding. Ah, more of these, please. I'll take these any day. I can see... It's easy. Bunch of little scouts. Oh my god, the game likes me now. Why are you giving me easy shit? I like this. Alright, we're gonna save our good shit. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with a forest dweller spear. Oh yeah! You gonna hit back, or...? Okay. How about you? It's your turn. Destroy the spear on your face. Grab this. Oh, I can't hold anything. We're doing too well now. This is the part where I get cocky and screw everything up. It's gonna be great. Can't wait. Alright, anything? Any magnesis hidden bullshit? Yep! Hidden magnesis block. 
Fighting a chest. You know how I knew? Because this is copying a shrine that we've already done. Oh, a duplex bow. That's so nice. And what are you doing here? Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Get out, get out of here. I'm not gonna lie, this spear is very durable. Praise be to the great Deku tree. Although it's probably broken now, so I'm gonna throw it for the guardian sword. Alright, do we see anything else in here? Not really, let's go. We're too overpowered now, like I said. I said this would happen. Like I said, it get it goes from hard to easiest. Like, the first ten are super hard, the second ten are annoying. This is... Well, this. Oh. Why aren't they attacking? This is so nice. Ow. Oh, I had my bow out. Ow, it's so far away! <laughs> I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. One. Ow. I'm so bad. Do it! Alright. And then it was you two. You want some of this? Oh. Oh shit. You're one of them. Why isn't the other one attacking me? Why are they being so chill? Does this auto block? Is this one of the auto block ones? Because that would be amazing. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna throw that away. Take this guy. I feel like we really don't have to look for anything at this point. Uh, we're just gonna rush through. Wait, no. Let's take that. Um, actually, that one's more durable. What can I throw away? Bye! Alright, let's look around for the Magnesises. I think we're good. Alright, what's the gimmick here? There's just two more once again? Why is this harder than... These are supposed to get progressively harder. We just went from, like... Fucking... 20 of these guys to two. Am I missing something? Oh, they're Guardian Scout 2s. They're, they're stronger. Or their Guardian Scout 3s, maybe, even. They're like the modest test of strength now. Oh, yeah, okay. I see the problem now. Still easy, but... Oh, I'm using an axe. No wonder I'm having trouble. He's gonna do the thing. I'm just gonna let him do the thing. I don't want to waste arrows. Two, three, four... 9, 10, 11, 12. And 20. Now what, idiot? Oh no, he's doing the thing. Don't do the thing. That wasn't so bad. Okay, I think I'm gonna throw you away. I'm gonna grab you and I'm gonna grab uh, throw the axe away I guess for this. We basically got all guardian equipment now. Uh, there were leaves we could have used to burn them. They were used as traps. There were pillars we could have used as protection. Didn't really need them. Otherwise nothing else here. Let's leave. Why was there a rest stop before this, of all things? What's the deal with this? Let me guess, this is a Guardian Scout 4? Dude, is this supposed to be scary? This, I'm, I'm loving this! Does that mean I'm gonna get all three of your weapons? This is like the best thing you could have me do! I don't get these trials anymore! How did I just do a really fast flurry rush? That was cool. 
it just went from like challenge to like fight multiple things at once to regular shrine. Um, no complaints. Just, uh, you know. Got you. Okay, what are you going to do? You're going to do the spinny thing? I'm just going to keep using... I don't want to use too much guardian shit on you. I'll use the knight's broadsword. You're going to spin into this and die. I'm going to stasis you right after. That should be almost death. Not even close. Well, it's working. I want to try to skip the thing where he does the uh, thing with the laser if I can help it, so I'm going to have to stop him right now. That was absolutely awful timing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're going to let him do his thing. Now I'm going to do that. Uh... Okay. We're gonna flurry rush. We're gonna murder him. Nice. It's damaged. Okay, he's starting to do the blue thing, so we're just gonna hurry this up. No balls. You won't do it. You won't do it. Come on, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna shoot me? Yeah, right. I mean, we just got top tier equipment. I'm not gonna even look around for anything at this point. We're... Wh whatever is gonna happen next, we're, we're, we're ready for it. Wait, was that only plus gear? Did we get screwed? Wait, we're done? We can't even use it? Well, I just can't take life anymore. I can't believe it lets you jump off still. I'm sorry. It's just, it's hilarious. Imagine finishing the trial and then you just fucking misstep. Oh, God. Okay. Climbing up again. Round two. Round two complete. All right. While this is happening, hopefully I don't have to press anything. I am going to take a break. I will be right back.
Okay. I finally returned. I look stronger than last. Okay, hold on. Trying to eh, get back in the thing. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Okay, so we did the round two. Master Shorty Wild is now more powerful than before. Now it's on 50 out of 60, but it still doesn't glow blue like it does in the Wind Waker. So it's still, it's still dog shit. Okay, for Trial of the Sword Final Trials, I want to know how many floors we have this time. I need to know. Uh, Trial, Sword, Final, Floors. <laughs> okay, one had... 23? Wait, is that the middle one or the... Oh my god, there's 23 floors. Holy nutballs. Okay, I'm ready. Oh god, I'm getting the gamer... What do you call it? The gamer skull thing where your skull caves in from your headset. <laughs> Probably fine. Okay, we're in trouble. Um, As you can see... It do be lightning ninging it out, so that's fine, because honestly, it has no effect on us. Um, so yes, there are 23 floors, but like I said, I'm pretty sure they're easy only nutballs, Batman. <laughs> exactly. Someone gets it. Oh god, we are in trouble. But this is going to be a lot easier than anything we did, because I don't think it's going to be dark. Why are you guys still alive? Why is this hand following behind you? What is happening? Oh, there's one left. Is this... Are we winning, son? Did we... What? Who picked up... He picked up... A, another one picked up a different person's skull. You can't just be doing that. All right, round one. One and done. One and done. 22 more floors! Alright, first things first. Uh, this is acting like a freaking thunder rod. We're gonna grab this guy. Like how I said thunder rod and not lightning rod because I'm an idiot. Alright, is there are there any more like... Oh shit! Okay, rusty shield. I see what the gimmick was here. They put metal things all around hoping you'd back into them. But lucky for us, we didn't move that much. Okay, I don't think there's anything in the trees. We're going to grab... What? What? My rusty shield was on! That was almost really bad. Okay, um, we got an arrow. We got another arrow. We got a third arrow. Once again, I think we're trying way too hard on our first round that we're pretty much guaranteed to... We're gonna be fine. Let's go! Uh, this is the part where overconfidence is my downfall. Uh, Thunderbats in the thunder. This could be problem. Just kidding. We have bombs. Hello? Testing? Did my volume fuck up or did the lightning volume fuck up? Okay, I think it was the vo the, the thunder. Like, got cut off. That's weird. Surely everything's fine. Oh, it was the lightning volume. Oh, that's... That's weird. Why is the lightning striking this bat over and over? I feel kind of bad for it. Jesus. Was that it? Was that the whole thing, or are there people inside? Okay, I don't see any any um, anything that can electrocute me, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to climb. That tree just freaked me out. I thought I had a moblin standing on me. Okay, I'm gonna drop a bomb inside the eye socket of this skull and hope that it goes inside so I can kill whatever's in here. Apparently there's nothing in there. 
I bet the minute I walk in there, something's gonna surround me. Dude, I don't like this. Aha! I knew it! Ah, uh, Lizalfo's in water, man. Alright, I'm gonna let him go back inside, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing I just promised. We're gonna drop bombs. Just like that. Just like that. That was perfect. Come on. <laughs> that didn't even hurt you? What? <laughs> Excuse you? I thought we'd at least hit an explodey thing. For instance, if we hit this here guy, it'll blow a bunch of shit up. Why are none of them taking damage? Is it because they're down? Oh, they did take damage. My health bars were bugging out. That was pretty free. Another one down. Alright, Lizalfo's arm. Let's get all this stuff that's burning before it actually burns, because we're going to need non-metal stuff, apparently, to offset the lightning, which I really don't care, to be honest. My first seared prime steak in the entire game, I feel like, wow, that's crazy. And one last look around. Let's just go. We have a lot of floors to do. I didn't think this specifically would take that long. I thought we were beating the game today, but we are not doing DLC 2 in one day. Not even close to it. Probably like a two-hour stream tomorrow we will finish that bitch off. If we got time. I know there are appointment reasons why it might be okay. Appointment-related reasons. Um, there's a metal chest. I think if I get closer, there's going to be fire chews or something. Because tall grass. No, nothing. What are we looking at here? I bet there's a choo-choo inside of a barrel. Nope, just kidding. There's you guys. You have a bow, so you need to die. Those are the rules. Um. Does nobody realize that skeletons don't really scare anybody? Because, you know, they're skeletons and they die in one hit? Um. Where is that bomb? Okay. I mean... This is fine. This is actually fine. Yeah, see what's going on now. They're all coming up really fast and taking the heads of their friends. But I think we just won. That it? Easy. All right. Lightning's free. Oh, this is going to electrocute me, isn't it? Maybe if I grab it really fast. A knight's bow! And just out of curiosity, because food... There is nothing in there? What? Really? Kinda fucked up. Is there anything else for me? Let's leave. Uh, no time to wait. 
Florian. Four. Four out of 20. Oh my god, they're on horses. Okay, for the first time, this is actually scary. I would prefer to not kill the horses. Because I'm not a horrible human being. But, look, I, you gotta do what you gotta do. Which is nothing, because the horses are okay. Which means we're okay. Okay, never mind. That guy really wants to get on his horse. Okay, can you get off the... I, I, I refuse to kill horses. I don't care if they're already dead. I refuse. I will not. Horses are good. No such thing as a bad horse. I mean, look at them. They're adorable. It's my horse now, bitch. Alright, why is there still... Um, stuff happening. Are they still trying to ride horses? Okay, I'm not gonna do this from a horse. I'm gonna climb a tree. Three, four, five, jump. One, two, three, four, five, jump. In case they have arrow uh, bows, which they might. I want them to see me. Which they did. But they're being butts about it. We gotta get a little closer. What the hell just happened to my camera? Okay, anything else? Yeah, these guys have bows. That's not cool. And then there was one. Stop it! You're not allowed to take that other person's head. That's bad. Alright, we cool here? Horses are alive. Skeletons are... Other dudes are dead. I feel good. Horses will live long and fruitful undead lives. Oh, they actually do. I, I was saying that because I expected the game to kill them off right now, but I'm glad they didn't. Okay, already we have to choose wisely our items. Already we're doing so well that we can't carry anything on account of the me only using bombs problem. Okay, so this is when we look around. When we look around. Ground. Dragon Bone Boko Spear. What can we drop for that? An arm. I'd give up an arm and a leg for that guy. Uh, now another Dragon Bone. Look, these, these, us. Uh, these arms don't last long, so I don't mind chucking them. I'm gonna check one more thing. Uh, this could... bite me in the ass if uh, the lightning strikes these. I'm gonna do this. What? No, no that was supposed to break you both. There we go. Wait for that to blow up. And let's go see what it was. A rusty broadsword. I'll take it. I'm gonna go with we're fine. More bows, maybe. Don't really have access to good bows. I thought there was a third bow. There is. There's a million bows. Okay, I feel great now. 35 arrows is nice. We gotta look around for an ancient arrow. Because we're gonna have to fight a Lionel. And I'm using it on the Lionel. Alright, this guy... We may want to utilize...
Well, we may want to get rid of trees, for one thing. In general. As long as he doesn't grab a tree, we'll be fine. He's going to start throwing body parts at us. Which is kind of horse shit, but it's fine. What I really want him to do... Is... Drop his eye? As weird as that sounds... He's gonna do the bouncy thing. It's fine. We're gonna take this slow because I really, uh, I had a, I had a plan. I'm just not able to do it right now with him being a butt. So we're gonna just use everything that's not thunder. What? Oh, that's the worst possible thing that could have happened. As long as he doesn't grab the tree. Got him. Now the eye is going to fall out. Now we hit the eye many a time. What I was going to do was find find a reason to pull out a metal object. And I was actually going to use... I fucked up so bad doing that. I was going to use the metal to electrocute him, but I can't really think of a way to do that without getting myself killed. Whatever we're doing is working. That was not bad. Oh, shit! It's like Christmas. Alright, well this guy's definitely damaged, so we're gonna take you, you, and you, and we're gonna take him off because thunder! Uh, we're gonna discard you. Beautiful. I don't know what else we can grab. Except for arrows. I'm gonna say we're doing pretty, uh, we're looking pretty good. All things considered, we didn't take a hit from the Hinox. We don't need to heal. And we're at a rest stop. Oh, fairy! Just in case. We scared off the one fairy we have. Um, that's okay. We've never had to use one. Ever. Uh, why start now? <laughs> oh, great. Could have at least used it for cooking. Alright, I'm taking all three of you. We got the fish. Take the advice and blow everything up. And I do mean everything. And my game's being kind of silly. Uh, I don't think the um, apples were rendered properly on screen right there. Not that that's a problem. Okay. You. Flame Breaker Boots. That frightens me. Is there actually stuff here that's like anti... Anti-fire. There's the Ancient Arrows times three. Okay, so you really can't miss them. So I, I, I'm i willing to bet if you miss the Flame Breaker boots here, something happens where you're just straight up screwed. Double axe. Uh, we gotta throw something away in favor of that. I think we're done with lightning. Uh... 
Uh, man, should we cook everything? This'll be for health. This'll be for what the fuck ever. This'll be for the other thing. And this'll be for fun. Alright. Got all the food, all the stuff. I feel good. Three ancient arrows. Three things to use ancient arrows on. We are immediately dying. Uh, so let's put that on. Now we're fine. We're going to equip metal now. The game's trying to burn all my hard-earned shit. Okay, and almost immediately we're being under attack, so... Seven floors. Let him shoot. Oh, we should have given him our rusty shit. He would have turned it into soldier or, or knight equipment or whatever. That would have been smart. The game knew I'd throw that shit away. The game knew. Of course, there's probably rusty shit in here. Yep. Eh, whatever. You can definitely get rid of a lot of this stuff. I highly doubt there's anything in the lava. That's just not how it works. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Let's just try to make up time. If I can finish this by noon, I'll be happy. Alright, there are Lazalfos that are mad at me. Right off the bat. Uh, they are fiery, fiery boys. Here's the plan. We go up. <laughs> and we go into the drink. Thankfully, because it's a video game, yeah, falling into lava only takes a heart. Does it make sense? You bet your ass it doesn't. But... Am I going to complain? You no. Know, because otherwise we'd be very dead. Oh, a little broken swim in lava. He just took half our hearts and then some. Just by hitting me once. Oh my god, we can't get hit again here. We, we actually can't get hit again. We're just going to play this safe. He shouldn't be able to reach us. Alright. Playing it safe, but losing out on arrows because of it. We somehow got his bow. Which is crazy. This could have something really, really good in it. So let's just drop it and see. It has Toasty Endura Shroom, Toasty Silent Shroom, Toasty Iron Shroom. Great! I forgot that doesn't kill him. What was I thinking? I don't want him spitting lava at us. Okay. Um. Raise you up. Drop you down.
That looks like everything. Now you might be wondering, why aren't you healing? What, I said you might be wondering. I didn't say I'd give you a fucking answer. I don't know why I'm not. <laughs> I probably should. Alright, floor nine. Looks like a wizard and more Lazalfos. The wizard's the main problem here. But the Lazalfos will come out as soon as I piss off the wizard, right? Maybe if I try my best not to get seen. Looks like two question marks. I can handle two. Especially if they check outside. That's good, they don't know I'm here yet. Because they're stupid. It's just one lizard and a moblin? Interesting. Do you see that? No, he doesn't see it. Okay, I gotta hide from him though, or else he will see me. I think I hear another one. Go after it. Go after the bomb, stupid. A little closer. Yeah, there's multiple. Don't like that. We're gonna play it safe. They will shoot lava at me. Oh, they just shoot water. Okay, that's fine. They'll forget about me in a minute. Do not want this guy seeing me. Okay, so far so good. Sorry I'm being so focused. Once we kill one, I'm gonna feel pretty comfortable with that. I'm most worried about the stupid whiz robe. Oh, I think I'm, like, right where these bombs go into the eyeball. Not quite. So close. I'm not sure that I actually can do that. Do I have a good bow? Or, like, not really. I can't kill you in three hits. Close to it, though. Did it work? Is he dead? Yeah. Okay, so now you guys are just gonna... gonna limp dick that bomb, I guess. This is good. Now we got a plan. Okay. Hey, if it works, it works. Surprised Tears of the Kingdom doesn't have anything like this. Trial of the Sword. Alright. We could face the, the Moblin a little more fairly if we want now. Do we have to? Hell no. Uh, I'm just gonna... Can 
Can you go after the bomb? Can you go after the bomb? Do they not go after bombs? Go after the bomb. The bomb. Oh, you're so dumb. Who goes near explosions? All right, I'm done playing. Come here. That wasn't bad. Could have been worse. Could have been much worse. Now we have to recoup, figure out what we need and what we can throw. Getting rid of this guy for this, first things first. We need arrows. We need arrows very badly. One hit and we're dead. We should heal. Am I going to heal? Ah, uh, maybe. Throw you. Take you. Grab you. Throw you. Take you. We need a sledgehammer. There might be a stone talus. I feel like this is going to be a trick. We're going to need it. You don't know, hammers do a lot of damage against Stone Talus. Because it's four. Alright, I don't feel too good, but we're gonna keep going. We have all this elemental shit we should be using. Forty-one arrows is the problem right now, and if this one Lizalfos hits me, I'm dead. Gonna have to start using better shit. Uh, I think I'm gonna heal. I think I'm gonna stop being a bitch and I'm gonna heal. Just so I don't die in one hit. Good, he lost his access to his junk. I can't hit him, he kind of can't hit me, huh? Got him. Are there any explosives here? These guys die in lava. These guys will die in lava. So I would very much like to get underneath so they don't see me. And maybe... Maybe knock them off with, like, anything heavy. Maybe the double axe. Doesn't matter if this guy sees me, he's not going to tell. Alright, so here's my idea. That metal crate will be used to knock him off really hard. I don't know if I should stasis or not. Don't have time to stasis. Plan was an epic fail. Uh, now we're stuck down here. Sorry, I'm panicking. Um, if they follow us all the way down, we're kind of in trouble. They did. We may have to use Bullet Time, or Flurry Rush, or something. We got the Archer after us, which is worst case scenario. Because he'll shoot- he'll like glitch through the fucking building with our luck. Doesn't give us enough time to switch or else I'd knock him right in. Okay, we got a better, uh... Line of sight block. As long as he can't hit us.
Okay. Problem one solved. I'm gonna just use this to smack these guys around a little bit. Come here, I just wanna... I wanna smack you around. No big deal. I wanna... Excuse me? Oh god. We're in trouble. I forgot he does the spinny thing. Okay, we're fine. Just gotta... Gotta smack him a little bit. We broke it. You know, that's fine. Do what we can do. No need to panic. Make him drop his weapon. Maybe burn him a little bit. Maybe freeze them? God, I'm out of ideas. Okay, this is fine. Oh, I didn't know you could flurry rush a punch. That should kill him. We're close to it. Alright, this is fine. Next guy. So the plan for this next one is I'm gonna take this crate and I'm gonna do it right. Just kidding. Just kidding. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna run and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna hit him in the eye, and he's gonna fall off. Idiot. I think we're doing okay, right? Oh god, we're doing better than that cold coffee I just drank. Ugh. How long can that shit stay out before it's disgusting? <laughs> okay, um, next. There must be something we can gather here. Wasn't there a chest in the water? And by water, I mean the slightly warmer than water substance. Well, we just lost that chest forever because we magnestis the wrong thing. It'll be fine. We don't need it. We didn't need it. We definitely didn't need it. Holy shit, we needed it. And an Igneo Talus. The exact reason we held on to this, because I had a feeling... We don't have ice arrows, unfortunately, so what we're going to have to do is switch between a couple things. See, first we get his attention. And we make him cold. Then he drops. We jump up, and this should do a lot of damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight... And we get off of them. And then we let them freak out again. I think. Or do I... Should I... The answer is yes. Okay. And we hit him again with that. He falls. And then we go 100% on the, on the hammer. Ah, uh, we were resourceful this time. This was all just being smart. Imagine if I didn't have that hammer. This would have been hard.
That's it, right? Nice. Nice. Let's see. Arrow. What was the point of this? You can still throw projectiles at you. I don't know that that's making things better or not. Arrow times five. Yeah, I guess there was just a couple of extra arrows. Let's just leave. Oh! Let me grab these. Everyone counts. We only have 53. That's not exactly a ton. I can't believe how long this ended up being. Holy shit. We're at the second rest stop out of probably three. This time we're not going to ditch our fairies, just in case we get one-shotted, a fairy does come in handy. Interestingly, we have spicy equipment. That's interesting to me. Hylian tunic of all things, okay. Stone smasher, I'm going to hold on to that because we're going to need it. Which means we no longer need this guy. And let's not forget the old Royal Guard Shield. Holy shit. They mean business now. Plenty of arrows where that came from. The only thing I don't like is the, uh, the spicy... Uh, why is it giving us so many uh, spicy options? Are we going to need it? Are we going to have to, like, double stack something? Yep. It's going to get cold, is my point. Unless I cook things. Here's the thing. If I cook one thing, it's like a minute and a half, right? If I cook three things, can't I get it to, like, eight minutes? Should, should I just go for the, the gusto and just a five pepper snack or would that be bad because of how slow I am it might be better to spread it out and use it when I need to use it plus we have a flame sword we can use the flame sword to keep warm instead uh choices I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two Two meals, two separate meals with two separate heat boosting equipments. What did the sizzle fin trout do again? Storing heat. Boost your resistance to the cold. So I'll do... Sizzle fin trout and two of them. That's going to be hearts and protection. 17 minutes of resistance is insane. Okay, that's great. Now I'll do this and one piece of meat. 10 minutes. Damn, spicy peppers mean business. This is going to be just hearts, straight hearts. And this is something I could probably eat right now if I wanted to. Eh, maybe not. Not yet. Alright, once again, feeling pretty good. Let's leave. Still got a lot to do. As you can see, it's fucking cold. So it's only going to be for a few floors. 
What I think I'm going to do, and this might be uh, ridiculous, I'm going to keep this on and not, not eat anything yet. Because chances are this is only going to be these guys and Bokos. Because as long as you have a weapon that's hot on your back, nothing bad will happen. There is a dude with a bow, but he can't hit me from here. Yes, he can. Blue guys die in three hits. This guy will take a little more. Which is actually fine. Matter of fact, maybe I'll take out the archer right now. Because I don't like him. I know, what did I do? I'm just, like, here, trying to warm up to the fire. I'm like, hey, you guys mind? And they're like, get the fuck off my turf. I'm like, what did I do? Oh, crap, I'm using a rod. Oh, can I switch? Can I switch in between Flurry? You cannot. <laughs> I didn't want to waste that on him. Holy shit, they're fast, aren't they? Uh, we gotta switch back to fire. So I'm, I'm switching between fire and not fire just so I don't freeze to death. No other reason. Because I'm trying to flurry rush him. And then switch to something else. And then flurry rush. And then switch to something else. Perfect. That way I don't have to eat, uh, spicy food. Oh, I took a little bit of damage there. That's okay. Come on. Stab. Wait, what? Okay, drop it. Oh my god, that's a- that's a one-hit kill? That's a good staff. I was afraid to use it. Alright, the faster we're done with the snow, the better, because... I don't like it. We definitely have enough shields to... Survive us. This can go. I'm gonna put on fire. Uh, do I need a Boko Spear? Sure. That is worse than whatever I just threw. Okay, cool. We got an arrow. We're down to 72. Up to 72. I'm gonna stand next to this ice for a hot minute just to... Hell, I'll even put it out. There's probably a chest in here. Something good? Okay! Thank God we uh, didn't leave. Anything else at all? There's another cooking pot, which is super sus. Like, they just gave us the... Oh, it's just like a last minute, like, you didn't- you didn't cook the peppers, did you? Last minute, like, I warned you. <laughs> well, we did cook the peppers, but we're not using them, cause... Fire. Fire is nice. Let's leave! What are we on, 14 out of 23? Yeah. Okay, now there's Lizalfos. I'm not a fan. The Icy Lizalfo. Oh, wait! Ice Lizalfos die in one hit to fire. This is gonna be fucking free. I'm gonna get his attention right off the bat. Get his attention. Get his attention. He's gonna come to me. And I'm gonna fucking burn him. <laughs> Done! <laughs> Idiot. Okay, this is fine. This is why we keep everything. What is this? Forked Lizal Spear. We'll come back to it. Here's as though there's a lot of shit happening above me. Do they know I'm... Do they know I'm down here? They're jumping around quite a bit. Are there any icy boys? Oh, hi. Oh, you're a little bitch. Please don't let that burn. I want that, I think. Is that dragon bone? Yeah. I would like the dragon bone, please. Am 
Man, it's gonna be sh shit when this thing breaks on me, huh? Okay, our archer's dead. That guy's dead. Uh, I kind of want that club, too. I'm getting greedy. I want it all. Where's that noise coming from? Is he above me? Somebody snoring above me? That's a white moblin? Oh, shit. Okay, they're n it's not a big deal if we kill them. It's just white ones can be kind of spoopy if they hit you. So we're just going to not let them hit us, I guess. Am I using fire weapons to not take damage? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just keeping it on me because I don't want to use... um. I do have two. The game was nice enough to give us uh, six peppers and three firefish. So I have two resistant meals that'll give me like 27, 28 minutes of uh, resistance. But they also give me a lot of heart, so I figure I'll get hit first before I actually use them. Just to make sure I have enough, uh, I'm like utilizing my health stuff. But yeah, usually like, yeah, you're going to be out of here in 20 minutes. So, you know, might as well just eat the food. But the fire is doing such a good job. Especially on this asshole. <laughs> oh shit, I fell. I'm hoping I can just finish him off like that. Plus, I got a fire sword once this breaks, so that's really nice. What I think I'm going to do with him is I'm going to do a really fancy backflip into this. And I'm just going to keep hitting them over and over. Because I can. Do I have a better bow? Not really. Eh, I'll use the knight's bow. So long! I'm going to break it. One more hit. There we go. Put on another bow. Probably another knight's one. And now we'll fight him for realsies. I think. I just don't like the white moblins. They're so overpowered. They're me. Oh, hey, he knows I'm here. Hey, buddy. Don't make me backflip hit you to death. Oh, crap. I can't. I gotta wait until he's about to swing. Three, two, one, switch. I suck. Okay, I don't know. I don't know the timing on that. I'm gonna do this instead. <laughs> I don't know how to flurry rush him. Get out of here, man. Don't let that thing break, though. I kind of want it. He does look funny while on fire. He's like, what the fuck? Going around. I have a flame spear? Oh. That's super nice. Alright, we're just gonna finish him off. Yeah! And then switch to fire. He had a moblin club? A spiked moblin club? I thought he had... Wait. Was that just a spiked moblin club? Oh, dragon bone. Okay, yeah, that would have one-shot me, probably. Okay, I need, uh, I'm gonna keep the flame spear on now. That was scary. All right, I do not have enough power to break these, nor do I have fire arrows. So I'm gonna assume this is just an updraft. If there's one with a chest, I'm gonna just stand next to it with the fire and slowly melt it. Because I want to see... Yeah, this is a chest, right? We're just gonna stand here for like 20 minutes. No big deal. Come on, Link. You got this, buddy. I can't believe Link is putting off this much heat. He's a beast. 
All the power of the fire sword. Blink, buddy. Maybe I'll hit it once. Oh, that didn't help. Where are they getting all of these dragon puns? I've seen very few dragons. And I'm pretty sure the dragons look boneless. They're just these weird little, like, fucking... Car establishment dudes, like, blowing in the wind. <laughs> what? What? There's six ancient arrows? I thought there were only three. Okay, that's, that's an updraft. So we can... What? So, okay, for reference, we're gonna have a Lionel fight. We're gonna have a couple of Guardian turrets to fight. I'm just gonna Ancient Arrow everything that's hard now. And we're golden. Uh, I do want to burn this, though. I, I want to burn this. Can you not burn these by touching them? Oh, okay, fine. Bombs it is. So long! Nice bow. We got one ice arrow. That's We're gonna have to use that on a rainy day, and I think something else went flying that I don't care about. But yeah, you ain't kidding about those bones. Not to mention there's those three giant, giant skeletons littered about Hyrule that look like they were from some other type of dragon, and there's no explanation on them. What is going on here? Okay, okay, um, Ice Wizard will die by fire. Do I have a single fire arrow? Yes. Okay, one fire arrow kills one Ice Wizard. I'm gonna kill him first. I don't like his stupid face. Okay, he's dead. As for you guys, I would like the Moblin to attack me without the Bokos or vice versa. What I think I'll do... Are they dancing or are they sitting by the fire? Is it me or did y'all just see me through a freaking wall? Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I don't want to waste this flame spear, so I'm gonna use one meal. I know this is kind of probably not good. I'll use the ten one. It'll at least fill up some hearts and, uh... I'm going to put on a different thing, and we're just going to kill him with uh, this. Okay, you have a bow. I just realized I'm about to get shot in the face by a fire arrow. Excuse you. Excuse you. I can never, I never know how to, how to time that one. Is the other guy still trying to get me from behind? Because he has a bow. I'm trying to go a little bit fast because of the timer freaking me out. So I'm totally going to waste this Lazalle boomerang, which I'm not throwing, which is defeating the purpose of a boomerang. I don't know. They make good swords too. What can I say? Ooh, Knight's Halberd, Knight's Halberd, Knight's Halberd. What do I throw? What do I throw? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use this to stab him in the face. Many a time. He forgot about me. The bastard forgot about me. Don't you forget about me. Next. You. What are you... No, do not pick... And no, he picked up the ice staff of all things? Oh my god. I didn't even think that through, dude. Okay, do not attack wizard first, I guess. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it's a little bit bad. If that hits me, I might die. I don't know. I don't know how much damage that's gonna do. All I got is, like, level 3 equipment and no helmet. So, I'm afraid. Also, can you stop wasting... Did They don't waste durability when they're using them, right? Because uh, I don't want that to go to waste. That seems like it'll come in handy in a tight spot. Uh, why are you trying to kick me? I'm not near you. I mean, I'm not complaining, but you're really dumb. Okay, I don't know why he was kicking like that, but thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. 
All right, only a few more floors. It's a blizzard rod and not an ice rod. Okay, throw away this spear. Is there anything we can do here? I don't want to waste too much time because we got eight minutes left of not having to wield a fire spear. Game's given us fruit, so it ex so I expect another rest stop. I don't know. I think we're good, right? We're probably good. We're probably good. We're we're fine. I don't really think it's uh, there's that much to worry about anymore in terms of. I know there's gonna be this one part with a bunch of windy shit, unless that was part two, the stuff we already did. But I recall there being more dudes with bomb arrows than I could handle before. I don't know. Let's just get out of the ice. Is this an apple? Don't mind if I do. Just a random apple sitting there. Oh, I probably it probably came out of one of the boxes. Okay, Ice Talus. Exactly why we got fire gear and why we kept the Stone Smasher. This guy is going to go down easy. What we got to do first is get behind the guy. Okay, as soon as he does that little jump, we stab him, he falls, we switch, we might be able to kill him in one go. One, two, three, four, not quite, but I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it. Yep! Thought he was gonna kick me off. Ooh, okay, that was easy. Which means we're d officially done with ice. I don't remember what's next. I mean, electric would make sense, but... I think those two... things, I don't think those are ice. I, th I mean, I don't think those are... I don't think those are ice. I don't think these ice things are ice. Uh, I don't think... Uh, I think they're just updrafts. I don't think they have chests in them. Oh, well, now that I'm looking at it, one probably does, because... I find it hard to believe there's nothing here. But we're gonna leave. What are we on, like 16 or so? A blue Lionel. Okay. Do I fight him or do I ancient arrow him? That is the question. He's blue, so all of my- all of these weapons. Like, half of them are gonna go. I'm gonna use this up, probably this, and probably this at least. Probably all four of these. If I were to fight him. If I were to Ancient Arrow him... Well... You know. Keep in mind, we can full stasis a blue one. Fuck it. Eh, fuck it. It's like a five, seven minute fight if we do it, so might as well just, you know. Just don't want to waste those, so let's see. Uh, you... Flame Spear, I am losing my mind. My mind is not working. Anything else in here? Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Little more. Little more. Little more. Melt, you fool! Please? Can you... Can you do this one thing for me? Can you... can you melt? Hey, thanks. What are you giving me? Worth it. Alright, I think I'm gonna just leave without looking for anything else. Chances are this is totally gonna be a uh, free 
Yep. One of these. Why do they give you so many fairies? Like... I mean, you can see this is so much easier than, like, round one. They're giving us fairies. They're giving us, like, a million items. They're giving us armor. I get that it's 20 floors instead of 10, but, like... I don't know. It, it definitely... All I'm gonna say, look, if you beat the beginner mode with the first 10 floors, you can beat the rest. Honestly. Beginner is the hardest. They're giving me a royal broadsword, bruh. You know what I can do with a royal broadsword? Well, first of all, lots of neat stuff. Alright, how about you? You're gonna be armor or something? That'd be nice. Okay, whatever. How about you? I'm full on bows. We're doing way too well. Okay, we got this. I'm confident. Nothing can go wrong. Except that. You know, that one thing. You know, when everything goes wrong, that one time when, you know, everything just... When you just think you're doing so well and then everything just crumbles around you. And you realize that... We're really nothing but just bags of meat. Just slowly inhaling free radicals and dying. While the plants absorb our carbon dioxide. You know, we're, they're not really feeding us. We're feeding them, if you really think about it. It's just... Why are we even... Uh, l l let's, um, l let's keep going. Let's keep going. I didn't cook anything. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to cook. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. It'll be fine. Floor 19. There's only five floors left. They're the farmers. <laughs> exactly, they're the farmers. Um... Is it crazy to try to block all these guys and not use Ancient Arrows? Would that be insane? Oh, it's one at a time. I'm gonna try one and see how much damage he does. Okay, or I'll just do it. Okay, see, guardians are weird. Like, when you know you're not gonna die, when you know you're not in danger at all, you're never gonna miss a guardian. But when you're in the situation I'm in where you're not sure, suddenly you start screwing up. Which I'm apparently not gonna do, because we're goaded. Um, yeah, totally. This is great. Oh my god, three for three. There only one left? Two left. You first, please. One at a time, please. What? 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 Why? Why are there so many? No, stop it. I'm hiding behind you. I'm genuinely using this guy as a pick. Well, now I can't because he's dead. Didn't think that one through. Okay, there's two left. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's just focus on this one. Do you think I can deflect this from this distance? Yep, that was really weird timing, though, and I did not like it. I like being a very specific distance when I do my deflecting. Because, I, I don't know, I feel comfortable right here. Because then it's right... It's right when the red laser turns into a blue laser that you hit A. Every other distance is, like, weird. I, I don't know, man. That was fine, though. Yay. Alright, four more floors. We're overpowered. We got a bunch of ancient arrows we can use. Which I'm going to use on the next fucking Guardian turret I see, or something or other. Floor 20. There's horses... ...that we can use, and there's just one Guardian. Is that it? I think we're going to fight him. I think we're going to fight him the right way. 
I know it's a waste of like we're gonna have ancient arrows left over, but I'm pretty confident about these guys. Last one with my eyes closed. Got him. All right, not bad. Okay, um, I don't know what we have left at this point. We're not even going to look for items, we're just going to run through. Not even going to look. Next! Floor 21. I'm going to say this is where I use an Ancient Arrow. I don't like these ones as much. They're kind of jankier. They're weirder. They're harder to hit. Um, I just don't like them. I also don't trust my aim, so we're going to climb really freaking high. We're going to look down on them. Oh, hey, free stuff. This game's giving us bomb arrows. But we got an ancient one, so what do I care? Get hecked, idiot. It doesn't do full damage? You gotta hit him in the eyes to kill him. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, we just used two ancient arrows. I'm, I'm less cool about that. That said, I think the next floor is the last, or is there one more after this? I'm gonna heal fully, because... Well, I'm gonna heal fully. <laughs> um, I have anything to heal more than that. Ooh, full recovery plus three. That's too much, though. Perfect. We'll save that full recovery for a rainy day. I think we're just gonna go. I forgot if this is the last floor or the second to last. If there's a bunch of um, dudes on horses and a Lionel, it's the last. It is not the last. Okay. So now we got to watch our ancient arrows. A little bit. We're going to get this guy on us. Just kidding. Hey! Butthole. Got him. <laughs> oh, two left. I was saving these for a rainy day. Oh, God, there's another one. I'm not going to waste it on him, though. That is... There's three guardians here? Are you joshing me, bruh? All right, um, listen, you, I'm going to fight fairly. One. Two. Eyes closed. Okay. <laughs> Next. This guy. They're kind of hard to beat without deflecting them. In other words, you probably want to kind of deflect them, but... That was kind of close. I want to see what's in here first. Oh, my inventory's full. What am I using right now for a bow? I'm using a piece of shit bow. Okay, I mean, it's not a piece of shit bow, it's just not a royal bow. I haven't been using a royal bow this whole time. Alright, if I run toward him... We got this. We're gonna fight him up there. Use everything we have. Which is, uh, the, um, the fucking this. And then we're gonna fucking stasis them, right? We're gonna stasis them. Can I not climb this? Oh no. Wait, yeah, I can... Yeah, 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 yeah.
I'm just trying to like... Okay, you can't... You can't stun these guys for long periods of time. That's fine, I'm using everything I got. This is actually fine. I thought I didn't like these guys. No, why don't I just keep hitting them with this? We're on the last one. We're not gonna need anything. We only need these arrows to kill a couple of bokoblins. What do you think's in this chest? I want this chest. I want, I want it. I want it. I want to know what's in the chest. I want to know what's in the chest. All this to get a powered up sword at the end of the game. And not even be able to barely use it. I mean, even better, we're gonna get a motorcycle left at the end of the next DLC that we're not gonna be able to use. My inventory's full. Okay, well, I've been using the hell out of this shield. So I'm gonna equip this guy. The royal... I'm part of the royal guard now. As a matter of fact, let me put on the good royal shield. Yeah. How do I get out of here? Where's the exit? How do I get out? Found it. Examine. Last but not least, we got a giant fucking Lionel. And a bunch of assholes. So the Lionel... ...can be a problem. If you don't hit him like we just did. <laughs> so the Lionel we just evaporated with an arrow. The rest of them, however, we're going to climb a tree. And we're going to do this without killing any horses because we're not horrible people. No, I'm not ancient arrowing you. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. Uh-huh. Perfect. Climbing the tree again. Okay, I'm killing you. You, Isn't it weird that this is the last one? It's just all these guys and a Lionel. The only downside to Lionels is if you... If you don't charge them, they will pull out shock arrows that pretty much never miss. And you don't want that to happen. So you gotta, you gotta approach the Lionel head-on if you see him with an exclamation point. Are we gonna beat this shit without getting hit? Because... Lol. Uh-oh. Just kidding. Horse? Chill horse. Imagine if I got hit by the horse at the end. Wait, there's a guardian too? I don't remember that part. Well, um... Fucking... Take it. Idiot. Why is there a chest on the last... Like, who's gonna grab this in the middle of the fight? Let me out of here, man. Give me my sword. Skip. Okay, next. Next, next, next. Oh, um, of course we gotta jump off. You know, tradition. Just because the game doesn't give us railings, so. Okay, now we're good. It was tradition, you know? This place. We're in a giant dome. It's a monk. Oh, it's many a monk.
Always shatter in glass, Link. You have done well. The depth of your heroism is beyond question. We are the ones who prepared this trial, following a revelation from the goddess Hylia. You tried to kill me several times? Okay. To the one who has overcome the trial of the sword, you have proven your hand worthy of the legendary master sword. Now that the hero has gained the power necessary to combat the calamity, our sacred duty has been fulfilled. <laughs> duty. <laughs> Chosen hero. Can I take it? With the Awakened Master Sword now boasting its true splendor. We're all gonna kill ourselves? Okay. Protect the kingdom of Hyrule for now and for always. So I don't get it. Did I not have this a hundred years ago? I just had a shitty ass sword? Because that explains a lot. Did you get the sword powered up in Tears of the Kingdom? I don't even remember. Anyway. Go on, Link, do it. Oh, hell yeah. Do it, glow blue. Glow blue. We got a perma blue sword. Permanently at 60. Durability insane now. Practically doesn't break. I mean, I'd, I'd guess it's probably... I don't know, how many hits is it? It's, uh, if I had to guess, I'd say it's close to 100, but probably a lot worse than that. Still just really, really good to have. All right, let me go back to my tree. Is it speaking to me? Why are you aiming at it all threateningly at the Deku tree, man? He's speaking to him. So you have finally returned. Your mind, body, and soul are now ready to wield the Master Sword at its full potential. You never fail to impress. Hell yeah! Sacred Glow suits me well. You're gonna watch over my journey from here. Weird. You're sure that the princess is pleased with me? Yeah, yeah, sure. The one who keeps telling me, please hurry, Link. I'm over here doing this shit. I know, it looked like he fell asleep for a sec. He's just like, ah, this is the stuff. Yeah, look, we got Zelda's favorite flower. Well, we're done DLC 1. On to DLC number 2. So we beat the game. We, uh, we go to, uh, I think we go to Shrine of Resurrection and we, like, rest there or something. And Oh, no. I remember this now. So we have a trial where there's four more shrines on the Great Plateau, but there's a catch. They're going to give us a weapon. It's a temporary weapon known as the One-Hit Obliterator. Everything we kill or we hit dies in one hit, but so do we. The game's going to give us a quarter of a heart, and we have to do a bunch of shrines that are basically designed to kill us. I think one of them is particularly bad. Uh, fairies don't work, I don't think. This is the only time in the game where it's, like, very, very, very easy to die. I probably will. But that's okay. I'm not starting over. <laughs> I'm not starting over. It's too late. I'll be careful, though. Sheikah Slate and Champion Verification Complete. Activating the Divine Beast Tamer's Trial. Associated locations have been marked on the map. So the interesting thing here is the the, the um, Great Plateau gets slightly terraformed now. As does the rest of the world, because uh, 12 more shrines appear. Four here and three in each of the uh, areas with the, the dudes. There it is. Take hold of the provided weapon to begin the trial. Once we take hold of this, we have to do these four uh, shrines. My weapon stash is full. 
You know what, game? Why don't you heck right off? I'm gonna wear this armor because you never know. What if I can take a quarter damage because I, I don't know. <laughs> it's maxed out or something. Here goes. The one-hit obliterator. It hurts to, to wield. Yep. Yep. This is our life now. This is our life now. Although I'm going to say this is going to be easier than the Trial of the Sword, so... I am Maz Koshia. I now address the one who wishes to master. It's literally like one, like, three-minute shrine is the only difficult part. To undertake this task requires unwavering dedication. There's also dudes who shoot arrows at me that kind of suck. That weapon defeats foes with one hit. However, the reverse is also true, as its wielder will also fail. Uh, yeah, um... Uses weapon's ability only twice within a set period of time, only when it's glowing. Okay. So... When enough time passes, it will regain its sheen. It regains its sheen pretty fucking fast, so it's not a big deal. Haha, <laughs> screw you, game, probably. <laughs> Some developer out there is just like, you know what, we're gonna make a hard game harder. Oh, you did the Trial of the Sword? Well, now you can't even use the sword, idiot. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much how I feel, too. If you're up to the challenge, leave this plateau. If you're not up to the challenge, okay. So we gotta do four shrines. As you can see, it has infinite attack. <laughs> Literally, the only hard part is getting to the shrines and then doing one of the four shrines that has so many spikes, it's stupidly ridiculous. But um, that's it. We just gotta find the four shrines. Um, we're gonna go to this one first. We're gonna get shot at by everything and their mother. Keep in mind, we can use a bow. We just can't use any weapons. So as soon as we get to that log over there, a bunch of dudes are going to shoot shit at me. But I kind of remember where they are for what it's worth. So I'm just going to shoot them with bomb arrows. I don't know why I had bomb arrows equipped, but hey, why not? I'm going to take it slow. Oh, no. Bats. So if these bats come up to us, obviously they will one shot us. That should disperse them, though. I forgot about the bats. It's such a dick move. Oh, and we don't have Rivali's Gale or anything for that matter. Where is this shrine? It's saying it's right here. Oh, I think you have to kill everything in the zone. That's okay, though. We got a one-hit obliterator thingamajig. So... Why did that blue Bokoblin survive that? Oh my god, I am scared right now. Oh, we're using the shittiest bow in the game. Or not, not in the game, but uh, in our... in our... possession. Okay, the black one's scaring me. I think I'm gonna go and one-hit obliterate him, as well as the white one up top. Nice. And believe me, we do not have to collect anything, because nothing... Nothing this game gives us is going to be worth it. Although, these chests are all missable. I think some of these disappear after you, um... Oh, there's one more. Anyway, what was I saying? A lot of that shit disapp... What? No! Don't tell. I think, I think this is the last one, so it doesn't matter, but, um... He's looking right at me. I don't like that I'm blinking red all the time. It makes me think I'm like... Oh, he knows. He just knows. He knows. He knows what this is. Maybe if I stay here, he'll forget about me. Please? We gotta one-hit obliterate him. I just don't want him looking at me. Please turn around. 
Please turn around. Can you turn around, please? I just need a second before you shoot at me. I just need a second. Just a second. I fell. I fell. I fell. Maybe I can stand right here. I'm gonna count to ten. And your, your question mark's gonna go away. You're gonna turn around. I'm gonna get the jump on you, okay? Please? Okay, you gotta turn a little bit more than that. I don't know how fast you are in the draw, you know? Got him! <laughs> Alright, one done. Like I said, that's the hardest part. The shrines are surprisingly easier. As you can see, the shrines look drastically different. But there is one shrine in particular that's got a bunch of spiky spiky boys, and we might die in it. I'm gonna Google this. Um, one hit obliterator. Oh, my phone's doing that glitchy thing where it's loud. Do fairies work? Let's see. You don't have to restart the challenges, but you will die. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we can't die. Uh, we, 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 our fairies don't help us here. We're just, if we, yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Worst case scenario, we die and we just reload. I'll save just in case. But we're probably going to be okay. Unless it's that shrine that I keep bitching about, in which case we are screwed. So screwed. And you'll see why. They give you, like, this tiny one-tile gap to, like run through spikes on a moving like barrel or something it was something like that um it's gonna be hard but this is not the one this is collected soul not not to be confused with collective soul um i just want to make sure nothing falls on me all right so as per usual we have a mission and that we must collect every chest as well, just to make it harder. But here's what we're gonna do. No spikes allowed. We're gonna take a spike. I almost put it right into me and killed myself. That would have been hilarious. As long as the spikes don't roll off, as long as you get rid of the spikes, they don't, they don't keep coming. So these spikes are gonna permanently be here if I can stop him from moving perfect um if I can stop him from from moving yeah now we got these balls to contend with so there's one there's another safe to run Oh my god, that's a path. Oh my god. Uh, that's a hole. That is a hole in the ground. That was a hole in the ground. Okay, we got a bowl. We're gonna collect the chest by luckily picking it up because I'm too afraid to do it any other way. Actually, I don't think that's happening here. I don't think we're reaching that shit. You think we get this bowl back if we lose it? Because I want to kind of catch the chest in a bowl. I'm ready. Fuck. It's okay, we got this. We're gonna catch it, and we're gonna take it. Oh my god, it's really heavy. I'm not going this slow, it's going this slow. All right, cool. Easy. Yeah, this one's not bad. This one's not bad. This one's not bad at all. Still missing a chest. Now we need a ball to go into the hole. Not just any ball. We need that one. Or this one. 
Wait, why why are there two? Wait. Do I need a big or a small? I didn't even look. I need a big. Oh. Shit. Okay. I'm looking for this big guy right here. Come on, big guy. Nice and easy. I wish I could, like... Get it out myself. Oh my god. Eh. There you go. Now we're just gonna slowly push it in. I know I'm being like a real wuss right now. I just, I'm afraid of getting hit. There we go. One down. And it gets easier. You know what I should have done just to make this part easier? I should have just purchased an ass ton of ancient arrows, right? I mean, and then just gone through the enemies outside. That would have been much... You can use anything here? Wow, that's weird. No, you can't. Okay. Uh, bow. We need to drop one. Or the phrenic bow. Alright, we got all the chests. Now, do we need that little ball? I wasn't even paying attention. We probably do. Well, it's gone now. Almost had a spike come rolling at me. Am I carrying this up there? I wasn't paying attention to the assignment. Okay, that one always goes there. You know what? Fuck this. <gasps> I made mistake. Big mistake. Biggest mistake. Okay, I was gonna go fast and try to get that up there, and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm still holding a ball in this. Uh, that's just me being tired like usual. Oh, what the hell. First try. Oh, um. You see. Nice and easy. I don't know why this is making me so nervous. It's just a ball in a bowl. Okay, I'm going to try to push this back as far as I can. And we're just going to try to drop it without having to do this. That way I can actually see what I'm doing when I run back. Beautiful. Now we just got to pay attention here. Run! I don't know why I was being such a little pussy about that. I just don't want to die. I get the ball out. No, no, roll the other way, stupid. One down. Three to go. Oh my god. The thing is, it gets easier after this. It gets so much easier after this. Because once you do this, uh, the Great Plateau, you don't have the one-hit obliterator anymore, and you just do a bunch of regular shrines. Which is nice. 
Okay, you still say the same shit, huh? Thank you for the orb. Yeah, these are our last four spirit orbs in the game, unfortunately. Which is weird, because there's 12 more shrines, so you would think you'd be able to finish it off and then some, but nope. You don't get orbs for the ones after these four. Alright, so now that we're done this and these guys are going to remain dead, uh, let's head to the next area. Remember, we have bomb arrows and junk, so... All we gotta do is the enemies are only gonna be... Uh, where the... Trial is. You gotta watch out for bats, especially, and of course, anybody with a bow. So you'll forgive me if we climb a lot of trees and shit. Theoretically, we should be able to just always be on the high ground and just kind of get a jump on things, but I don't like that it's night. I guess we're going for this one. I think, I think in terms of outside, we did one of the two most difficult ones right off the bat. So this one's not bad, if I recall. Now that one has Lizalfos. Not a fan of that. Again, no Revali's Gale for us. Okay. This is seeming like a good plan. Thought somebody would spawn right here. No, nope, nobody. Nobody inside there either. Nice. Go, oh, Veranakin. I have the high ground. Okay, could you turn around, though? Anakin. Okay, he doesn't want the smoke. I get it. I wouldn't either. I was just about to say, it's nice that they make the Lazalfos green because they know that Lazalfos are fast and difficult, and then I see there's like a dozen more. By a dozen, I mean, you know, those two. I'm not going to drop the bees because they'll turn around and hurt. Okay, two black ones, a white one. This actually might be the next hardest. Those alphos suck, dude. Almost tempted to ancient arrow those guys. Don't let them see ya. I said, don't let him see me. I didn't have much choice there. All right, one more, probably. Now, I know, I could Ancient Arrow, but we came this far without it. Wait. Where's the other guy? Where's all the other guys? Where's the guy? There's a greenie right here. Probably should have had more arrows when I did this challenge. Get him. Oh, thank God. Okay, Lazalfo sucks, so I feel good about this now. I have to be overconfident.
That's some horse shit. <laughs> Might still shoot at me. Oh, I did not expect that. Is it just a regular one? I can't risk this is the problem. Whatever. Maybe he'll shoot me as soon as I exit. That would be hilarious, and I'd be sad about it at the same time. He's not part of the challenge, so, I mean, he's just there to fuck with you. Uh, this, I think, might be the one I was thinking of. If it has a section at the end where you... Yep. Yeah, this is the one where I feel like you're perfectly forgiven if you die. Which, by the way... We gotta save in case we do. This will be our only death in the game. Or series of deaths. Right here. So the problem with this is... As you can see... As you can surmise, it's very janky. Like... Insanely janky. The way this is like hopping up and down. And we can't seem to reach that guy. So you would think you would just run across, but... Ain't that fucking easy, man. Shit hurts. So, see, I could be standing on that. You see the problem now? And apparently this is bigger than all these things. Yeah, I... I don't really know what you do here to not die. Probably... I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. I don't like how much it's moving. I think I'm safe here, but now... <sighs> now we got the Jink Cube. Let's just get off. Okay, we can't bring those with us. Pity. <laughs> oh, great. So we can stop these. We can stasis these guys. But we can only stasis one of these. But wait, there's more! That was probably the hardest part. Because these, strangely enough, you can just... You know, stop them. I think. Hold on, there's gotta be cheese for these. Trying to, like, stop them in their place and ruin their momentum, you know? I 
I see the problem. They're moving on things up top. Well, <laughs> it only lasted so long. Yeah, that's uh, that's a very hard distance to uh, ponder. My main file, I never died there. <laughs> My good file, I never died there. Instead, I was just super careful because I did not want to have deaths on that file. I mean, I could have just reset like I did now and not get deaths on the file, but it was more the thought that counted. Um, here, however, I also wanted to do the same being live, <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not how it happened, so nothing to lose now. Let's just go fast. Okay. Now there's nothing to lose, nothing to fear. I was trying to be careful. I did a dumb thing. Let's hurry the fuck up. Okay, we're gonna slow you down. Now this bullshit. Um, wait. For one thing, I can do that. Hold on. Um, excuse you? Janky rope is janky. Uh, anyway, that helped a lot. And then I can do this. Oh my god, I'm- I'm dumb. I'm sorry, guys. I'm dumb. That was so easy. Uh, we didn't deserve. Wow. I mean, we deserved what happened to us, I should say. That was- if I knew about the rope. Two is easy to manage. Three is not. We deserved what happened to us. We were too stupid and tired to figure out the easiness of the... Oh. Run. Well, that ain't right. Well, that ain't right either. Well, that ain't right. Well, that ain't right. Oh, wait. That's not cool. You can't trick us like that. I d it didn't let you climb! What the dick? Okay, that wasn't my fault. I did that one right. I did that one right. It didn't let me- it didn't let me climb. It didn't let me climb. I climbed, and I- and I- don't say like, oh, you can't climb that, because yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can totally just- Wait, where are we? Uh, this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can- it was low enough. It just didn't let me do it. It didn't let me do it. It it screwed me. I got screwed. I got screwed. The first time, though. I deserved it. First time I, uh... I had it coming. Then I got screwed. Okay, now I'm just mad. Now I'm just salty. Alright. Nice and quick. Speedrun time. You. You don't have to do that. It's just obviously makes me feel better. Alright, next. What we're gonna do, right? We're gonna cut the rope. And we're gonna put that... We're gonna wait till that guy goes over. Oh, we gotta wait for the thing, right? I'm gonna wait till that guy is way over there. Then we're gonna jump. That's a free one. Where is the chest here? That's my question. I haven't seen one yet. Isn't that kind of weird? Okay, so we might be able to stasis the guy behind me too, but we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> this one, This is a good shrine though. Like, any confidence you have, it just drains it away. In the best way possible. The hitboxes seem fair, though. 
they seem fair. So far. Oh, oh, now it works. Fuck. Okay, where is my chest, though? My treasure. The treasure. Where is the treasure? This is gonna stop, right? Great. Is there a treasure down there? Nah. Let's see if it lets us go back. I don't know that it does. Anyway, yeah, that's the hardest one in the game by far. I really like that one, though, now that I'm, like... I got real... I've only done that one other time, and I got really lucky. I remember it now vividly, but I was so careful the first time. I, I spent, like, probably a half hour in here just scoping everything, trying to figure out the best way possible, and then at the end, I just sprinted. I was just like, oh my god, this is, I'm, I'm screwed, and I ended up making it. But uh, this time, unfortunately, I got janked out of a jump, and I made a stupid decision. But I was well-rested back then. No Johns, no Johns. I'm just, I'm not, you know, the most well-rested, you know, all the time. This is all I'm saying. Fuck off, Cass. I ain't talking to Cass. Okay, we're going back for the treasure. Has to be done. Obviously, this is a hard treasure, too, because I didn't even see it. What is this one called? Stop to start. Oh, I found it. I found the treasure. And it is not the friends we made along the way, by the by. my hitbox. I was right there on top of it. Wait, why don't you just do that? If you're in danger, just warp away. If you're doing like a no-death run. I mean, I know that's kind of defeating the purpose of a no-death run, but like, you could totally cheese your way out of ever dying. I'm saying those deaths never happen. You can't prove it. I'll, I'll delete them. No, I won't. No, I won't. They're there forever. Everybody knows. Everybody knows now. I died in Zelda. It is sad, because that's kind of my thing, you know? Playing Zelda games and not dying. And then I went and played a Zelda game, and I died. Oh god, what is this? That's really flipping. Seems legit. I'm gonna die here. This better be the only chest. Oh great. All this for a forest dweller's shield. Wonderful. We'll take it. Okay, we're done. Let's, um... Cringe our way back now. You might be wondering why I don't warp now. Well, because I'm not going to be a bitch about it. I'm not going to be a bitch. We got the chest. We're finishing this. That was close. Let's get out of here. Okay. Two down. Two down. Well, you guys made one mistake. Now I have nothing to fear. What's your deal? We meet again. You don't look so well. Not my place to say as much. An ancient song. Sure. 
In the middle of me dying, give me a song. The flames crawl, and the waters rise. The lightning strikes, the wind sighs. Nice, oh, playing the old Zelda theme. A beast beyond the Divine Four awaits a hero forevermore. Let not the sound leave horses riled. Breathe in the breath of the wild. I see what you did there. Somebody was so proud of that. So somebody, like, was super proud of that. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Let's see... Where is the next one? I think it's gonna involve moblins if I had to guess. Moblins? Nope, just spoke goblins on horses. Well, this is gonna be an easy one, right? This is gonna be free. Unless there's bokoblins up here. Remember, I can one-hit obliterate their horses, too, and I don't want to. That would be super rude. We're not horse murderers, okay? We're just murderers of literally everything else. Oh, they're skeleton horses. What the fuck do I care, then? Alright, I'm gonna take some liberties here. <laughs> That's right. You know what that is. We have a lot of bomb arrows. I don't think we needed them. This guy's just running into fire. Think that'll hit? We'll do a regular one. So we don't blow up the chest. That's gonna kill him in one shot. Okay, there is a lot going on in this one. That's a one-shot. That's a one-shot. Fuck. Don't make me one-hit obliterate him. I'll do it. Oh... Shit. What are you doing to that barrel, dude? I couldn't move! All the things he's gonna pick up. Whew, okay. I can't believe he picked up a bow. I'm um, noticing that wasn't it. Should I be concerned? You see, um, we killed all the things. And yet, oh no. Pardon me, sir, I just got a one-hit obliterate you. My god. That blow- even the wind blow would have killed me, by the by. I'm not getting killed here. Never. Not gonna happen. I'm too proud. Another one bites the dust.
Would you look at that? We did it. We're at Ruvo Corba Shrine, home of the monk. <laughs> As per usual. A mi Ooh. This is tricky. A major test of strength. So here's the thing. It's going to start out with him hitting me with a laser, right? Question, do I one-hit obliterate him? Is that the joke? Is this just going to be a one-hit, like, actually? I guess that's the joke. Okay. Um. I mean... I'll take that. Can I still grab these, or like... Not really, huh? We kind of have everything. I can get rid of a shield. For a shield. <laughs> We're like pretty full, aren't we? Bomb arrow times 10. Stop giving me good stuff. I mean, I pre- Wait, there's another. We're not done here. That wasn't it. There's more. Sorry, what? Oh, we finally get to see what's down there, huh? Is that what this is? This is where they come from? A load of fuck ass over here. Okay. Couple more. We got a chest we can't quite get, so we gotta go counterclockwise. We're gonna hit this guy. And you. Oh, shit. At least he didn't laser me. I fucking love this thing. It's so dramatic, and then it's just a bitch slap in the face. Alright, I see it too. I see the chest. Hold on, I heard another one. Alright. What the hell is this shrine, and why do I have no memory of it? Okay, we're underneath. That's good. Ooh. Probably safe. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that was the shrine, just killing a bunch of dudes. Was this like- this is almost like a trial of patience, right? Just like, how patient can you be to wait for your one-hit obliterator to refill? And the answer is not very, because I used arrows. But that's what it wants you to do, right? Is just wait on it. Oh wait, there's a lot of shit here. I remember this place. It's dangerous. Yeah. We can do that, though. I'm gonna use bombs, because... Mostly because ain't nobody got time. Probably shouldn't just keep it in my hand like that. I don't know if it goes off or not. Yeah, the game will tell me if I'm done. <laughs> yeah. 
So I guess the implication that I was supposed to kind of fuck around like this, right? I mean, sure, that's one way to do it. Let's leave. <laughs> I don't know why, in my head, I, I just pictured like a giant spike ball falling on my head there or something. Just knowing this game at this point. I guess it only had that one hard shrine, and now it's just kind of whatever. More of who cares. Come on, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Why are you not loading? Why are you not in the middle of loading? In the midst of the loading? All right. One more, right? Is it in the snow? Because that's kind of fucked up. They put it in the snow just to mess with you. Just to m hope that you forget that you will, in fact, freeze to death. Messed up, man. Exactly what's going on, isn't it? But we can't use a fire sword. So I actually gotta put on shit. Not that it matters if my armor's less, because, let's be honest, we'll be fine. I think we're almost there. Based on the bats. I don't like the bats. Okay, that was just me being gen generally nervous. Something attacked me. Fellas? Okay, now they're not coming back out. Bruh. Do I have to kill them? Or are they just here? They came out for a split second and they disappeared. Maybe that's the point. Got him. Okay, now I feel better. We'll win this. I'd much rather climb than do anything stupid. That was like worst case scenario right there, honestly. And that wasn't that bad. I usually don't attack bats because, well, they suck. Running out of arrows, but not bomb arrows. All right, once we get rid of bats, I feel great. I mean, I know there's like a white moblin up here or something. I remember this place. I remember it not being good to me. But, as long as I stay kind of far away in the distance, and shoot shit at stuff. Mostly just bats, isn't it? You know what? Fuck it. Are they dead? You might think that was stupid. It was. A little bit. Okay, somehow that guy's taking damage on his own. Oh, shit. 
Kill a bat. That bat's trying to get to us. We're in trouble. Because we'll be in the middle of climbing when it's coming for us. Bro, please. Hit the bat. The bat. Okay, bats can be hard to hit. I just hit somebody else, apparently. Okay, I'm just panicking. That's fine. There's a moblin over here, and there's a bunch of ice lazals that I really need these fire arrows for, so... Let's, uh... We killed something. Let's... Freeze some of these dudes. Like the Moblin. Of course there's an Ice Wizard. I'm just using anything I have at this point. Snowball is fine. Doesn't have a snowball's chance of hitting us. Bruh. Bruh. You can't block with a shield, dude. That's, like, probably cheating. Well, now you're not blocking, are you? Idiot. Okay, here's the deal. We find the bat. We get his attention, or hers. Don't worry about the Lizalfos. I will worry about the Lizalfos. If we can get this bat on us, right? The Lizalfos we can kill like so. He was a lot closer than I thought. And this guy, you can kill in one hit. This bat will attack us eventually. Like they knew you were going to climb up there, so they put a janky bat there just to scare you. I think he's actually glitched. <laughs> Alright, now all that's left is two A-holes. And I think an icy, icy Lizalfo's boy. Three moblins. You're dead. Oh, that was close. Okay, I think we're gonna opt for these guys. Just to hurry this up a little bit. Dude. Up, back, and up. I can kill all but one. I'll be really happy. I don't really care about my royal bow. You're gonna burst into flame, right? Okay, time for... Do I have a savage Lionel bow? Time for the savage Lionel bow. Reshot. I can't seem to see how much health you have, good sir. Headshots are always fine. Uh, a waste, yes, but I felt good. You'll burn, right? No, you won't. We done here? I don't have to kill the choo-choos, right? Didn't think so. All right, boys, the final shrine.
I'm going for it. Hopefully there's no bats. Or guardians, or snowballs, or anything of that sort. Ah, uh, Etsu Karima Shrine, my favorite. I love Etsu Karima Shrine. What the hell is Etsu Karima Shrine? I bet it has a monk in it, and a trial. Alright, this is the last chance we can use the one-hit obliterator, so let's make it count. Uh, Path of Light. What? This seems dangerous. I don't trust shit about fuck. What is happening, man? What about the light? Huh? Can I stasis the light? Uh... Yeah, I mean, if you want, yeah. Alright, I don't see any treasure, so what, what are we doing here? Am I just ducking? God, I feel like I'm in a Mr. Beast video all of a sudden. Okay, but like... Ta-da! I'm, I'm more curious about where this treasure might be. This is a floor, right? You can tell I'm not a trusting person. Okay, are we done with lasers? Now it's just spike walls. This seems surprisingly okay, though. You can't stasis that bitch. We're perfectly safe here, it would appear. That's probably the only chest. Notice it didn't glow purple. Oh, we were supposed to burn it down. Uh, that's all the, uh, that's all the chests here, so we can leave. I just came really close to that torch. Imagine if that's what killed me. Alright, any bad guys? Anything? Alright, there's fire. Seems very reasonable, but I'm still not going to touch it. Yep, don't trust this one bit. Okay. You know, I could just put on fireproof here, technically, and cheese this whole section. You know that, right? Did I just kill all three in one hit? Dude, that is fucking hilarious. That was not supposed to happen. They just were lined up flawlessly. Okay, there's definitely going to be more here. No, this seems too easy. Something's going to roll down. Look, like I said, I'm not a trusting person. <laughs> okay, it was just stairs. Okay, good, we did it. Four. Okay. I am Maz Koshia. You have done well to conquer the trials laid before you. I know. 
Except that one. But we don't talk about that. Never happened. I'm Hyrule's Beacon of Hope, by the way. I am the Beacon of Hope. Your trials have only just begun. The Divine Weapon shall lead you. What do you mean? What's it doing? Bitch! I wanted that. Look, if the monks have the power to give me that, why couldn't I just use it against Ganon? Yeah, big plot hole. No, I gotta do this shit instead for a motorcycle. I mean, it's an awesome motorcycle. For sure. Okay, I'm gonna open up my map. Find these four locations. Okay, we did those four. So there's 12 more. We'll start with Zora. I guess. Now that you have proven your power, a new journey awaits. Mm-hmm. Four locations reach for greater heights than ever before. Yep, those do be locations, all right. Oh, thanks. No fucking time, asshole. Alright, we're gonna go right to it. I think we gotta look at a thing, take some photos. There's gonna be like three photos you can see and they lead to the three shrines, but I'm just gonna use the map because ain't nobody got time to be searching right now. Next week we're doing Tears of the Kingdom. We ain't got time to... Keep this one go. I mean, we'll have time to finish this one for sure, no matter what happens, but... Oh! I don't like where this brought me at all. I keep thinking I'm gonna die in one hit, but we are fine now, by the by. The by. Especially now. Oh, also I wanted to do that to my weapon too, so my Master Sword is in the front slot. Sort all my shit again. Oh. You're lucky. I have the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not an evil fox, I guess. We gotta go up there, don't we? What a pity. It's higher than I thought, son. Now, you might be wondering, why don't I just put on the climbing set? Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and say, this was not even close to where I warped. Holy shit. We walked like 20 feet. Thankfully, we got Ravioli's Gale. We should have started with Ravioli because I think we get, like, the cooldown cut in half. Now, six minutes is already amazing, but three minutes is, like, infinite Ravioli's Gale, basically. But that's okay. Little more. Boom. This is closer to... Are we... No, we're still in the Zora territory. I thought this was going into Akala. Kind of, maybe. I think some of them do, actually. According to this, yeah. Weird. I mean, I guess the Gerudo goes from the Wasteland to the Gerudo uh, Plateau region, so... I guess sometimes these places traverse multiple areas. No big deal. Hey, buddy. I applaud your courage in coming here. What the fuck does that mean? 
locations that will be revealed to you are trials that will enhance the power of sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Okay. Wonderful. So you're supposed to take pictures of them, memorize them, find them on the map. It's not that hard, but uh, we'll just look at a map. I mean, what was that flash of light? Perhaps it was my imagination playing tricks on me. What brings you here? Unfinished song. My teacher left this world without finishing the key verses. The trials that champion Mifa overcame. Did she use a one-hit obliterator? I bet not. Reaching skyward from waters blue, Ruta's champion at heart true. The hero's power shall grow. I think he says that every time. Seek trials, monuments, show. One, find what the light's path shows. Two, conquer the ancient foes. That's one extra syllable. He's supposed to champion trials call. That's also one extra syllable. Ha. Ah, he messed up. Okay, honestly, though, let's, uh, okay, Zora King and Prince, we saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so, as you can see, this is very close to Zora's domain. You, you can figure it out. Anyway, um, we're just going to... That one's to the right of Zora's Domain, that one's far to the right in the Akala region, and this one's to the left of Zora's Domain. Anyway, we know where they are, so we're gonna just travel here-ish. Get them done. How did we... We're already, already up to 693. I mean, I, I know we got two gold rupees, which probably did it, but, like, holy shit. Or we got one gold rupee? I don't know how much we started with. We were broke, and now we're not. This game gives you way too much money that you can't really use endgame. I guess it depends on how you, you know, how you use it before endgame, but... Point is, you get a lot of money. You don't have to farm if you don't want to. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Uh, Zora. Okay. Are we heading exactly? Is there always a guardian up there. Um, we want to go like right here, by the by. So yeah, probably where the guardian is. Bad Rivali's Gale is kind of done with, huh? That would have been nice to use. Yep, sure wish I had that right now. Ugh, they make this high.
Oh my god, man. We gotta fight our guardian, a real-ass guardian. Or something. I don't actually know what we're supposed to do up here. I know, let's not fight the guardians. What is the quest, actually? Conquer the ancient foes. Right. Okay. Ain't nobody got time. <laughs> oh, there's a million of them. Okay, we're not gonna do that then. I've been patient, I know. Fine, we'll beat you the regular way. Unless that happens. Whoops. Sometimes these guys take like 20 hits, I swear. It's the way they move. Like, they don't always... See, that was a full hit. Sometimes they bob back and forth and you don't hit them right back in the eye like you're supposed to. Hence the four hits that took. Okay, I'd like this guy to... You know... Fuck off. Okay, we're gonna put on our full gear. And we're gonna use ancient equipment to kill this guy, because we're running out of bomb arrows. Could use the Master Sword, sure. Or Bosa's Fury, which does way too much damage in the best way possible. Look at me. I'm ready. That was a half hit. Half hit. Half hit. Miss. Because it swings. These things are so jank. I don't even know how I hit that. Okay, bruh. Come on, man. Really? Sometimes it's the angle, too. Okay, this is such horseshit, dude. We're deflecting so many so well. It's just not hitting them the way it should. It's not deflecting back in his eye. They take three hits, by the way, not a dozen. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Okay, we done it. We're gonna get hit as soon as this cutscene's over, though. Yay, we done it. Okay. Let's go to the fucking shrine. How's that sound? Hey, you. Why don't you get hecked? Was he blue? I thought he was black. Huh, he uh, didn't... He didn't get unstunned fast. All right, let's see what we got.
Support and Guidance. Okay, so what you want is to, uh... What? Okay, so that's always gonna fall that way. But you don't want it to. You want it to fall the other way. Got it. Then maybe... Wait, why, why is this first one bad? That wasn't supposed to happen. Let's try something like that? Just enough to nudge it? Alright, one down. Now what does that do? Wait, really? We just win? That was, like, easier than the first shrine that does this gimmick, but I like it. That was cool. It was cool to watch. Uh, let's climb this bitch. Alright. Whatever it is, we get it. Done. Let's leave. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's not the way out. Here's first one. Know this overcoming speaks the promise of a hero. Still says the same thing. Ruda's emblem. Collecting three will lead to a new challenge. Two, remain. Yeah, we're not finishing this today, but we'll come close. We'll come close, that's for damn sure. We'll finish two of them, I think, and probably call it. Two uh, whole regions, so three shrines each. We'll see how it goes. All right. <clears throat> now that we're up here, we can probably find an easy way down, or around, because the next one's also kind of up here, but on the other side. Third one's in the middle of freaking nowhere. Who the hell are you guys? Wait, what are you doing here? Strange shrine up here. Oh, so they were just telling me the general direction. Okay. Yeah, so these guys, you can talk to these guys and, um... You know, they'll... If, if you just run around aimlessly, you'll eventually see people who just give you ideas of what to do. Cool. Alright, if we go over here, we'll find the next. Also, you just look for the bad guys, mostly. If the bad guys are in a weird spot that they weren't usually in, it's because something new happened there. The weird thing about the DLC is it terraforms your game to some extent. Oh, and also, if you completed getting all of uh, Robbie's, not Robbie's, um, the other guy, Simon's pictures, uh, you can't collect the ones for the DLC, which was kind of a big fuck up on their part. Okay, somewhere in this general location is what we're looking for. This one says I can't click it. What the fuck, dude? Um, chase the rings of the waterfall. I see him. I see him. All right, so we got to be a Zora for this bitch. I'm guessing. We're just chasing some rings. Is that it? 
You gotta be really fast. I mean... Seems pretty free to me. At least it brings you right to where you need to go. Okay, this is awesome. Even though I almost missed that one, it's still awesome. Don't close! Uh-oh. Let me go, please! We can make it. We can make it on our first try. All right, two down. Two down, some to go. A number to go. Some number to go. A number that exists. Are we at Shatterback Peak? We are. I can tell by the arrows. All right, last one is in Akala. We do have a shrine we can go to or from there, though, so that's good. When, what do we do for that one? Find what the light's path shows eventually. Okay, let's seek, let's stick to this one first. We're finding a secret stairway. It's a secret to everybody. All right, there's some metal ass shit here. I mean, I get it. This is kind of cool. See, I've only done these once, so I have, like, very little memory of this. But I do kind of remember it, and it's awesome. Okay, see, what we want to do now is... You see, what we want to do, uh, what we want to do, you see, is, um... See, we, you see, we, we want to, um... <laughs> what we want to do <laughs> is... Maybe... Something along these lines? I feel like I was on the right track there. Except we're doing it on the other side, so we're gonna bring you up from over here. We're gonna put you... I'm throwing. I'm gonna put you in the middle of both of those because balance. And then I'm gonna just elevate you up in a balanced manner. Oh, balls. We didn't make it. Okay, wait, it was smart, though. It was a smart move. Okay, so what we gotta do is, uh, we gotta... We can't. Um, uh, <laughs> we gotta move this guy ever so slightly over here. over here and then place this guy right there and then we take the magnetic bullshit sure Sure, you know what? Sure, that's fine. That's... oh, no. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise this while I'm on it. That didn't work at all. Okay, so we just gotta get the water to the top, right? Gonna go a little higher. 
a little bit. That would have been cool if that worked. Not quite. Okay, let's start over. Try to do it right this time around. Um. <laughs> okay. What are we actually doing here? Obviously, what we could do is kind of what we just tried. Bring that guy up there. That's as high as that goes. Bring this guy up here. Uh, Link, you can climb that, you know, buddy. And then... This guy... Right on top. And then we climb them all. Much better. First try. Where is the treasure? The treasure. I ain't doing all that for no treasure. I've earned this. Um... What? Is this sus? I don't think it is. Nah. What? There is a treasure. Oh no, it's on that side. You're gonna make me do all this shit all over again, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Unless, unless, maybe it's metallic. Can I cryonis the wall? No. Got it. <laughs> Came right to me. Oh my god. Stop giving me stuff I have, please. Done. Let's leave. Alright, two down. Fucker's gonna tell me this every time, isn't he? Only one remains. Teaching me about scorching climates. I don't need to know about scorching... Fucking scorching climates. All right. Here goes. Shock arrows. Yeah, we got a Tarrytown location right there. That helps. Uh, I'm going to go to this one, maybe. This one's in a crevice. Yeah, let's go right here. Let's go right here, because I know I got to talk to some people on the side over there. Yeah, and we'll just horse, horse our way there. Horse around, you know. Should have gone to Tarrytown and picked up some arrows, but what can you do? <laughs> All 
All right. Whistle. Chill. Direction. Straight. I'm holding left. My horse is being a real big butt right now. Okay, cool, cool. Nice jump. Nice murder. Yeah, I know there's somebody here. Right? Isn't there somebody here who's like saying a thing? Are they just not rendering yet? Horse. Oh my damn. Alright, let's do this, dogs. Alright, I know there's people here. I remember this. Am I losing my mind? There's a- there's totally- there's- there's people. There's supposed to be a people. One or two of a people. Oh, you're useless. Oh my god. What game was it where... I thought it was Breath of the Wild. Maybe it was another game where somebody was like, how is the horse combat so good? And they were like, oh, well, we figured that if you drive a horse into a tree, they're not going to stupidly run into the tree, so we made it so they don't. That's not Breath of the Wild then, right? Was that like Shadow of the Colossus or something? I don't even remember. Maybe it was like Battlefield 1. Anyway, whatever it was. It was a long, long time ago. All right, there's the people. Y'all are going to tell me to do a thing, right? While the morning sun is newly born, follow the path of light to the trial. It's kind of morning sun. Is it not morning sun enough for you? Is that it? Um. Is this broken? That was weird. Morning. When the morning sun is newly born, we get a blood moon. Can't be newer than that. You expect me to do jump in that bitch? Am I supposed to just jump into the fucking water? Listen, if I'm doing this, I'm setting a travel medallion right here. I don't fuck with blind jumps. You hear? Well, it's still morning. I mentioned I don't like this. Oh good, it was just one. I was gonna say, if you're gonna make me frickin' follow five rings while I'm swimming... I mean, I guess I could've cryonisted. You can't cryonis from that high up, so I'd still have to kinda jump in and then find a little glitchy spot for my foot. Anyway, that worked. Nice place for a shrine. I like that. Let's go. Be like a test of strength or something. I'm lazy right now. Please. The melting point. I remember this one. I remember the name. 
Let's not have a fire sword equipped would be really nice. And I, you know, I'm going to throw it at an angle so I don't, okay, no, you can't. Oh, it gives me a torch. Don't want to be standing on that too long, do we? This takes a while. What does this do? Okay, I'm picking up where you're putting down, but I already worked on this one, so... Can I just get to a point where I can pick that bitch up and, like... Drop it. Now, what's this one do? I don't quite know why I need any of this. Okay, a little more. Okay, so now I can just fucking fire sword. So I can get a lip on this bitch. Okay, y you see what I was trying to do, but now I'm making another problem for us. Okay, you gotta chill a little bit more. A little bit more. I'm not doing more than that. Okay. We're gonna torch some junk. Just, like, throw my torch up there. Ew, we can't get up yet. I can do this. Problem is, I'm not able to stay up there. Quite. I mean, I could just make another ice block up here, but we're already here. You know? Doing this one-handed, trying to... As long as I stand still. <laughs> you know, it works. Fuck it. As long as I don't fall off, I don't give a fuck. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Now I just need you guys to let me through. While I find a chest as well. This isn't so bad. It's just slow as hell. Yeah, I don't want to shrink them too much because I think that other one's going to be of use right now. I got to get away from it. ASAP. See, I kind of want to fuck. I kind of want to fuck. I kind of want to, um... Get them in a way where I can just climb up them. Like so. So I don't want to mess with that. But the thing is, I didn't find the one that had the, um, chest. If there was one. And that one might be of use. Yeah, I don't see a chest yet. A little concerned about that. 
And that ain't gonna work, so we need a big cube. I'm guessing the chest, as unfortunate as it may be, is in one of these. Which really sucks. We're just going to wait. I'm going to stand here and go use the bathroom. Okay. Jeez. Everything uh, definitely thought out, didn't it? Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's see. I was looking for a this. This is exactly what I was looking for. Wow, that was a good use of a bathroom break. Very good use. Alright, we got the chest, so now what we gotta do is take off the, uh, fire sword. Shit. Uh, this'll be fine. Use this guy to climb back up. And... I don't know if that's how the game wanted us to do it, but it sure as hell worked. Now we just stand here, don't mess with those guys down there, and... Pretty soon we can... I'm gonna stop now because it looks like we could push that? What the hell? You see that? 
Was that just random? Like one of those things where sometimes you turn a certain way and it pushes things? I want this to be as big as possible. Matter of fact, let's stop. And let's... Right? I mean, why... Why risk it? Oh, it is just the right size to get under. This is great. This is not how you're supposed to do it, by the way. You're supposed to be able to lift it up. But hey, I just don't want to... I want to make sure I don't accidentally make it too small. Because even that was a little... little iffy. And even now, as you can see, it might be considered too big. Man, it's got to be, like, perfect. I don't want to screw it up. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Okay, good. Jesus, that was a tough one, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Speaks to the promise of a hero and whatnot. Now that you have collected three emblems, you must go to Divine Beast Varuta. Yeah, so all those guys just give you hints and stuff. What does uh, Cass do? I thought Cass showed up. This is like every shrine in the game. I love this shrine's location. I think it's awesome, but no one in their right mind could warp to this. Uh, let's go to Varuta. Get this guy over with. Yeah, I think we just gotta refight the boss, right? It might be harder now or something. Fun fact, you can only fight the bosses once normally in base game, thus getting like 60 points, I think, toward that counter I keep talking about. Um, where, where like the enemy progression counter happens. Um, this second time actually counts. So we get another 60 points, which means all of those white Lynels that are remaining in the world are probably going to be silver by the end of this. Uh, there is no shot we're gonna take much damage from this, though, because we have full gear. <laughs> the one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Do the whole dungeon again. Just kidding. In exchange for Ruta's emblems, you'll be granted a chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Why? Why, what's the big deal? I don't even remember. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Is anything really... I, isn't it just a regular boss fight? Am I crazy? Oh, it might choose my gear or something. Something stupid, right? I don't... I might choose the gear the game thinks we should have had at the time. And the hearts. Maybe. I'm just guessing. Oh, well, I got the Zora outfit on. Oh yeah, but you get the champions thing. Yeah, you're basically reliving what the champion was wearing kind of thing. So it's not really the depth of my memories, product of the fear that dwells within. Whatever, dude. Only the tools provided.
Yep, that's definitely a bad guy. Definitely a bad guy we already fought. So I don't really remember if this is the same thing or not, just with less equipment. Or technically, you m it might be more equipment for some people, because, I mean, some people might have come in here with dog shit. Now we go- oh, we get to keep our hearts and everything? So the game takes away your food, takes away your armor. It gives you certain things, but this is insanely good. It's basically probably what the- what they expected the, uh... Like, like, in this case, Mifa to have or something. I don't know. This is going to be easy. Mifa to have when she died. Oh, well, bye then. I'll see you later. Strike me. Actually, a really slow shot you get there. I think we only need this. I don't think we need the ceremonial trident. Well, what the hell then? Oh boy. Now he's doing more stuff that nobody cares about. It's weird that this is in my memory because this didn't happen. It didn't happen this way. It didn't happen. This isn't how it happened. This isn't how anything happened. Get out of here, dude. You suck. You can't just take that back. Come on. Come on, man. Okay, can I, like, stasis you? No, thank you. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I wanted to do to your face. It is really hard to get him to this point, I will say that much. For what it's worth, it is hard to, uh... It is hard to hit him when you run out of arrows, is all I'm saying. Okay, but I can just break them. I don't have to deflect them. Oops, didn't mean to do that. You know what I could do? I could Revali's Gale this guy in the butt. I think I'd hit the ceiling if I did that. Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's kind of rough. Can you come down to my level, sir? Oh. Well, that's kind of rough. Ow! That takes three hearts. Hey, listen, it's, it's a strat, okay? No one said it was a good strat. Okay, now we can do a thing. I think that's the only way we can beat him now, is with the deflection. Wait, but we don't have a shield, right? But that ain't right. Ow, dude, it didn't let me deflect. What is this? Horse shit. Okay, now I'm a little nervous. Holy shit, I can't... It's not letting me... Defl okay, there we go. I think this controller is starting to finally die. Uh, let me switch real quick, actually, because I've been talking about this for a while. Um... Downstairs. I'll make it work. Okay, let's make them, uh... What are we supposed to do here? I gotta get them to, like, land. Uh, do I have food? No. That's a pity. Eh. Good enough. I don't have... You come to me. I wanna do a thing with, uh, stuff. I wanna just... If you don't mind, I wanna just, uh... Hit you with some herbosis fury. 
Yeah, because I'm out of arrows. I didn't think this through. <laughs> this is actually... I could actually be in trouble. Yeah, my, my L bumper. I really gotta smack it now. That's okay. It'll be fine. It's just the L bumper. Thought for sure this guy would come a little closer. Well, that was probably what the game expected me to do. That was probably more in line with what the game expected me to do. We did it! Wow, I, um, should not have struggled like that. I don't know, should I watch him die, or is this gonna be the same as- I don't want to accidentally skip a cutscene. Okay, he's very mad. So the only other one that's gonna give me trouble, then, is gonna be Thunderblight. Goron 1 is going to be free, and Va Meadow is always free. <laughs> so, cool. Oh god, it's you. What? Oh, my my. For some, the best part of traveling alone is the freedom to get lost in thought with only the wind to distract you. Yes, yes, unfinished song. Gotcha. Go for it. Mm. Better be good. Recall the champion of Ruda's wrath. Before she walked her chosen path. Okay, so far so good. Mephis' kindness was known to all. Which is why the princess came to call. I don't think that's why. I think she wanted someone who could, like, kill things. So, Princess, may I ask who the other chosen champions are? Wait, so you picked me for last? What the fuck? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Revival. Yeah, Confidence, that's Rito one way to put Spirit, it. Urbosa. And also, the Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> Me. Oh. Well, in that case... Oh no, it's baby Sidon. Is baby Sidon, he's so tiny. Too young to swim up this big waterfall. My brother, don't tell me what to do. One day, princess, I must leave him to face my fate with Ruta. Yep, you're sure gonna face your fate, that's for sure. Okay, how come I can't do this? Not fair. Side on. Climb the waterfall. We'll go together so you can get a feel for it. Oh. Let's go. Oh, poor Sidon. You know, sure, other fish do this too, but they die after they do it. I'm just saying. You guys should probably, you know, not... Whoa, wait a minute, Mipha, Mipha does die after this. Wait a minute, okay. That's very in line with regular fish. Should fate ever part us? I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. I mean, he does. Understood. Good for you, buddy. I believe in you. 
Now, shall we try one more time? Just like he believes in Link. Why is he holding a whistle? Okay. There's Mifa's story. Of course, always just the saddest one. Mm. Though she was known for her kindness, it seems the Zora princess could be quite strict when necessary. So what do you think of Champion Mifa's song? By writing a song that captures the determination of Champion Mifa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Okay. What? So much stronger than before. Thanks. The power of Mifa's grace will now recharge much faster. Yeah, it will. As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule. I know. As well as the princess who awaits you. About her. I can explain. And about that other girl, and, uh, you know, about Paya, and about, um... Okay, let's damn near everybody else in the game. Um, I can explain. My god, Link's such a dick. Okay, moving on. We do not have the things on our map. Why is this not highlighted? Isn't this main quest? No. Destroy Ganon, ex-champion's ballad. There we go. Okay, I'm thinking we're gonna just... Mm, go to Goron City. Work our way down. Oh, and we're gonna burn immediately. Is there really a trial in the middle of the volcano? Yeah. There's gonna be a trial in the middle of the volcano. Seems a little fucked up. Okay, let's not burn. Let's put on our equipment. And go check out whoever wants to see me. <clears throat> Thank god there's no rain here. Kind of the reason I do the Zora section first, honestly. I love the Zoras, but... Rain and heck right off. Is that the thing right there? No. Maybe it is. Yeah, that's the thing right there. I gotta fight a, like, a giant-ass Igneo Stone Talus, don't I? Vaguely remember that. A shooting star. I applaud your courage in coming here. Me too. I do applaud my courage in coming here. <clears throat> yep, it'll enhance the power sleeping within and all that fun stuff. I let my guard down all the time. Jesus. Laser sounds. Okay, that one's right in the middle of the volcano. Couldn't see that one. That's kind of not fair. <laughs> okay, Cass. You gonna sing a dumb song? I'm gonna skip this because he always kind of says the same thing until the song, so... It must be that you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir. Why is the only- why is the nope- the only option for nope is to cancel a conversation? I didn't. I'm wearing a- oh. But I'm not using fireproof elixir. Oh. Oh. 
Go ahead. I'll listen to the verse. Rolling flame on a mighty peak, Rudania's champion never weak. Isn't he the one who struggled with Rudania the most? The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monument show. What? One, stop a titan of molten stone. Two, follow rings of light alone. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. Oh yeah, that third one. I remember the third one. It's actually kind of hilarious, because I think the implication is that you just jump into the lava and you just come out later and, like, lose the heart, but you're, like... Maybe not, maybe not, but I remember I did a thing where I obviously didn't fall into the lava, which was better. Maybe that is what you're supposed to do, but... Anyway, okay, let's take a look. Uh-huh, uh-huh, cool, I have a map for all that. Let's do this one first. We'll ride on to the Meg. There's gonna be rings of light, we gotta follow down a volcano or some junk, I wasn't really listening. Um, found one. Alright, we gotta do this fast. I barely hit that. Wait, what are you doing? You're making me climb? Are you kidding me? This is kind of some horse shit. Nobody told me. How do I know when I'm out of time? Oh, I see those little ancient symbols at the top. Okay, they give you a lot of time, then. What the hell is this? Are you trying to kill me, ancient monks of what- Oh god, I almost fell- There was- there was a little bit of lava there. It was just a little bit. Oh, it starts you over? I mean, that's fair. That's- that's fair. Actually weird, considering you get out of- you come out of the lava, and you're fine, and usually everything else- Like, if you were in a battle, and you went into the lava, you would have come out and, like, been right in the battle still. But this is scripted to make you not jump in the lava. Interesting. It's, like, scripted very specifically to be not a garbage gamer. Okay, so we get to turn right this time. I don't like this. This seems kind of dangerous. If I do say so myself. This seems kind of fucked up. Why are you doing this to me? Who hurt you? Uh-oh. I'm not high enough. I think we're fine. I think we're perfectly fine. I think we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. God damn, I'm so good. Wait, which shrine was that? Am I at the bottom right? Is this the one called Blind Spots? I need to be able to mark this bitch off my map. By the way, I'm free falling in the middle of a cutscene. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this one. Okay. Mark off. Let's do it. I forgot to use my last four uh, spirit orbs. Again, very stupid that the game ends with you being two hearts short. Alright, there's some blind spots I'm noticing. Some blind spots. Do you think there's any reason? Like, hear me out. There's any reason to do this? I thought maybe the chest would be hidden back there. So the chest was not hidden back- Oh, this is cool. I don't remember this one that well, but this is cool. So we gotta kinda hide from the fire. 
See, it turns out that fire is actually kind of bad. Like, I'm pretty sure if I, like, hit the fire, it'll be dire. Okay, let's just stay here. This seems safe. Wait, what about that last one? Do I climb on top? It's crazy. It's crazy. What happens if I cut this rope? What happens if I just straight up cut the rope? Motherfucking things just free fell. Refolded. I'm getting out of this. Alright, where's the chest? Once again, it's called blind spots, so I'm, you know, forgive me for thinking maybe there'd be a chest over here, but I don't know, those are further apart. I'm just gonna stay here. Where it's safe. You know? It's never gonna be safe. I had a bomb arrow out. What a dipshit. Okay, can I please climb down now? Thank you. I'm freaking out, man. I am freaking out. Are these free-falling as well? Yeah. Alright, but I still don't know where that last chest is. I don't like not knowing things. I'm gonna stand up top on this one. Um... There's just a chest kind of free-falling. Anyone else notice the chest that's just- DO NOT- I thought it was gonna fall. Okay. Oh, you- Cock dicker. Okay, the chest is gonna keep falling, so here's what we're gonna do. Perfect. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nothing can go wrong now. Okay. We got the chest. One might argue that's kind of pointless. Um, we'll drop a... this guy. Pick it up again. The only frickin' chest here. Okay, this is great. Now we're gonna knock this guy off. We're gonna climb. Very high. The chest is still falling. We don't want to hit our heads on that, do we? Alright. So I'm guessing the play here is to trust and jump. Wait, why is there another water thing? Oh my god, this is gonna break. Oh my god. Bruh, it's gonna fall. The thing's gonna fall. They're just gonna drop. Watch it, it's gonna drop. It's gonna drop. It's gonna... It's gonna drop. There it is. But we had no choice but to ETFO, mate. And now we're just gonna make stairs. I almost pushed myself off like an idiot. I'm just trying not to make cracks so I don't fall between the cracks, you know? Falling between the cracks would be bad. You think that's good? There is. One done. I wish I didn't have to read this every time. All this slow text. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Two remain. Eh? 
nobody got time for that. Uh, pools of Malice. Remember when they called it Malice and then they changed it to Gloom? Gloom's just not as cool. Like, you know, why the gloomy face, sir? I don't know. Man, that's gloomy. That's a gloomy, gloomy forest. When you hear Malice, you just know it means business. Um, this? We gotta go here. So, we also gotta go here. Mmm, here? Those are the two. We'll go north first, because I saw it first. We're just gonna jump down from Rudania. Sorry, from the Meg. The Megalania. You know that one thing on that dinosaur game I really like? That is my favorite and they keep making it really good, and then they ruin it. Oh, they're ruining all of them in the next update. Taking away speed... speed subspecies. It's messed up. Why am I talking about this? Anyway, yeah! Yeah, they're... They're doing things. Doing bad, bad things. Alright, let me, uh... climb this guy. I'm trying to get around because the uh, Meg would uh, push me if I got too close to it. The game tells you, oh, you're not supposed to be near that, and then it, like, teleports you two feet from it anyway. Here we are. I do believe that is our destination. Could make it. Possibly. Okay, I think we're fighting the uh, Igneo uh, Talus, right? This is the coolest fight, by the way. Like, for... I mean, for Zelda, I should say. It's not, like, on the level of, let's say, like, Elden Ring or something, but it's, it's just cool because it's very different from all the other Talus fights in the game. Finally, an actual unique boss. If I can find him. I thought he was right down below me. But... I don't see him. Unless that is him. Or her. Or they. Or fiery, fiery boy. Where is it? I don't want to go down there and be- oh, found it. See, normally if you have the Firebreaker, the Flamebreaker set, you don't have to worry about this fight, because... you can just stand on him. Me, I can't. So I have to keep putting out his flame. As you can see, he's just in the middle of the fucking lava. He's just right in the middle of the goddamn lava. So all you can do is it's the game is not letting me put away oh it's not letting me hit okay we're just gonna do this oh he just throws you into lava so you can't stay on him for long periods of time you have to utilize the updraft got it oh that's cool it puts me up here oh that's awesome Okay, so we're gonna let him, uh, turn into a fiery boy. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he has the balls. Yeah, let's just ice him. So when we ice him, he's gonna drop. And then we're gonna hit him, like, reef, like, that many times, and then we're getting the fuck off of him this time. That is how you fight him. You hear that? Or boast this fury's ready. Guess what we're doing now? 
Nice and easy. Die, idiot. And we're just gonna chill up here. We're gonna switch bows before this one breaks. And just gonna wait for him. Ice him. Let him drop. Hit him with another Herbosis Fury because it's funny. Uh, Link is having some technical difficulties with his updrafts. We're gonna just do this again. For some reason, the draft was pushing me. This should kill. Not quite. Got him. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta get off of this guy. Anyway, it's a cool little difference, because he's just in the middle of the fire. Easy. And let's see what we get. Kamiya Omuna Shrine. All right, moving targets. We got moving targets. These targets are going to be moving. What does this do? Oh, I get it. Wait. We're just going to do this. Oh, yeah? But wait. There's more. Oh, no. This looks kind of psychotic. So am I just going for the, the thing? I don't know what the height's supposed to be. I'm just going to assume it's like here. Aya? Are we just like goaded at the game? Or can I just assume that we're kind of the goat? Um, I guess now... We have to shoot one over there to make this fall, would be my guess. Okay, that one's a little janky. Um, you have to be, like, kind of right here. Seems legit. Now, what do we do with that? What do I do with this information? Okay, I see the ladder. Oh, we're just supposed to lift it. Oh, I don't like lifting things up through bars because sometimes the magnesis gets all fucked up. Maybe I'll do this and then I'll just do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. It's gonna be something awesome. It's gonna be like a million dollars. I mean, that is the most amount, the most concentrated amount of money the game will ever give you. So, that is fair. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. We're done. We're done. Why is there another gate? I don't like the other gate. I don't like this. There's a gate. The gate is blocking the way. The gate. The gate. Wait, what? <laughs> what is happening here? Maybe? Oh, apparatus. Right? Anyone else notice that my uh, ball didn't exactly uh, didn't exactly shoot there? Um, my ball didn't uh, shoot. My ball didn't. Oh god, I missed so bad, but it had mercy on me. Okay, so now what? We got to adjust the apparatus to be out of the way. Is that what we're doing? 
So it doesn't go out of the way, so we have to just adjust it so that there's a hole. Ain't no way that's it. Let's try this. Even that doesn't seem right. That's definitely the other way. I love the, the longer you do this, the more it just stops reading your controller, and now it's not doing any of the things that I'm telling it to do. <laughs> like... Oh, shit. This is why these aren't in Tears of the Kingdom. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, let's figure out... This does that. This does that, which is what confuses me, because this should do what this does. Uh, I guess I just tilt the controller like this and call it a day, right? Okay, wait. So what does this do? Um, it'll eventually work. So, uh, looks great. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Get fucked. Get actually dunked on. <laughs> oh, did we win? Rudania's emblem. Great. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. Forgot about the part where I asked. Wow, I'm looking at the Rito trials. Holy shit, they're far away. They're pretty far from one another. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, last but not least, we're still gonna go here and we're just gonna go straight down. Straight down. To the south. So for this one, we're supposed to survive on a lava ring or some junk like that, right? I kind of recall it. A little bit. There it is. Yeah, I don't know if we can just dive into the lava. But I kind of feel like we have to try. <clears throat> You're supposed to do a thing with a platform. No, because I think it does make you um, survive a certain amount of time or something. Anyway, we're going to try it once because I've never tried this before. I've always been a weenie about it. What happens if I just like hover very gently? I see. Does not work. That makes me feel better, though, because I'm always doing all this crazy shit, and now I realize I had to. 
Yeah, so what I did was I used this cube, and I stood on it. It's apparently exactly what they expect you to do. Oh! Keep in mind, I don't have... I don't have fire protection, so this is gonna hurt. I don't have, like, uh, fireproof. I don't have the fire set. I gotta go get that second guy, don't I? This is gonna hurt. Just kidding. Okay. Oh, bovine. I don't know why I said bovine. <laughs> oh, ow. There we go. I just needed the second one. That's all. Look, whatever is happening happens, okay? We're just gonna survive. Gotta be fine. Matter of fact... So, theoretically... Didn't I do something like this to push this rock? You know? Instead of getting hurt, I can just push this rock... ...further this way... ...and... ...do a thing with it. We're gonna try it. I am moving, right? I don't think we're moving anymore. Alright, that's fine. This is definitely what you're supposed to do, is push these rocks. I usually just take the damage like I am, but, uh... Pushing the rocks seems to be way smarter. Right? I mean, because look, now I... go on to the next rock. It's easy! And that is the third one. Oh my god, it is after three. Holy shit. It's fine. Alright, now how do I get to that guy? That's one way to do it. Renew Hanika Shrine. We're going in. This looks dangerous. Lock the blaze. Yeah, stop with that blaze, guys. Lock that blaze, son. <laughs> you can't duck under that. You can't duck under it, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's fucking rich. Okay, um... Let's actually block the blaze, shall we? Wait, what? Let me try one more time. Maybe I just caught it weird when I was doing a little hop. Definitely just caught it weird. That's strange. Maybe it's because I was hopping the first time. Well, I'm not so much blocking the blaze as I'm getting rid of the blaze entirely. I feel like there's treasure afoot. Where is all the treasure?
Jesus, that looked kind of scary, didn't it? I don't like this one bit. Alright, is there fire? Is there anything? What's going on here? What is the meaning of this? I have a very brilliant idea. It involves reaching that. And by a very brilliant idea, I mean it's probably what you're supposed to do. I feel like little Timmy would have done this too. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy... And we're gonna take this guy put him on top. But then... What we're gonna do is we're gonna stasis you and magnesis you. And we're gonna use both of you for chance. Get access to you? Does this seem okay? I didn't think I needed both of them. Okay. Hopefully this will be the only chest. Great, a stone smasher. Great, we totally need a stone smasher. Alright, I'm bringing one of you with me, at least. Just kidding? Wait, dude! <laughs> Nintendo! Uh, you good, Nintendo? You, you good? <laughs> okay, let's see what we were supposed to do. We're supposed to... Specifically flip this and... I can't access the B button. That's what you're supposed to do, but you could totally just take the cube and do the same thing as before. Yeah, we're done. That's hilarious. I guess it would have been kind of hard on a tight path, but... And it's coming from both sides. It's just funny that they block it off and it's like, you do realize you can magnesis through those gates. You do realize it. And do. Let's go visit Rudania. My god, man. Look at those guys. Probably telling us how to do all this stuff here, but we skipped them. Right to Rudania. Divine Beast, Va, Rudania. The one who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Rudania's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. I like how it doesn't even like it, just takes them from you. It's like, in exchange, you'll be able to- nope, you have no choice. I don't get why they call this unforgiving. I mean, the last one I get it. If you run out of arrows, you're kind of fucked, uh, but... You have to have Herbosa's Fury at this point. Oh, plus I could have thrown the tridents at him. I didn't even think of that. <clears throat> that would have done damage. Not to mention I didn't even have to use the backup stuff because you have enough durability to kill him otherwise. It's just it was it was a weird one, that's all.
created from the depth of your memories. Okay, it's gonna be the same shit. Different day. Let's do this. You watch it. Stop it. What am I using for- oh, boulder breaker, of course. Just boulder breaker. I don't like that move. Okay, do the thing. Do it better? Why am I not backflipping? Or am I? It is very hard to, uh, parry to, um... I think you're supposed to... I think you're supposed to, uh, parry him. But I want to try to flurry rush him. What is this, some kind of Elden Ring boss? Look at that wind-up. Holy shit, this guy's easy. Where's my armor? Oh, it's still level 1 armor, okay. Whoops. Let's not do that. There we go. Easy, boss. I don't even know what I did, but I flurry rushed and it worked. That should be halfway. Yep. Oh. Well, that ain't right. Idiot. Okay, while you're there, can I just, um, if you don't mind. Damn, so close. So close. You bitch. You bitch. I'm gonna kill you with a bomb. What do I care? I don't respect you. This guy. Mm. All right, lay it on. Recall Rudania's champion of flame. Before he... Yeah, his faded moment finally came. This is the tale of Great Daruk's task, and the princess who came to ask. Ah, oh, count me in, tiny princess. Tiny. I'm the fearless Daruk, after all. And if Hyrule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. Yeah, thanks for offering I'm sure to if die. Ganon's fault or what? But I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. In times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like father. <laughs> Not whatever those guys are. Told me wherever I go, I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Hmm? That could only be. You know him? What the? They really are all over the place these days. Is someone being attacked? Cowards. Wait here, princess. What are you doing? Oh my. You know, good for him. Good for him. Wreck. Monsters 
stands a chance. When fighting me, the almighty Daru. <laughs> yeah, right on. A do they were attacking a dog? Okay, that's really fucked up. It seems our friend here was the one being attacked. Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? He's afraid of dogs. <laughs> wow. Stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Everyone's afraid of something, I guess. I still panic when I see one of those critters. My God. I never imagined the great Daru would have a weakness. So tell me, princess. Yes. Calamity Ganon isn't uh, a dog. Some kind of a dog oh my God! Really? <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, great song you I got knew there. You could do it, little guy. Now you can use the roof protection more than ever. Yep, figuring that out. Thank you, bud. If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message. Good riddance, bacon breath. I get it. Baruch's Protection Plus. Isn't that great? Okay. Let's do at least one more. See how we do. Alright, we're going straight to, uh, fuck, I don't... The game keeps kicking off my, uh, Champion's Ballad. There we go. We'll do at least one more. Master Ravali. And worst case, we'll probably finish the game like tomorrow or something for an hour or whatever. See how this goes first. All right, we got to go north. It is very cold. We're going to put on the burb gear. Yeah, look at that. Right in front of us. We chose well. I was going to jump off the bird, but that's farther. Much farther. I hope Mephis Grace comes back very soon. Not Mephis Grace, um, Herbosis Fury. I'm also going to try to... Uh, let me just reset everything so we don't have just two of everything, just in case. Just in case. I'm going to reset them, and we never use Mipha's Grace after all, but there we go. That way they'll have time to cool down, and we'll have three of them instead of just one. Especially Arbosa's Fury. Helps for bosses. Does so much damage and kills everything. It's so great. Don't let your guard down. Alright, whatever. Uh, I will. I'll keep my guard up. Or something. Where? Alright, I see that one. That one's by Kiba. Never lets you see the second one. Alright, sing me a song, idiot. Yeah, I really care about hearing about Ravali, of all people. Not gonna lie, Rivali's is actually pretty good. Show, shows he has to work for his skill. Wins allies, soars the land of cloud, meadows champion, swift and proud. The hero's power shall grow. 
Why is your second verse always the same? <laughs> Seek trials, monuments show. Flame Dragon's Horn. Two. Brace down a peak rings adorn. Four targets to win. Champion, trials begin now. Do we actually have to shoot Dinral's horn specifically? That's weird. Alright, let's set new bullshit. Um, number one, there's one at Dranox Pass. There's one... Let's see, we cross, we go around here, we cross this. And it's like here-ish. And then there's one where we go... Looks like we're starting here. Let's just go here and see where this takes us, because it's close. Which one is this? Is this the rings one? Race down a peak, rings adorned. Yeah, so this one we're going to be close enough to. Right. I see a problem here. <laughs> Mind letting me through? You wanna... You wanna let me through? Oh, Jesus. Let me through. Idiot. Okay. Damn, Link. Where are we going? Oh, shit. It's right... It's literally right here. Is this snow... is this snow, um, thingy? Snow surfing? Shield surfing? I don't remember how. Oh, wow, that's the first time in the entire game I have shield surfed. That is so funny. It's so much fun, I just never do it. I'm an idiot. I love how you can glide and keep your shield surfing. It's such a nice touch. This is fun. Why don't I do this more often? There's also Selmy's snowboarding thing, which I know a huge shortcut for. That's a dog. That was close. Almost ran out. Hell, you can practically run these and make it. What am I talking about? Hello? Oh my god, I had one second left. Dude, that was some horse shit. That only happened because we did this at 2 a.m. So, um... They just appeared there. I don't think that was scripted, right? I mean, then again, they did appear right in my path, so... Yeah, no, that is scripted. That is definitely scripted. Oh, wow. That's funny. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Other <laughs> Otherwise, it would have just been really bad luck. But yeah, that last one. That was, that was fun. Bullshit, but fun. But also, you know, bullshit. But fun. But, you know. A little bullshit. But it was fun. I am fighting you guys. Get out of here. Wow, it almost got me good on that one. Alright, master the orb. What the fuck? I mean, whatever that was about, I like it. Alright, let's put this guy right here. No. 
Nice. It was weird it wouldn't let me do it. Grab the, hopefully the only treasure chest. And that's in case, so there's no cheese. Well, there is cheese. We could totally, um, we could totally bum over that, I'm sure. But, uh, we're not doing things that are considered to be glitch. Are we done chests? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're not doing anything that's considered to be a glitch this time around. Wait, what's happening over here? I didn't see. I get it. Okay, so we do that. We step on that, and then we stasis that. Is that it? Or is there more to it? I'm sure there's more to it. Come on. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I see. And then, what do we do with this? We hit with that. So this, you're gonna want to do maybe one of these. And I guess one of these. You just want it to slowly roll off. Yeah, I think we're done. Uh, I don't like the look of that. I don't know. Let's just try it. Worst case, we just gotta do it again. Oh, balls. Little higher. Little higher won't hurt anybody. Come on. I like this one a lot. Because you're doing like every... You're using all your shit. This was just a straight up good one. That was just a good time, man. Let me in. Help. My resourcefulness does speak to the promise of a hero I've heard. To remain. Well, okay then. Skip. Next one. They shoot four targets, and then there's something or other at Hyrule Ridge. I think shooting Dinral's horn is going to be annoying, although I don't know why it's showing it way over there. Shoot the flame dragon's horn over here. Like, that's what's getting me, because he's usually... Can I shoot it anywhere? Like, can I... Can I shoot it, like... Where I usually find the flame dragon, or do I have to shoot it there? I would assume I have to shoot it here, because otherwise I'd be out of range of the, you know, the, um, shrine. So the dragon's just going to randomly appear here. Would be my guess. But, where? I'm guessing he just goes through the canyon. Well, all my shit's recovering fast. Good. Now ready to roll. Is now ready. Okay, then. Everything's ready. Sure. That's why I wasted them all. I was like, you know what? I just want them to reset. I want to reset all of them. All right, we got to wait for... some asshole. An asshole dragon to appear. Would be my guess. 
These guys will probably give me more information. There's nobody here. <laughs> Hello? You. What am I doing here? Tell me when he comes. I'm a traveler. What brings you here? Frequently. I thought... I don't know. For some reason, I thought people couldn't see the dragons. I guess not. Dragon always flies through at night. Horns light up. Okay, so this is scripted. So he's just gonna... It's just gonna appear. I don't have to, like, do any fancy shit. We just wait till night, shoot it with an arrow, we're done. Alright, I'm ready for ya. You've been standing there all day, sir. What's wrong with you? Hey. Told me there's gonna be a dragon. Told me there was gonna be a dragon! I don't see a dragon! Bruh. Where is it? Where's the dragon? Okay, I ain't playing. Where is the dragon? The dragon, the dragon. I don't see it. I don't see the dragon. You told me nighttime. You told me night. I listened. I listened. You told me night. You told me it would show up. I don't see it. I don't see it. Son of a bitch. I don't see a dragon. Lookout duty is tough. I'll show you tough. Look. If I can't shoot a dragon in the head, something is gonna get shot in the- Okay, I was trying to be intimidating. You are like twice as tall as me. Something is gonna get shot. Okay, pal? Seriously, um, dragon? Um, it's already 10 o'clock p.m. 10 in the p.m.? I really could use a dragon right now. It would just be really cool if it just really appeared. Like, just like maybe if I just, if I just will it to happen. It's gonna be right there. It's gonna be a dragon. In like three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, so there's still not a dragon. Um, it'd be really nice though if there was a dragon. This is kind of um, poppycock, you know? I, I would like there to, perchance, be a dragon. Is it gonna be midnight? Is it gonna be like two in the morning? Why are you gonna make me wait like that? Oh, I hear wind. It's just regular wind, isn't it? You just scratch his ass. Get, uh, get out of here. Okay, um. I don't know what direction he's coming from. He said nighttime, though. I believe. Yeah, it looks like your duty really is tough. You're just standing there, buddy. You're just standing there doing nothing. He's all like, oh, this is tough. This guy. Come on, tough? What is so tough about this? Can't even tell me when the dragon's coming. You tell me it's coming at night. And it's nighttime and there ain't even a dragon. Oh, my God. Just tell me where the dragon is, man. If you don't tell me where the dragon is, let me tell you something, pal. Something's gonna be dragon. And it's gonna be these nuts across your face. Get him! Which direction is the dragon coming from? Left or right? See, that, that would help. You're looking slightly to the left, so I have to assume that it's going to come from the left, right? But then again, you're also not doing much. Okay, see, now I see a dragon. This is great news. The dragon is here. So, um, you said his horns have to glow, though. He's not glowing. I have one arrow. Well, better make it count then, huh? As we have to hit his horn, it doesn't say we have to get the horn. So I ain't jumping into that canyon after it, I'm just saying. Oh look, it's glowing. Oh shit. Okay, wait. Um... Do you mind if I... shoot you? 
I gotta get really close because I don't trust myself. I thought I missed. I was gonna be like, hells no. Gave me like a scale or something instead. I would have been like, no, no. You gotta wait a whole ass other day when that happens. Alright, look at that. We got a dragon. Very weird that Dinral is tied to... Oh my god, please don't burn me, bro. That Dinral, of all things, is the one tied to um the Rito area. Wouldn't you think this would be a Goron one or some junk? Please don't hit me, bro. Please don't hit me. I'm gonna drop down before he gets me. Oh, hey, guys. Um, just passing through. Jesus, everything wants me dead. Like, what did I do? Wait. Can you drop an arrow? Wait, why are your arrows not dropping? That's some horse shit. I should be able to pick those up. Yes! I got another arrow! This is great. We have one arrow now. You never know when we'll need it. Okay, and we know where the third shrine is, so I'm just gonna mark that bitch off. <laughs> Beautiful. Aim for stillness. So how do the dragons work? So normally, if you see a dragon, um, you can shoot him anywhere and get the scale. But if you shoot them specifically in the horn, you get their horn. If you shoot them specifically in the claw, you get their claw. And I think there might be something else, like their their tooth or something. I don't remember. Like the, I, I don't know if there's something else. But yeah, that's um, that's how that works. So for the most part, you don't really need anything but their horns. I think you need their horns to uh, upgrade the champion's tunic. But um, yeah, every day. Every day the dragons come back and they have a very set path. At least in Breath of the Wild. I, I haven't quite figured that out in the sequel. The sequel confuses the hell out of me. But for instance, in Breath of the Wild, if I want Dinral to appear, I tend to stick around this Elden Great Skeleton here. And at 5 a.m. I just set a fire and wait till 5 a.m. He always comes from the sky right at that location. And you can basically farm items from him. As for the green one... I always go to the Farron region, and I go to Riola Spring, and at 5 a.m. he jumps out of the spring like a crazy person. The blue one's a little bit more annoying. I tend to wait, um, kind of around Lanayru's Promenade, and he comes down the mountain at 5 a.m., but it takes a really long time for him to get here, so I can't really say that's a good way to farm him. But yeah, every day, every day you can you can uh, hit him again once, one time per day, and you get a lot of free stuff. Stuff that sells really good and cooks really good, by the way. Highly worth it. And there's a fourth dragon in Tears of the Kingdom, which is even cooler, because it has a very prominent part. But... We'll be playing that one soon. Very soon. Possibly on the next stream. Hopefully. That'd be cool. What are we doing here? Like, deadass, what are we doing here? Oh, I get it. Um... I'm gonna try to get this chest by doing a thing. But I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it. Oh, fritter. Wait, do you think that's gonna work? That felt right. Hey, hey, I need the... the no! We can save it. 
Okay, we can't save it. We can save it here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That was a little frightening. That was a little fucked. Maybe I can climb this guy to get that chest. I don't know how to get that chest. I just don't know. It's not working. Maybe I get it later? Yeah, let's try that. Let's try later, because then I can jump from up there. That sounds good. Okay, so for this one, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop this guy. Oh. Well, that didn't work at all. Okay, we're going to stasis. Oh, does that close it? See, I thought that opened it. Wait, so it stays open. So we want to stasis it, like... Now then. Okay. So we wait. We wait. Oh, wait, I get it! We gotta aim it perfectly and then stasis it. It didn't stasis. I pressed the wrong button. We make this faster? Holy hell. Now. That was dumb as hell. Okay, we're going up in the world. Going up and turning toward the chest I wanted. All this for treasure. All the hard work for the treasure, you know? Bomb arrow times 10. We needed that. And we're done here. We're deadass done here. Alright, same deal. Just to make this simpler. I don't like the way this wind works. It's really freaking me out because I never know if I'm in the right spot. Are we done? Yeah, we got all the chests. That was rough. That was very rough. <clears throat> Alright, one more Rita one. Now we get to see the story of... Oh wait, we still got the shrine. Then we get to see the story of Rivali. And how Zelda got to choose such a douchebag for a champion. Frickin' Rivali. One remains. Okay, 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 yeah, Rivali. So, now we go and see Tiba, I believe. Now I think we just gotta see Tiba and hit four targets, according to this. It'll be fine. Um, try that. X Champion Rivali song. There's a being that trades heart containers and stamina vessels. I think that ship has sailed. All right. Off, off to this place. We have to hit four targets. You know what's hilarious is that we only have one arrow. Uh, maybe I can borrow some from Tiba. You know, borrow. We're gonna borrow some. He doesn't have to know. Oh, they don't replenish. I guess we're using random ice arrows then. What, I just have to hit four of these? Okay, apparently I'm using a dog shit, um... A dog shit bow that doesn't shoot two feet. Um, do you ever go back to the girl who's waiting for the champion after you get the master sword? She's by the stables by a lake or pond. Um, is it the girl in Outskirt Stable? Who, um... 
uh, she's like under a tree. Because I didn't do that this run. Let me place a uh, thing. Um, at the stables. Where's outskirt stable? I forgot what happens. I think she just denies your existence, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, as far as I know, like, except for the people in the towns that are, like, story-related, I've only found two people who ever acknowledge that Link's actually saving the world, and they're just two random people in a Hebra stable. <laughs> but, uh, as for this lady, I don't know. I'm curious. Let me put on my sword. Oh, it's lightninging out. Where are the stables? This way? Yeah, I don't think she acknowledges your existence, or she just, like, says some bullshit about, uh... Wait, what? What? Why am I still... Oh god, lightning! We're fine. I almost got struck by the lightning. Okay, in 15 seconds, the, the uh... Shit's gonna clear up. You know what I completely forgot about dogs, and I haven't done it this run too, is if you give, a, if you feed the dogs enough, they bring you to treasure. They're so nice. I forgot all about this. If I stare him down long enough, he'll be like, oh, attention. And then I can give him, um, three apples, and he'll lead me to treasure. But while he's doing that, let's talk to this lady. Hey, you... You're finally here. So it was true. I met the hero of How Dare You Not Give the Good Boy Treats. Uh, yes, I am the hero. I knew it was you. That sword leaves no room for doubt. I'm so happy to finally meet you. This is something I've been saving for you. Oh, she does acknowledge it. Okay, so she's... Oh, that's right. She says you're not her type. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's all it is. But yeah, I think it's Danton and Harlow, possibly, in... Hey, dog, are you hungry? I think it's Danton and Harlow who, um... Actually acknowledge you and give a shit that you're saving the world. Literally everyone else, all these other assholes, you're just like, I'm a traveler. Eat the apples, doggo. This is your time. And then lead me to treasure. I don't think dogs are supposed to... Are dogs okay with apples? Are they... I, I, they're definitely not okay just eating the cyanide core. But, uh... Look, I, don't, I ain't got nothing else for you, so you're gonna have to just eat a whole-ass apple. There you go, goodest boy. Now lead me to treasure. I'm ready. Where are we going? Oh, I was right there. Thank you. Eh. We found it. Good boy. That's me trying to pet you. It almost looks like I'm petting you. Because this game did not put petting the dog in the game. Which is messed up. Okay, travel medallion. Let's go. You can ready a charged attack by holding Y. Can you, though? I still gotta stop by a shrine and get my last heart. I completely forgot. Or not by a shrine, by a statue. Alright, we gotta hit four of these at once, but it seems that all of our bows seem to be horse shit. So, let's try the Royal Guards bow. We gotta hit four of these in, like, under a second. So, we'll go somewhere where it's really easy to hit four of them. Such as, like, right here, maybe? One, two, three, four. That should do it. Nice. The last shrine. Again, another shrine that's, like, pointless to teleport to. Because it doesn't help you get anywhere faster, but... Hey, you know, I can't complain. Oh boy. 
this was Tears of the Kingdom, I would have totally fallen, but I'm too afraid. No Raji Shrine. Cool. The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Ah, the Four Winds. I remember this one. I remember the name. I remember being like, hey, that's a name, and it do be cool. Okay, what are we doing here? I can't believe I'm using ice arrows because I'm too lazy to go and get real arrows. Um, can I just, like, dead ass just do this? Right? <laughs> like, why not? I, I don't know if we cheese that or if that's the right way, but that seems like cheese. All right, where is my uh, treasure? And I don't mean like the Pokemon Violet treasure, where it's like, hey, you need to find your own treasure, which is the friends we made along the way. No, I want freaking cold hard cash right now, man. Or, you know, a weapon. I guess, is fine. Oh shit, I gotta hit that. That was probably not bright to do with bombs. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, that was, that was great. That was great. That was great. Okay, we opened all the doors. So... What are we doing now? I'm looking for a chest with treasure. Oh, I bet it's in the... Okay, I, I bet it's it's underneath. I thought underneath, inside the thing was the... Yeah, I thought inside was going to be the way uh, to beat it, but I think this is where we want to go. Inside here. Not exactly. Still another one of these, huh? Uh, so about that treasure that I'm supposed to be having. Oh, balls. <laughs> it's okay, Link! Poor guy. In fairness, the camera did not show me any informations. The camera blocked me off from being able to turn it. Okay, we're just gonna wait here. We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. Is there a treasure chest in there? No, but there is a switch. How do we get in there? I'll come back to that. Okay, first we're gonna climb this guy. And I got a feeling, okay, this is as far as we can go. We're missing that one switch. I got it. All right, how do we get in? I gotta get in the, the door. I gotta, I gotta go through. I gotta... Where is it? It's right here. Okay, let's look carefully. I gathered no information from that whatsoever. It almost looked like I can fall down into it or something. Didn't it? Am I crazy? Okay, let's go this way again. We'll go to the other side and have a look-see. Oh, a shrine that's actually kind of confusing me. Huh. 
Can't go over. Gotta go under. It's just there's no way of telling. Oh wait, that angle, that angle. Cool. Show things. Am I just supposed to bomb arrow it? Really? Really? We did it. Alright, so about that treasure that we've been looking for this whole last time. Surely it's behind us. Ooh, that's a tough one, because you can't go high enough, so you gotta, like, kinda... Nope, I get it, I get it, I get it. We gotta go around, right? I knew it. Just like that other one. Did we win? Shield of the Mind's Eye. Alright, well fine. I see your Shields of the Mind's Eye, and I, I have nothing to really get rid of. That's a really awesome shield. But so is the Shield of the Mind's Eye, I guess. Your resourcefulness speaks to the promise of a hero. Alright, now we go see Va Meadow in the middle. Good ol' Va Meadow. This should be the easiest of all of them because I have a feeling they're gonna give us a lot of arrows for this one. I'm ready. I'm ready. You approaches this divine beast. I offer this trial. Uh-huh. I'm ready. In exchange for Meadow's emblems that I'm going to take before I give you a chance. Okay, cool. I actually got about an hour before I have to go, so this is great. We might actually finish the game. Might actually finish the game. If I play my cards right. We still got three shrines, one boss, another boss, and then Ganon. Can we do it today? I'll make it work. Alright, I'm guessing we just get Rivali's bow for this, right? Nothing else, because Rivali can't really use weapons, melee weapons. Because, you know... Burb. Skip! It's just the enemy coming out just like before. We can skip it. Okay, what do we got for items? A hundred arrows?! Oh, but interestingly, Rivali... You know, that's fitting for Rivali. Everybody else uses their champion equipment, and Rivali deliberately nerfs himself and doesn't use his bow. I mean, I know he says he was winging it, but, like, you assume he's just being a little smartass. No, I believe him. I believe he was actually not trying his hardest because he's such a cocky son of a bitch. I, I, I kind of, I really like that. I mean, I'm not saying that necessarily right now where using the weapons that the, you know, the champions use, but it sure seems that way. Anyway. Let's, uh, finish this fast, shall we? 
Because I don't like it. One, two, three. That should knock him down. Oh, we do have a feathered edge. His pride was his downfall. I mean, it sure seems like that. It seems like all of these ones are like kind of showing, giving you a taste of what, like how their fights went. And he's the only one I, I thought like everybody else. Mifa, I got to use her trident. The Rook, I got to use his big ass uh, club. This guy, I got a falcon bow. A falcon bow. Okay, you're really high up. You are really high up. I can't really do much with this. I'm just going to keep hitting you with as many arrows as I can. And then I guess occasionally I'll smack you with a feathered edge, even though this is going to break in no time. I'm not going to lie, this one's actually challenging in that I'm not doing much damage to him. Freaking Ravali made sure of that. This is a straight shooting bow, though. I tend to like the straight shooting ones better than, like, the ones that arc and go two feet. That's why I like the ancient bow so much. Because it, it, I think it infinitely goes straight, right? It just, it's just infinite. Dude, why are you so high up? Why are you gonna be like that? Never had to use my glider on him, just stayed on the ground. Really? <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Yeah, this guy tends to be... He's a weird one. I think, like... I don't know. He's done different things in different fights with me that I've never seen. Because sometimes you just kill him fast. Other times, like this run, he kind of surprised me a couple of times. And smacked me. I'm just gonna hit him with my feathered edge until it breaks. There we go. That's all they give you, huh? That's rough. Do I have any other... You have bomb arrows! Well, what the hell, Ravali? Ravali, how did you lose if you had bomb arrows, buddy? We good here? Nope, he's still... He's still trucking. I'm gonna take a second to recover. Oh, he's doing it. Why are you so high? Why are you being like this, bruh? Dude, your aim is so dog shit, you should feel bad. Okay, actually, all of those missed me, and none of them should have. Probably not a good idea to point blank you with bomb arrows. But I thought about it. Now I'll hit you with bomb arrows. Eh. Yeah. Take it. My god, 80 arrows left. Ravali, how did you lose this fight, buddy? You were so well equipped. You're dead. I'm just gonna keep hitting him in the eye. Just keep hitting him till I run out of stam. There we go. <laughs> One more to go. We gotta go back to Miss uh, Urbosa. We can skip this. We've already seen him die. These fights are interesting, but they're more an annoyance. I don't like how they're all hard to see and shit. Oh, great. It's you. All right. Sing me a song. We can learn about ravioli. Let's see. We got the really, really sad Mifa one. We got the dude who's afraid of dogs. I don't remember Ravali's. I think he just tries to show off to Zelda and fails or something. I don't even know. Recall Meadow's champion of flight before he fell to his fateful plight. Ravali's feat was a wonder to see, was it? So the princess made her plea. Cool. Look at you, Zelda. What are you, Daenerys Stormborn all of a sudden? Looking all Targaryen and shit. Hey, Ravali. How you doing, buddy? 
Yeah, I can do that too. Okay, maybe not that well. Well, the important thing is that you tried. Guy always showing off to us, always saying things to us. Acting like he's all that in a bag of the potato chips. Not enough. No, it's not. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. Yeah, you must. Oh, you have an audience. They saw. <laughs> she just turns around. She's like, well, he's not the one we're looking it's, for. It's rude to eavesdrop. <laughs> My apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. Mm -hmm. To slay the beast once and for all, it will be my great pleasure. Yeah, but we're going to put you in a bird machine. Vali, if we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to However! What? Oh, now he does okay. However, what? You fire your bow with your feet? Okay. Okay, that's better. I was gonna say. Anybody can shoot a target with bombs. They made me do it with a regular. Okay, okay, now I'm impressed. A little impressed. I get it. It's cool. You're doing great. Play the biggest part in helping that. I hate you. That little knight with the darkness sealing sword, correct? Nope, you're just one of a well, one of the four. If he loses his confidence after seeing me in action. Don't come crying to me, Your Highness. Don't come crying to me, Your Highness. I could have your head for that. Rito Champion was not one to share his feelings. So, what did you think of Rivali's song? Well, um, still a douche. I truly never you would do so well. Regardless, Rivali's gale should be more efficient than ever. Hell yeah. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible the for you fuck? to best Ganon. Theoretically. This guy... Yeah, he drives me crazy. Yeah, but now Rivali's Gale, it, it only takes like three minutes to re to recover. It's so good now. Um, anyway, uh, we got one more to do. So we can delete these. Just for the sake of, well, the sake. I'm gonna preemptively put these guys down. So there's one right here. One right here and one right here we gotta find later okay but first let's i don't know why it keeps kicking me off of this i'm tracking this let me track it man well they want me to go all the way over there huh we'll find it last but not least Lady Urbosa. What do I need to wear for this? Do I need the Gerudo outfit or anything? I don't I don't think so. I think we're gonna be okay wearing this. As long as Oh, it's it's nighttime anyway, so if I go really quick, I won't have to put anything else on. Oh, uh, we do have to fight a Mulduga, don't we? We gotta fight a giant King Mulduga. Other than that, it should be fine. Uh-oh. Link, you're uh, a little slow in the snow, aren't you? We should have grabbed the snow... Uh, the snow boots and the 
sand boots for the hell of it. I hear a bat. Go away. Go away, bat. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. I can't see shit. Hey, Ravali. I mean, not Ravali. Cass, whatever your name is. Sorry, I had Ravali on my mind. I applaud your courage in coming here. Thanks for having the balls to do your job. Yeah, yeah, got it. The locations that will be revealed to you are trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. I'll try my best. Would you look at them? Three pictures that I already marked off on my map for some reason. That light. It's just me, buddy. Sing me a song, why don't you? Yes, yes, your master never finished the song. Your teacher, whatever you want to call him. Allow me to sing it for you. Lightning King of the Desert. The Boris's champion, the stalwart. The hero's power shall grow. You guys know camels don't actually electrocute people, right? Y you do know that, right? Like, camels tend not to electrocute, at least the ones I've seen. Can't say I've been electrocuted by a camel. Brood of the sand, rings upon the land, throw the orb underground. Underground? Not sure I remember that last one. Did it move you? Um, sure. Listen, whatever floats your boat. Alright, let's start by going to this guy because there's a shrine right here. This one is the throw the orb underground one, apparently. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. But we gotta throw an orb underground, apparently. Um... I guess we're going south-ish. Uh, that looks like a campsite full of- Oh! It has to do with the Yiga clan. I know where we are. This is where we exit the Yiga clan hideout. So I gotta find an orb. And I literally gotta throw it underground. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, if we go down this path, I think it leads to Yiga clan. I think. Okay, sometimes I'm wrong. Um, we are definitely not going the right way. Tell you what, we're going to do this, and we're going to head toward the red marker like I was supposed to. We'll find it, we'll find it, it'll be fine. We're going to find it. Thankfully... We have a Rivali's Gale ready to go. Oh shit, that almost made it to the top. Okay, where are we actually going? I think it's either here, closer to here, or maybe... I don't know, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. 
We'll eventually see the hole. Why does it always have to be bats? Ow! Why you gotta be like that, dude? We're not on the right side remotely, are we? Uh-oh. 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 God, I'm always confused with the Yiga Clan hideout. Like, whenever you exit the Yiga Clan hideout and you look around, you can look up and see that there's sky, but I never managed to get there from the sky. It's just kind of funny. Like, it's obviously not this cold at the Yiga hideout. So, I'm in the wrong place. Frickin' Farosh is over here. All the way at the Gerudo Summit, huh? Oh my god, Rivali's Gale is already ready. That's insane. Or it's about to be. This is the fast one, and it's the one you need the most, in my opinion. Where are we going? I think it's here. I think it's right here. We're gonna go here. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. We're way too far to one side. Shouldn't be this cold. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Uh, cool. Thanks, Rivali's Gale. Why does it always have to be bats? Oh, we found it. Just had to, you know, look at the map. No big deal. But we need to find an orb. Link? <laughs> you can't climb that wall. <laughs> well, now we know what's down there. It put me so far away. Wow. <laughs> so, I usually do this, but like I said, my controller is kind of being a little wonky sometimes. So as I was doing this, it just stopped gliding, and then it kind of like vacuumed me down. And I was like, you know, I was going to accept my fate. Alright, we got these two guys. They're looking for a way in. Giga Clan, we're taken out, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we gotta go through here and we gotta find an orb. Um, are we actually doing this again? Because I might have to be a little careful. Oh, shh. You know what he told me? There was a guy right there. Okay, we're gonna go to him later. I'm afraid right now. I'm gonna try to throw bananas... ...here. I don't think he's gonna notice them. Well, he sure did. Now, I need a sword that'll kill him in one hit. Got him. Okay, guy number two. Once I kill this guy, I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable. Hmm. 
What I'm gonna do here is same deal. Hopefully that guy doesn't go for it. All right, two down. I like that it makes you do this again. This is fun. Thought there was going to be a guy there. Is that it? Is that all of them? Only three now? Like I said, not complaining. Alright, now we just gotta throw an orb into a thing. Where is the orb again? Oh, for sure it'd be up here. I was so certain. I was so confident. I see it. I see it. It's there. Oh my god, I'm so smart. I'm such a smarty. Okay. We go up here, we grab the orb, we killed them all, so now we don't have to sneak past them. Look at all their bananas. These freaking Yiga clans have so many problems. I am surprised that did not hurt. Begging your pardon, guys. I'm just coming through. Don't stop me. I'm not here to give you anything. I'm just here to steal this orb. And throw a ball in a hole. That is a long way down. I wish when you threw it down, you'd hear fucking, what's his name, Master Koga, like, who the fuck threw that, <laughs> you know? Should have done something with that, since he's clearly alive and well. Alright, we got one down. The Hero Mo Shrine. Three shrines to go. Inside the box. What is inside the box? Oh, Jesus, one of these. All right, I see two orange. I see a red. Three purple. Two orange, a red, three purple, and maybe two green. Let's just try it. One red. I don't know how many green. We're, we're gonna guess two or three. Um, did I say one orange? And then three purple? Let's just try it. Worst case, we're wrong. Yeah, so we're wrong. Okay. Let's look carefuler. Definitely one orange. Definitely three purple. Four purple. I think the rest is right. Okay, four purple. It's actually a fun one. I feel like I'm playing Mario Party or something. Still wrong. Bruh. One, two, three, four purple I still see. I still see an orange. Wait a minute. Two orange. Aha, aha. I 
feel like you could just brute force this, but there we go. Now, we got another thing over here. Oh, how many of the non-colored ones are there? Um, in fairness, who cares? I can just, I can just brute force it. I need a giant orb for that, though. Wait, what? Where's the giant orb? The giant orb? There should be a giant... Am I supposed to, like, spill one out or something? No, we can't. Okay. Let's just count them. There is at least three. I'm gonna say three. Where do I get the giant orb? What? Where is it? Where's the giant orb? The giant orb. Can I stand in it? Oh. Can I take you? I'm so confused. Game's acting like I gotta put an orb in a hole, but... I think I might be an idiot. <laughs> what are we doing here? I bet I gotta turn this a certain way and do a thing. I just don't know how. Maybe if I do this, and it's like perfectly straight, something will happen. Maybe the other way? Yep, that's it. Found it. Pull this guy out. Oh, you know, it's not a plug, it's a sw- okay. Okay, that's actually pretty satisfying. Not gonna lie. Oh, I get it, so you don't put this in the third thing, you put all three in the thing, because the game's at this point, like, there's no reason to count them. Or not. Or not. So if you put them in all three, nothing happens. Cool. That's a weird one. But that last part's super satisfying. Alright, come on. Two more to go. Let's speed this up. I think we need a sand seal for the next one. I think. So I'm just going to assume and go right for one at Gerudo Town. Holy shit, there's a lot to this last one. I thought we'd be done a long time ago. Is 
Okay, we're warping. We're getting rid of that. We're warping here. Gonna go steal a sand seal. I feel like this boss fight's gonna be kind of hard. Cause what does Urbosa have? Just a shield and a sword, right? A short sword. All right, should be free seals here. I ain't renting. Can you not run? Please, I love you. Please come back. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to put on some better shit now. Um, I don't have the anti-sun stuff, so sorry, Link. You're gonna dress as a girl for a bit. Now, we're heading somewhere over here to the rings. There should be some rings about. I just don't quite remember where they are. No, I know they're around here. There it is. The walrus, not a seal. Yeah, it's weird that they call them sand seals. It really is. Because it totally is just a walrus. <laughs> Could have been a translation. One of them weird translation issues. <laughs> and even worse, every time you deal with them, either the person you rent them from or some of the are a talking. There's one that talks. They all give you seal puns. Yeah, wouldn't the walrus tusks... Also, how are they doing this in the first place? Like, how is this a thing? How is this even a thing? Doesn't make any... Oh my god! There's electric boys trying to kill me. Please be almost done. Oh, I'm taking damage. I've just realized I'm taking damage from the... Eat. I'm gonna put on some anti cold shiz. Wait, where? It tricked me! That was some bullshit. We're almost there. Doing would sue them if they had sandworms. I mean, hey, they ripped off Disney already. I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> That would actually be hilarious if they did that. Okay, hey, we did it. Second one down. Now we just gotta do a shrine, fight a boss, then another boss, then another boss. That could have been bad if that one electric dude hit me at the last minute. I would have cried a little bit. Speaking of, I gotta put on better... Mm, before he hits me. There we go. We're safe. What is this next one? Fight the brute in the sand. Yeah, that one's gonna be fine. Just gotta kill Moldu King. Dual purpose. What? So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna... Uh, we can't move that. We're gonna... Take this guy. Wait, but then I can't- then I can't get across. Are there any chests down there? Nah. Maybe I can do something like this? Wait. Am I supposed to have the rubber set to get to even do this? Because that would be horseshit. Can I magnesis this so it doesn't electrocute me? Oh, I get it. I'm an idiot. Just kidding. We do this. God, I'm dumb. Ta-da! Okay, next. This looks dangerous. We're gonna stop this from even happening in the first place. 
Oh, we gotta jump down, don't we? Okay, so what's the haps here? Any treasure? If I was treasure, I'm just saying, I'd be, like, hiding in this guy right there. No? This is why I'm not treasure. This is why I'm human. If I was treasure, though, man, I'd be such a good fucking treasure. We're gonna bring that guy way back. We're gonna bring this guy way over here. I don't see treasure, so we're just gonna solve the puzzle and leave. Which means you gotta go over there some more. I don't think I can walk by that yet. Okay, and you guys need to be over here. Like so. And I have to be, wait a minute. This one's sus. But then how do I... Wait. <laughs> what? Can I just stand here and, like, not have this electrocute me? Like, put it kind of close enough? And... Okay. That's not the way I was supposed to do that, but it worked. I still don't see treasure. I'm a little nervous about the lack of treasure. Found it. All right, I'm picking up what we're putting down. We got to bring this guy. This guy over here. Connected to this guy. So it's gonna be something like this, right? Now we gotta connect them all. Done! Grab the chest. Royal bow. I mean, I'm sure I have dog shit. Should have probably dumped the thing that's about to break. That's everything. All right, now we gotta solve this guy. It should be roughly along the lines of what I did, right? I mean, I just gotta... I gotta make sure I use these guys to climb. I'm already up here, so now I can just... Jeez it. Unless I can't reach. Ooh. I see the problem. Okay, I see the problem. I see the problem. So, we gotta do it from down here. You have to be there. Which means... You should be somewhere around here. I should probably kick you guys away for a bit. Wait, where's the thing? Oh, I see it. I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Okay, can I reach you from here? Why did it make a platform and put everything out of reach? That's so messed up. Nintendo! Crazy Nintendo. That is insane, Nintendo. You can't be doing that to us. Wait, what? But I want it. There! We did it! Jesus! I like the electric ones. One more to go! Quick like. My god. Look at this freaking eight hour stream incoming.
One remains. Battle tip. Using Magnesis to toss metal objects into a camp full of monsters is a great way to do some damage. I know, I learned that the fun way. Okay, we're gonna just go here and go east. And hope that it becomes nighttime so I don't have to... I might actually just take the damage and just keep this equipment on because it's gonna be safer. I'll just slowly take heat damage. We'll see how it goes. I would like to beat the stuffing out of Moldu King and simultaneously not, um, oh, it's almost, it's 4 p.m. So it's going to get dark enough in a minute. We're not going to wait on the time. I'd like to beat up Moldu King, but also stay on these pillars because these pillars are super safe. Where is Moldu King? Hmm. Where indeed? Is there like a big ass cutscene for it or something? I was under the impression he just appeared. Should be right in the middle of those pillars. Swimming around. What are wolves doing in the desert? Is that a real thing? Does that happen? Oh, we found him. We found Moldu King. And he's already coming for me. He went after me instead! Alright, motherfucker. Let's do this. By the way, he'll totally kill me in one hit, so we're gonna just, like I said, we're gonna just put on good gear, and instead of the Master Sword, we're gonna use this guy, because this does more damage. And, of course, Urbosa's Fury. And then Stasis, followed by another Urbosa's Fury. Now we're gonna run while he throws a hissy fit. Where's he going? I probably should have saved Urbosa's Fury for the actual boss, but that was fast and I like it. Uh, we're going to throw a bomb straight down. He's going to get confused. He's going to eat it. We're going to blow it up. And we're going to, you guessed it, we're going to Urbosa's Fury him. Easy fight. Okay, we are not taking damage because it's 6 o'clock. Cool. Can I keep all of the stuff on your face? Oh my god, you can. Thanks, buddy. He dropped so many things. Nice. What's in here? I kind of want that. Royal Guards bow. Okay, all of that stuff is kind of dog shit. How about you? I could use that too. Alright, and how about you? Eh, we can skip that one. To the shrine! The last shrine of the game. Link, you suck at running in sand. Don't do it, wolves. I won't hurt you if you don't howl at me. I'm watching you.
Almost there. The last time we'll ever hear the dinging sound. Until literally next time we play when we play Tears of the Kingdom and there's more dinging sounds. Big or small? Big or small? Is it the big one? Or is it the small one? Oh, I suddenly understand what the meaning of this is. Alright, first I'm just gonna look for the treasure chest. Got it. Alright, so big or small? Big or small? I'm gonna try a small. Because I think big is not the answer here. Always big. It's always big. I think I can... No one wants small. <laughs> you know, there's truth in that. Actually, that's kind of working. Uh, so that's leading to this thing. Now that isn't lighting up. Why is that not lighting up? So I think that's big? Do I just shove the box in there? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go small again? I don't know, it's not fitting. <laughs> okay, small works. Am I, am I supposed to ride that? Or is that probably preposterous, huh? So what's the meaning of this? Shoving it is not the answer. <laughs> Maybe I... I think I can do another small one there too, right? Wait, what the hell? Is this always small? But there's only... Wait, there's only two smalls and a big. I don't have any options anymore. So confused. Let's try that. Oh, and this is supposed to wrap around this, I think. Like that. And the metal will do a thing. Well, now what the fuck do I do? I'm out of boxes. I'm out of boxes, Nintendo. Alright, what are we doing over here? Um... Am I just hitting all of these at once? Oh, I get it. This is so stupid, but also cool. Okay, this is actually kind of hard, though. That should be close enough, right? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, fuck me. One more time. That should be good, right? I mean... I don't know about that last one, I'll be honest. That... this one right here. Let's try that again. I don't think it's gonna be that accurate, because that's like impeccable timing required. I don't... I don't like that. Now, what did that actually do? I... Don't know, but I'm gonna go take this big guy again and try some things. Wait, so was I not supposed to use a box on one of those? I got a feeling I wasn't supposed to use a box because I'm gonna take this guy and we're gonna... Wait. How do I get the electricity to... <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, uh, maybe I'm not looking at the big picture here. So, first things first, what we have here is I don't need... I can just hold that there. So I don't need that box, right? Which means... I can use a tiny box here. And then... 
That is not how this works. I don't get this part. Can I, like, somehow pull this over both of these? I doubt it. Definitely not. Okay, this is weird. What if I... What if I wrap this around in another way? And... Let's go back to... Okay, if there was nothing there, let's see what would happen. Um, let's put the box here just so I can... Think about this for the time being. Small works. But small doesn't quite set that off. You know what sets that off? This guy. Oh, wait. Do I need... I get it. I just do that. Now we don't need that small box. Now we go over here, and we do the thing with the big box. This is stupid as hell. I hate this. Wait. It's not working. Okay, so I would stasis that on the water, right? But that doesn't fix my last problem. But we'll, uh... We'll do that. Cryonis on the water. Big guy right here. I'm begging your pardon. Alright, so that solves the puzzle. Oh, and it solved that too. Okay. Cool, I thought I had to bring a box over here somehow. I was confused. That was weird. Uh, dump anything. There we go. We did it! Let's leave. Now we gotta go on the frickin' camel. And then I got food ready for me in nine minutes, so... I might have to go after that, which sucks, because all we'd have is Monk Ma's Koshia boss fight and then Ganon. Uh, we're almost done the game. <laughs> so I don't know what I need to, what I'm going to do, like, stream for a freaking hour tomorrow or something, maybe. I mean, it's probably going to be longer than that. There's a lot of cutscenes at the end and stuff. But yeah, I don't see myself finishing this, even though there's almost nothing left. Uh, that said, we go to... Camel now. Eh, we'll see. See what it tells me to do after this. I don't remember how much more is left of the DLC. I think it's just you fight Monk Ma's Kosh Koshia after this, right? It's been a while. One who approaches this beast, in the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. I'm gonna steal your Naboris emblems without even giving you a choice, and you're gonna tread into the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Don't dismiss it merely a word. What does that even mean? Does that mean if I die, I like, you die in the game, you die in real life? Link, you look ridiculous. That thing completely covers your eyes. Yep, yeah, yeah, boss appears. All right, time to get our asses kicked. This is all we have. 
Oh, no. No bow. Just a shield. Okay, so... The assumption is that we got... You douche. Do it again. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep flurry rushing him to death. Until this thing goes away. And then we'll probably herbose his furium in the butt. I like being down here. Ow, dude, I wasn't ready. That is something you should not do. By the way. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stasis... I was hoping for some Urbosis Fury, but I realized it's not ready. Stop it. It's always three things. Three little whooshy sounds before he's about to hit you. Urbosis Fury, where are you? I could use you right now. Oh, we're on round two. I expected this one to be the hardest. Truth be told, for some reason, I had more trouble on freaking um, the first uh, Ruta. Mostly because I forgot that you can use Urbosis Fury, and I ran out of my 10 arrows that it gave me. My 10 arrows. Where is he? Uh, where is he? I don't know where you are, so I'm just gonna Revali's Gale right on up here so I can see you. If you don't mind, I'm just going to electrocute you now. And uh, while you're down, I'm just going to do that. I miss every time. <laughs> How did I just double backflip? Oh, so it's like that. Idiot. Oh, you have a shield, too. I see the problem here. Bitch. I wasn't ready for that. You're going crazy. Oh, you're dead. Okay, well, that's that guy. Let's just see how much is left. <laughs> We got, like, literally one boss left. I can't... Ugh. Alright, Cass. What dumb song do you got this time, buddy? What do you mean, still a drift in thought? It really happened, okay? I'm not crazy. <laughs> the voices in my head told me it was real. Recall Naboris's Champion of Sand. Before she was lost to the land. That was weak. Chief Herbosa's heart was strong. So the princess came along. Now, I don't think you guys realize these aren't the reasons the princess came. The princess just wanted people who were good at killing. I mean, that's just the truth of it, right? Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Yeah, without hesitation. Easy. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. Mm-hmm. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Okay. Gerudo Chief Obosa. On behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. So is she the first one Zelda goes to? Is that the implication? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I forget their formalities were bullshit. I've never seen you so serious, Obosa. <laughs> I forgot oh, about that. I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my lady. Ten years ago, she was like six. Obosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Your mom? Actually, Halt though. And face me. Uh oh. 
Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. So she knows. You guys better fuck off. You guys better leave. Do your worst. You guys are gonna be in trouble. <laughs> If only Link could do that. They had to deliberately do the hilt thing to make it up. I was gonna say to make it G-rated, and then they just electrocuted someone to death, so... <laughs> I don't think he kept his... I, I'm gonna go ahead and say he's not okay. Oh, okay, well... Anyway. You asked me why I called you little bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. Yeah, your mom. You mean mother? Yep. It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. So... <laughs> Making it all awkward and shit. Good song, Cass. Good song. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. I like the sound of that. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Urbosa's fury plus. Nice. I am Maz Koshia. I must commend you for conquering the trial thus far. The door to the final trial is now open at the Shrine of Resurrection. Go and face your destiny. See, it's like... So annoying that on the one hand... <laughs> Let me just see how I- how I am for time. Uh, we- we literally just have two boss fights left, but I gotta go, so I'm just seeing if I have any time whatsoever. If not, we'll uh we'll call it here and we'll probably stream for an hour and a half top some other time. But I mean all we got left, we gotta go to Monk Maz Koshia, which is in the Shrine of Resurrection. We gotta fight him. It is a pretty cool fight, pretty difficult. And then we warp to the castle where we already have a warp, a shrine. We go in the front door, we fight Ganon, cutscenes ensue, we fight Ganon second form, and like that's it, that's the game. So it's like we don't have that much left, but at the same time it could be an hour. The brave soul who wishes to master a divine beast, you have done well to return to this place of beginnings. You have overcome many challenges thus far, now allow me to bestow upon you one final trial. Return the Sheikah Slate to the terminal you first obtained it from. Do I do it, or...? Do so, and the final patches passageway will reveal itself. Okay, well I'm gonna, I guess... I guess at least do that, because I did say I'm doing the DLC today, and this is part of the DLC. We got a bossy boss. Let's do it.
This is probably the most ridiculous boss in the game. We're going down. We're, we're moving down. We're going down. We are going down. Yeah, this boss does some insane things. Welcome here, you have overcome many trials to reach me. Now it is time to face the final trial. Right! We got one more giant trial! Okay, good. Actually, no. You may obtain map information. Okay, this is actually a great time to stop, because this alone will take a while. I forgot, we have an entire divine beast to do. A divine beast shaped like a giant motorcycle. Spoiler alert. Okay, um, yeah, we had a freaking eight-hour stream today. This is the final trial. We're good. So, all we got left, we gotta do this huge-ass, um, divine beast, which is actually a lot of fun. We fight the coolest boss in the game, then we fight Ganon. Yeah, we got well over an hour or two left, so... Okay, now I feel better. I hate doing hour-long streams, so if it's gonna take like two or three hours, that's gonna be great. So, next time, maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday, I don't know, we'll finish this game off and we'll, uh... Figure things out from there. Probably go on to Tears of the Kingdom. Anyway, holy hell, it has been eight hours. <laughs> And I'm tired, and I'm hungry, and I'm salty, and it's been fun! But thank you all for watching. Holy shit, we got like 14 freaking views today. We had a lot of... According to chat, we had quite a few of you on here, didn't we? I appreciate all of you, as usual. Finally, finally things are coming back from when I went down to uh, my when the, the month my computer broke let me just tell you my my stats looked pitiful it looked like day one it was terrible all my things were in the negative but uh it's coming back things are coming back we'll see how it goes anyway thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time take care bye i just saw Wooly's text i'm tired high tired and hungry funny all right i'll see y'all later thanks again peace